In this world, English is a forbidden curse. There was an old man standing in the desert with his hands behind his back. He simply said wind. Suddenly, the sky became filled with dark clouds and strong winds. Then he said rain. Immediately, there was thunder and lightning in the sky, and it started pouring rain. I was amazed by this scene and accidentally said grass. The dry desert instantly turned into an oasis, full of vitality. The old man, upon seeing this, hurriedly asked how this was done. Afterwards, he took me to a place called the Eternal Sect. Through understanding, I realized that I had been reborn into a world where words have power. English is the divine language here. However, the people in this world only use English as a technique and do not understand its meaning. English is difficult for the people in this world, but for me, it's just too easy. It's because I was originally a language major in college. With my proficiency in English, I can read out any English word at will, casting all sorts of terrifying forbidden spells. Due to my outstanding performance, I became the godchild of the eternal sect directly. In order to become stronger, I came to Tsunching to participate in the arena competition. I didn't expect to meet an exceptionally powerful opponent who beat me up without the power to fight back. Just when I was desperate, I suddenly remembered the ancient artifact Changsheng clock given to me by the Eternal Sect. Apart from the disciples of the Eternal Sect, few practitioners outside are aware of what the immortality clock looks like. Because there are many ancient artifacts scattered throughout the cultivation world, apart from some ancient artifacts that have been passed down for hundreds or thousands of years, some sects can activate certain abilities. Besides these, even an emperor at the emperor realm cannot use ancient artifacts. So, for many practitioners, ancient artifacts are just powerful but useless items. When Xianchen Xianying held the longevity bell, not many people were surprised because they didn't recognize the longevity bell at all. This contestant called Prisoner Bird actually uses a bell as a weapon? I remember a long time ago, there was a deity who also used a bell as a weapon. Could it be that this kid wants to learn from the deity? Isn't he just dreaming? The practitioners in the audience did not know how powerful the weapon Shenchen Xianying held was at this moment, and Shenchen himself looked back at his own fairy shadow, feeling extremely shocked. What's going on? The longevity bell can actually be activated. I'm only in the Azure Sky Realm. Although at this moment only the fairy shadow can hold the longevity bell, and the physical body cannot, this was enough to astonish Qianqian. The Emperor Qiyu, who had been secretly observing Qianqian, was completely dumbfounded. Which powerful being has this kid reincarnated from? In the Azure Sky Realm, he can actually let the fairy shadow use an ancient artifact. Can his body really withstand the pressure brought by the artifact? Could it be the effect of this netherworld overlord body? Emperor Qiyu once again felt that it was the right choice to follow Qianqian at the cost of exposing himself. This kid, if given enough time, I'm afraid he could become the first person to step into the Dominator realm today. Emperor Qiyu turned his gaze back to the arena. At this moment, Xiao Zhan, who was fighting with Qianqian, also sneered when he saw Qianqian Xianying holding the longevity bell. He said, Kid, are you trying to fight me with a bell? Isn't that a joke? A joke? Then try my bell. Qianqian smiled, after all. The longevity bell was an ancient artifact. Using it against you would be like using a butcher's knife to kill an ant, wouldn't it? With a thought, Shenchen raised the longevity bell with his fairy shadow and charged towards Xiao Zhan, but Xiao Zhan didn't take Shenchen seriously at all, continuing to stab at Shenchen with his thunder fork. However, the next moment, the longevity bell directly shattered the thunder fork in Xiao Zhan's fairy shadow's hand and smashed towards Xiao Zhan's fairy shadow. Xiao Zhan's face changed drastically. How is this possible? No! The longevity bell struck Xiao Zhan's fairy shadow, which instantly shattered, and Xiao Zhan also spurted out a mouthful of blood, falling heavily on the arena. SSS. Xiao Zhan lost? The power of that bell is so strong. What exactly is it? The audience was astonished to see Xiao Zhan lying on the arena. The host was stunned for a few seconds, then announced, in this battle, prisoner bird wins. Xiao Zhan's 15 consecutive victories record comes to an end. Xian Xin put away his fairy shadow and then walked towards Xiao Zhan. Xiao Zhan, holding his chest, continued to bleed from his mouth. Your strength is very strong, but you met me, and your strength is still lacking. Xian Chen smiled slightly, then reached out to help Xiao Zhan up. Xiao Zhan didn't appreciate it, pushing away Xian Chen's hand and struggling to get up from the ground. The victor is king, the loser is the bandit. I lost. You don't need to humiliate me like this. I didn't mean to humiliate you. Your strength is already one of the top forces in the Azure Sky Realm. I have created an organization. Are you interested in joining? Qian Chen smiled. After witnessing Xiao Zhan's strength, he was determined to find a way to bring Xiao Zhan into his newly established Qinmen. Xiao Zhan coldly snorted, not interested. 
With that, Xiao Shun left the arena, and Shen Chen sighed lightly and shook his head. Alas, as expected, it's not easy to get powerful practitioners to join. Shen Chen felt his soul power level and found that he was still a bit short of promotion, so he had to continue to stay in the arena and wait for the next opponent to be matched. After four hours, Shen Chen fought and won against six challengers in a row, all of whom didn't even have half the strength of Xiao Zhan. Prisoner Bird's current personal record is nine wins and zero losses, reaching a record of nine consecutive victories. The host announced loudly, and cheers erupted from the arena, and Shen Chen's name as the White Shura was once again called out by the crowd. His reputation was growing, and Shen Chen didn't think it was a bad thing. When his reputation reached a certain height, he could privately recruit some powerful practitioners to join the Chunmen. Of course, he didn't want to recruit openly, as he wanted Chen Men to remain hidden from the public eye. This way, the Seven Star Sect would soon be able to trace that Chen Men was founded by him. By then, before Chen Men grew strong, it would be strangled in the cradle by the Seven Star Sect. After achieving a record of nine consecutive victories, Xian Chen left the arena because his soul power was exhausted and he couldn't continue fighting. Strange, after so many battles, my soul power level still hasn't increased. Chen Chen frowned slightly. He had thought that he only needed one battle to level up, but even after so many battles, he hadn't reached the late stage soul force. Leaving the arena, Chen Chen returned to the inn where he lived, but neither Hua Bujan nor Yes Hen Xianxuan seemed to be in the room. Without delay, Chen Chen sat cross-legged on the bed, closed his eyes, and began to circulate his energy within his body. He wanted to figure out why the longevity clock had been triggered during his battle with Xiao in the arena. At this moment, the window of the room suddenly opened by itself, and Emperor Qi Yu entered from outside. Old man Qi Yu, you've come at the right time. You should have seen my battle with Xiao tonight, right? I saw it, Qi Yu said. Xian Chen was overjoyed and asked eagerly, why was I able to activate the longevity clock? Although it was only the use of the immortal shadow, its power was already strong enough. The longevity clock hardly consumed my soul power, it was just a weapon. If I could master the use of the longevity clock, I might have a chance against the strong in the holy realm in the future. Emperor Chiyu sighed and said, Little devil, in the history of the cultivation world, apart from the deities, there has never been a precedent for ordinary practitioners to use ancient artifacts. As for why you were suddenly able to activate the longevity clock with the immortal shadow today, I don't know either. Qian Chen was greatly disappointed. At this point, Emperor Qi Yu said, let's not talk about this for now. You should start practicing the Nether Nine Transformation Technique now. Your soul power is almost exhausted, and the Nether Nine Transformation Technique can help you recover your soul power faster. Tonight, something big will happen in Sancheng. Qian Chen raised an eyebrow, what big thing? He he, in any case, I've told you. You should start practicing now. If you don't have soul power, it's best not to go out tonight. But if you have soul power, tonight might be a good time for you to recruit people into your Chinmen. Xian Chen didn't continue to ask Emperor Qi Yu. He knew that Emperor Qi Yu wouldn't say anything unnecessary. He had his own intentions for telling him this news. After that, Xian Chen began to practice the Nether Nine Transformation Technique. This technique not only allowed people to practice without sleeping but also accelerated the recovery of soul power compared to normal time. This time, Chen Chen tried to practice the third transformation of the Nether Nine transformation technique, but he always felt a barrier that he could vaguely touch, but still fell short. It seems that I still need to break through to the late stage soul force, otherwise, there are many restrictions on what I can practice now. Chen Chen felt somewhat despondent, not understanding why his soul power level hadn't increased after experiencing so many battles today. In the end, Chen Chen gave up trying to touch the third transformation of the Nether Nine transformation technique and decided to quietly consolidate the second transformation, using the Shadow Clone technique to practice together. Soon, his spiritual power gradually recovered to half, and it was already deep into the night. Chen Chen, who was in a state of cultivation, suddenly felt a powerful energy appearing in Sanchen. Chen Chen immediately withdrew from the state of cultivation and cast his divine sense in Sanchen, trying to find the source of the powerful force. So many divine senses are cast at the same time. It seems that many cultivators in Sancheng have noticed this energy. Xian Chen focused and said to the air, Old Man Chiyu, what's going on? Emperor Chiyu appeared faintly behind Xian Chen and said, It's the grudge between the two major families in Sancheng. The Xiao family should be under attack by the second family of Sancheng now. Do you want to go and take a look? What's the use of me going if the two families are fighting? And with so many cultivators in Sancheng, if anyone wants to attach themselves to a certain family, they will definitely make a move. I don't care who wins or loses between the two families. Xian Chen puzzled, and Sancheng has so many cultivators, if someone wants to attach themselves to a certain family, they will definitely make a move. 
I don't care who wins or loses between the two families. Emperor Chiyu sighed, you are short-sighted. If you help one of the families to win, they will surely thank you. At that time, you can come out and tell them about the matters of the Chunmen, and there will definitely be people willing to join. After all, your Chunmen is not like those sects. It does not restrict their freedom in any way, and they don't have to stay in the sect for a long time. Joining your organization will also bring many conveniences. With you as the strong sect master, why wouldn't they? Xian Chen suddenly realized and exclaimed, I understand. I will show up later, and I may borrow your power a little. Don't be stingy and lend it to me. Xian Chen took out a black cloak from his Qian Kuan bag to conceal his true identity, and then sneaked into the night. At the same time, in the Xiao family's mansion, a raging fire was burning, and a group of Nangong family cultivators surrounded the Xiao family. Xiao Shan, the head of the Xiao family, revealed his holy realm immortal shadow and directly released immortal techniques at the invading Nangong family cultivators, killing several Sengxiong realm cultivators in just a few moves. The Xiao family has always coexisted with the Nangong family in Sengcheng. Why did your Nangong family suddenly invade our Xiao family tonight? Xiao Shan's face was extremely cold. The head of the Nangong family laughed. Xiao Shan, you don't really think that our Nangong family is willing to be the second family in Sengcheng, do you? What strength does your Xiao family have, and on what basis can you stand above us? Xiao Shan said in a deep voice, since you insist on provoking conflict, our Xiao family will accompany you to the end. All the disciples of the Xiao family, anyone from the Nangong family who enters the Xiao family mansion, kill without mercy. However, when Xiao Shan issued this order, half of the Xiao family cultivators suddenly unleashed their immortal shadows and killed the cultivators around them without warning. He he, Xiao Shan, didn't expect this, did you? There are so many traitors in your Xiao family. Today, the situation of your Xiao family is already gone. I advise you to surrender now. I might spare your life and the lives of your two sons. Nan Gonging laughed loudly. He had been planning for this day for a long time, and at least half of the Xiao family had been turned against him. At this time, Xiao Shan's eldest son, Xiao Fei, and his second son, Xiao Zhen, flew into the sky from their home. Father, at least half of the people in the family have betrayed us. The remaining ones are mostly cultivators below the Tsangxiong realm. Xiao Zhan's face was very ugly. After telling his father Xiao Shan about this news, Xiao Shan's eyes went black, almost falling from the sky. Fei, Zhan, you two find a chance to take your mother out of Tsangqing later. I and the remaining Xiao family members will help you resist the Nangong family for a while. Xiao Shan knew that the Xiao family was probably going to be wiped out tonight. Even though there were many cultivators in Tsangqing who were friendly with the Xiao family in the past, when the Xiao family mansion caught fire just now, many divine senses were cast, but no one dared to come and help the Xiao family. Obviously, either these people have been bought off by Nangong Ying, or they are just watching from the sidelines, afraid that the Xiao family will not be able to compete with the Nangong family, and fearing that they will suffer in Sengqing in the future. Xiao Zhan and Xiao Fei have no intention of leaving. Xiao Zhan said, Father, my brother and I will not leave. I have already arranged for someone to escort mother away. My brother and I will protect the Xiao family with you. Are you both fools? Your third brother, Xiao Shun, is already dead. If both of you die in battle today, our Xiao family will be extinct. Xiao Shan angrily said. Just then, Nangong Ying led a group of Nangong family's holy realm practitioners to suddenly attack. Xiao Shan's eyes narrowed, and he immediately used his immortal technique. After that, the Xiao family and the Nangong family entered into a melee. Due to the betrayal of many of the Xiao family's disciples, the Xiao family was forced to retreat, and in just a few tens of minutes, there were very few surviving practitioners of the Xiao family. Xiao Shan, I have always said that our Nangong family is the number one family in Sengcheng. In the future, Sengcheng will no longer be surnamed Xiao, it will be the world of our Nangong family. In Sengcheng, I, Nangong Ying, am the ruler. Xiao Shan also fought with many practitioners, and he was also injured, but he also killed three holy realm experts from the Nangong family. His mouth was stained with blood, and he immediately said to his two sons, both of you, leave quickly. Let me hold them off for a while. We must not let the Xiao family become extinct. Father, Xiao Zhan and Xiao Fei shouted at the same time, but the next moment they saw Xiao Shan revealing his immortal shadow, preparing to burn his soul and release an immortal explosion. Just as Xiao Shan was about to use the immortal explosion technique, a figure wearing a black cloak appeared in the night sky. He revealed his immortal shadow, which symbolized the realm of an emperor. Nangong Ying, who gave you the courage to attack the Xiao family? The voice of the black clothed man was very powerful, and the hundred meter high black immortal shadow stood in the sky, looking down at Nangong Ying, making his red immortal shadow appear particularly small. Everyone present knew what the black immortal shadow symbolized, and all the practitioners below the holy realm felt the pressure and had the urge to kneel down. 
Is this an emperor realm practitioner? How is this possible? Nandong Ying was shocked and lost color. Hearing the question from this unidentified emperor realm practitioner, he couldn't help but feel weak in his heart. Who are you, great emperor? Nandong Ying asked cautiously. The black clothes man snorted and said, You are not qualified to know my identity yet. The Xiao family is the family that I protect. Today, the invasion of the Nandong family into the Xiao family will not be pursued. Now, get lost. But, Nandong Ying was unwilling. He had never heard of the Xiao family having a good relationship with any emperor realm great emperor. And how could an emperor realm practitioner take an interest in the Xiao family of Tsangcheng? What power did the Xiao family have to gain the favor of an emperor realm practitioner? Seeing Nangong Ying hesitate, the black clothed man waved his hand, and many ice spikes appeared in the air, piercing the practitioners of the Nangong family without warning. Many holy realm experts were injured, and many practitioners below the holy realm and in the reincarnation realm died on the spot. Do you not understand my words? Get lost now. I will not repeat myself a third time. Nandong Ying, if you are not convinced, I will give you a chance to fight me. The black clothed man's killing intent surged, which made Nandong Ying instantly break out in goosebumps. The pressure from the great emperor was no joke. As a mere holy realm practitioner, how could he have the ability to fight a great emperor? Nandong Ying hurriedly said, No, 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 I will leave. I didn't know that you had a good relationship with the Xiao family. I was blind, Nandong Ying. Everyone, retreat. Nandong Ying was frightened and fled in a panic taking a group of holy realm experts with him as they fled into the air. After the people of the Nangong family left, the black clothed man also retracted his immortal shadow and landed on the ground from the night sky. At this moment, Xia Shan and his two sons knelt directly in front of the black clothed man and said, Thank you for helping us. You are our benefactor of the Xiao family. Although I don't know what merits and abilities our Xiao family has to make you, the great emperor, take action, but without you tonight, our Xiao family would really have suffered a disaster. The man in black helped up Xiao Shan and said with a smile, Xiao family master, there's no need to be polite. I'm just a passing knight, I just can't stand the behavior of the Nangong family. Xiao Shan was very puzzled. Although their Xiao family had considerable strength and Sanqing, they had not yet reached the level of power that could make an emperor personally take action. However, this unidentified emperor at the emperor level had taken the initiative to help, indicating that he must have set his sights on something in their Xiao family. Sir, if you have set your sights on something in our Xiao family, just name it. It will be considered as the reward for saving our Xiao family. Xiao Shan said sincerely. The man in black laughed. Xiao family master, I already said that I am just a passing knight. Saving your Xiao family is not because I have set my sights on something in your family, so there's no need to be polite. You'd better take a look at the losses and casualties of your Xiao family now. We can discuss anything else later. Xiao Shan looked at the burning Xiao family mansion behind him and didn't continue to be sentimental. He said to his eldest son, Xiao Fei, Fei, go gather the able-bodied members of the Xiao family and help the injured, while I go put out the fire. Then he said to his second son, Xiao Zhan, Zhan, you first entertain our benefactor from the Xiao family. Yes, father, the two of them said in unison. Xiao Zhan led the man in black to the Xiao family's hall, which fortunately had not been affected and was still intact. Xiao Zhan made tea for the man in black and said respectfully, Sir, please have some tea. Whom? The man in black picked up the tea, took a sip, and then fell silent. Xiao Zhan dared not breathe heavily and stood stiffly on the side. This was the closest he had ever been to an emperor-level emperor, and the pressure from a higher-level practitioner was constantly present, making him feel fearful. Little did Xiao Zhan know that the black-clad emperor-level emperor in front of him was the prisoner bird he had fought against in the arena that night. Mr. Xiao Zhan, how old are you this year? The man in black suddenly spoke. Xiao Zhan was taken aback and quickly said, Sir, I'm 26 this year. Oh, you've already reached the level of a half-saint at 26, and I'm afraid you'll be promoted to the level of a saint soon. Not bad, not bad. Your Xiao family is indeed very powerful. Xiao Zhan was pleasantly surprised to receive praise from the emperor-level emperor, feeling extremely excited. After that, the man in black didn't speak again. It wasn't until dawn that Xiao Shan returned from outside, apparently having just settled the entire Xiao family. Sir, I apologize for keeping you waiting. There were too many traitors in the Xiao family, and it took some time to deal with them just now. Xiao Shan stood in front of the man in black, also a little uneasy. Although he had reached the quasi-emperor level, facing a real emperor was still a world of difference in strength. The man in black smiled faintly and said, Xiao family master, there is something I want to ask you. Sir, please go ahead. I have established an organization called Chen Men. I wonder if your Xiao family is interested in joining. Chen Men? Xiao Shan glanced at Xiao Zhan and found that he was also puzzled, 
indicating that they had never heard of this organization. Normally, an organization established by an emperor-level emperor would definitely have a reputation in the cultivation world, but they had never heard of any emperor-level emperor establishing an organization called Chunmen. The Xiao family had always disdained joining any sect or organization, but now this emperor had saved the Xiao family. Otherwise, the Xiao family would have been wiped out by the Nangong family a few hours ago. Moreover, the founder of this organization was an emperor-level emperor. Joining it would not be a loss, and many cultivators wanted to associate with an emperor-level emperor or join one of the ten major sects with an emperor-level emperor presiding over it, which would require significant conditions. Now, the emperor-level emperor personally invited the Xiao family to join his organization, which could only bring benefits and no harm. Sir, I, Xiao Shan, am honored to accept. However, the Xiao family has been living in Sunqing for generations. If you want our Xia family to accompany you to the location of the sect, I'm afraid I, Xia Shan, cannot do it. At most, I can only send half of the Xia family to go with you. The man in black laughed heartily and said, Xia family head, my chinmen is not a sect, it's just an organization without a fixed address. You don't need to let any Xia family member follow me. Chinmen's people are spread across the continents, and perhaps there are disciples of Chenmen in some sects. My original intention in establishing Chenmen was to facilitate information exchange. Occasionally, I will send out some tasks for you to help me complete. Of course, in the future, if any disciple encounters difficulties, all members of Chenmen will spare no effort to help him. Xia Shan was slightly surprised to hear this. He hadn't expected Chenmen to be such an organization. This way, their Xia family gained a powerful ally, and they could also share information within Chenmen. This was truly a great thing. Even if something similar to the invasion of the Nangong family were to happen again in the future, other disciples of Chenmen would immediately come to support, including some practitioners from major sects. Thinking of this, Xia Shan immediately knelt down, I, Xia Shan, on behalf of the entire Xia family, join Chenmen. Disciple Xia Shan pays respects to the sect leader. Xia family head, please rise. From now on, we are fellow members. The man in black smiled, well, it's getting late. I'll leave first. The secret code between Chenmen is written on this piece of paper. With that, the man in black recited a divine text, and a piece of paper appeared in front of Xia Shan. The man in black tore open a wormhole, preparing to use spatial jumping to leave. Sect leader, what is your emperor's name? You don't need to know for now, the man in black said softly, and then disappeared into the Xia family hall. In the end, Xian Chen took off his black cloak, and the emperor Qi Yu emerged from his body. Xian Chen felt like his soul was about to be torn apart. Old man Chiyu, I always feel that if you stay on me for a little longer, my soul will be torn apart by the powerful force on your body. Xian Chen complained with some pain, rubbing his temples. Fortunately, you have cultivated the nine revolutions of the netherworld, allowing your physical body to withstand the conditions of my presence on you. For other practitioners, their bodies would have long since exploded. Emperor Chiyu said silently. After seeing the Xia family and the Nangong family fighting in the dark last night, Emperor Chiyu asked him which side he wanted to help. Regardless of which family he helped, they would flatter Qian Chen and willingly join Chen Men. Kid, I suggest you help the Nangong family. The Xia family's situation is already doomed, and helping them has no future for you, Emperor Chiyu said. Qian Chen shook his head, no, I fought with the second son of Xia Shan in the arena. His immortal shadow has evolved through the blood of the black gold ape. Moreover, the third son of Xia Shan is the disciple of the Zhu Xian Palace who was killed by the sect master at the Hundred Sex Conference, Xia Shan. From this, it can be seen that the Xia family has a strong foundation. They can capture the black gold ape and let Xia Shan join the demon sect, and the demon sect values Xia Shan greatly, which proves the strength of the Xia family. On the contrary, I haven't seen any bright spots from the Nangong family. Emperor Qiyu did not intervene in Qian Chen's decision anymore. And Chen Chen was also very clear that his own strength was not enough to help the Xia family defeat the Nangong family, so he asked Emperor Qi Yu to borrow his imperial power. He he, even if I lend you my imperial power, you are still only at the Sky Realm level. Even if you successfully save the Xia family, they will not join your Chen Men because your realm is too low. Why not let my primordial spirit enter your body, and you can manifest the Emperor Realm Immortal Shadow in a short time and possess half of the Emperor Realm's strength. Xian Chen was overjoyed and finally accepted Emperor Qi Yu's suggestion, and then he spoke with Xia Shan in the guise of the man in black. Xian Chen rubbed his temples. Despite the injuries he sustained due to the possession of the Rain Emperor, he was very excited. After all, inviting the powerful and influential Xiao family to join was the first step for his Chen Gate. The Xiao family had at least 10 Saint Realm powerhouses, comparable to the top 30 sects in the ancient continent. Kid, now is the time to give orders to the Xiao family. 
Ask them to provide you with several bodies of Sky Realm or higher with immortal bodies, the Rain Emperor said to Qian Chen. Qian Chen hesitated slightly, they have just joined Chen Gate. Is it appropriate for me to give them orders? No, now is the best time. Xiao Mountain will definitely not swallow this. They will soon retaliate against the Nangong family, and there will be many casualties. They won't give you the bodies of their own practitioners, but the bodies of the deceased Nangong family practitioners are useless and can be offered to you, the Rain Emperor said. After hearing this, Qian Qin suddenly realized and immediately asked the Rain Emperor to help him convey the order to the Xiao family. After the Rain Emperor helped Qian Qin convey the message to the Xiao family, he said, hurry up and reach the Saint Realm so that you can use the longevity clock more effectively. Always relying on my power, you may encounter some powerful practitioners who will recognize me. I understand. I will strive to reach the late stage of the fiery soul within a month and break through to the Saint Realm. Xian Qin nodded, feeling urgent to advance his cultivation. He couldn't help but think of the master of the Jinxian Hall, who, at the Hundred Sex Conference, casually used divine forbidden techniques, allowing practitioners to advance to the Saint Realm without any side effects. Although Qian Chen also had similar divine arts, they seemed to be useless after the Void Realm, apparently different from the divine forbidden techniques used by the master of the Jinxian Hall. If I knew the divine forbidden techniques he used, advancing to the Saint Realm would be a piece of cake, Chen Chen sighed. He then tried several times, reciting the divine script, upgrade cultivation, upgrade cultivation. However, his cultivation realm remained unchanged. Shen Shen still didn't know that although this divine art didn't help him advance his cultivation, he had almost surpassed all practitioners of the sky realm because he hadn't rested the previous night. Shen Shen quickly went to sleep. When he woke up, it was almost sunset. He was awakened by the night god Shen Sen pinching his nose, making it difficult for him to breathe. Lazy pig, the sun is setting, and you're still sleeping. Get up! Shen Sen shouted in Shen Shen's ear. Xian Shen sat up in bed, breathing heavily, and looked at the smug night god Xian Sun in surprise. Hey, this is my room. How did you get in? I am at least a void realm practitioner. It's not easy to get through this broken door, Xian Shen was speechless. Xian Sun asked again, where were you last night? How could you sleep until now? Ah, uh, I had trouble sleeping and only fell asleep in the morning, Xian Shen said. Xian Sun, with her arms crossed, looked at Xian Shen with suspicion, is that so? I thought you went to the Fengqing Tower. Fengqing Tower? What's that? Xian Shen looked puzzled and tried to cover up. You're making it up. I know what that place is. Who are you calling a virgin? Do you have to insult people like that? Xian Shen laughed without saying a word. She was very sure that Xian Shen really didn't know what the Fengqing Tower was. Seeing him flustered and trying to cover up, she felt somewhat happy. Xian Shen asked Xian Sun where she had been the previous night and why she hadn't come back all night. The city is surrounded by mountains on all sides so I went to the nearby mountains to take a look and see if there was anything special there. Night God Xianxuan said mysteriously, there might be something special in those mountains. Even if it's just herbs, they are all useless. The truly useful herbs grow in the starry night. Xianxuan was puzzled, why would there be anything special in those mountains? Even if there are herbs, they are all useless. The truly useful herbs grow in the starry night, right? Not necessarily. Where there is spiritual power, herbs can thrive. I came across a meadow in the mountains where many rare and exotic herbs grew. Xianxuan raised an eyebrow and asked, How many did you pick? Night God Xianxuan shook his head and said, I didn't pick a single one. Ha! Huh? If there are so many rare and exotic herbs, why didn't you pick any? Are you kidding me? At this point, Xianxuan also had the desire to go and see for himself, because Night God Xianxuan said that the place was full of rare and exotic herbs, and there might be the kind of herbs similar to the one given to him by Emperor Chiyu which could be used to practice the Dark Nine transformation technique. I'm not kidding. The reason I didn't pick any is because there are two sacred realm spirit beasts guarding the area. It seems that they feed on that meadow. My cultivation realm is only in the void realm, so I have no way of getting the herbs from under their noses. Hearing Night God Xianxuan's explanation, Xianxuan suddenly realized why he hadn't picked any herbs. It turned out that there were two sacred realm spirit beasts guarding the area. But Xianxuan was still puzzled, shouldn't spirit beasts exist in the other world? As long as they are not in the other world, they should have been captured by cultivators. How could there be wild spirit beasts not in the other world? Night God Xianxuan patiently explained, the sacred realm spirit beasts are already very powerful. They have a semi-autonomous consciousness. Only the entrance to the void star realm in the other world requires the recitation of divine texts, and the passage to the god realm has been closed, so no one can enter. The remaining two other worlds, the Starry Night and the Dark Forest, have open entrances at all times, but they are both in extremely cold places, and you have never been to such a place. 
In the extremely cold places, spirit beasts are everywhere, shuttling between the other world and the continent. In the ancient continent, there is only one other world, the Void Star Realm, because the entrance needs to recite divine texts to open, which prevents the spirit beasts in the Void Star Realm from freely entering and leaving. You can't see the scene of spirit beasts running rampant on the main roads, but when a cultivator opens the door to the Void Star Realm, they may happen to be nearby, and take the opportunity to run out of the Void Star Realm. Because they are sacred realm spirit beasts, ordinary cultivators have no way to capture them, and can only let them run out. But if the spirit beasts that run out of the Void Star Realm are of a low realm, they will be captured by cultivators in no time. Xian Chen was shocked. He didn't expect that there were so many explanations for the other world and spirit beasts. He originally did not belong to this world, and thought he already knew a lot, but he only knew a small part of the iceberg of the cultivation world. Night God Xian Chuan was like an encyclopedia. It seems that the two spirit beasts guarding the mountain are too powerful. Apart from the Emperor Realm Emperor, no other cultivator can deal with them. Xian Chen sighed, but to his surprise, Night God Xian Chuan shook his head and retorted, It's not that the Sacred Realm Strong cannot deal with them, it's just that those two spirit beasts are not rare species. It would take at least dozens of Sacred Realm Strong to capture them, but it's not necessary to expend such a great cost. So they have been living peacefully in the mountains. Upon hearing this, Xian Chen smiled bitterly, I was thinking of going in, but after hearing what you said, I think I'll pass. It would take 10 sacred realms strong to take them down, and I'm just a cultivator in the sky realm. I'd better not go in. Yes Hen Xian Chuan smiled and said, that may not be necessary. You are only going for the herbs, not to hunt them. You can attract their attention while I steal a few herbs. How about that? Are you kidding me? Those are two holy realm spirit beasts. If I had also reached the holy realm, maybe this method would be worth a try. But now I am only in the azure sky realm, and you are in the void realm. What's the difference between us going and seeking death? Xian Chen was astonished. He hadn't expected this girl to take such a big risk for a few herbs. Oh, we're just getting a couple of herbs. There won't be any danger. There are some herbs there that I really need. Once I get them, I can quickly advance to the azure sky realm. Yes and Xian Chuan blinked her big eyes and put on a pitiful look. Xian Chen had no choice but to agree to her, and warned, I'll take you there, but you have to follow my arrangements. You must not act recklessly. After all, those are two holy realm spirit beasts. If a fight breaks out, I have no chance of winning. I know, I know. Every time we go somewhere, you have to remind me. My ears have long been calloused. Xian Chen sighed. It was a pity that Huo Bujan was not here. Otherwise, he could have been called upon. He was a holy realm powerhouse, and with his strength, if there were any mishaps and he had to fight the two spirit beasts, he would at least have a fighting chance. Let's go tomorrow. It's already late now, and I used up a lot of soul power in the arena yesterday. I need to fully recover my soul power. Yes and Xian Chuan nodded and then said, I'll go back to my room to rest first. I'll come to get you tomorrow. Yes and Xian Chuan returned to her room and quietly released the boundary enchantment. The next moment, Kobe appeared in her room. Miss, do you want the herbs from the grassland we saw yesterday? Yes and Xian Chuan nodded calmly. Kobe was puzzled, those two holy realm spirit beasts pose no threat to you. With your suppression power, you can completely intimidate them. I saw them yesterday. Those two holy realm spirit beasts are not normal. It's like they've eaten some kind of herb that confuses their minds. My suppression has no effect on them at all. Even so, you can easily win by taking action yourself. Why do you need to bring Qian Chen with you? Kobe was very puzzled and didn't understand why his young lady would do this. Yes and Xian Chuan gave Kobe a look and said, Don't you recognize the identity of that Hua Bujan? He is still in the Azure City. After all, those two are Holy Realm Spirit Beasts. If I only use the power of the Void Realm, I won't be able to win. But if I use my original power, he will immediately sense my aura and know my true identity. Once he knows my true identity, things won't be so peaceful. It will cause unnecessary trouble. Kobe suddenly realized and then said, Since you can't take action yourself, I can help you go. I want to take two herbs from those two spirit beasts. It's not difficult. Yes and Xian Chuan shook her head gently and, after a moment of thought, said, No, I have something else for you to do. Go back to the northern cold island now and deliver this letter to my father. You must personally hand it to him. Kobe took the letter and found that it was sealed with Yes and Xian Chuan's sealing technique. Miss, this is. You don't need to ask but the contents are very important. Hurry back to the northern cold island. Don't let anyone notice you on the way, to avoid any accidents. Kobe's face became serious. He rarely sought his young lady assign a task so seriously, and he understood that this letter was very important. 
Kobe nodded sullenly and then disappeared from the room. Ye Sen Xianxuan watched Kobe's departing figure with a heavy heart and walked to the window, looking at the moon with a heavy heart. Father, I'm afraid this time the natural disaster is going to come suddenly, and Xiao Sun must take the risk of advancing. The letter that Ye Sen Xianxuan gave to Kobe actually didn't have much content, she just wanted Kobe to temporarily leave, otherwise Kobe would never agree to the risk of her advancement. Once the promotion fails, she is at risk of falling at any time. The next day, in the morning, Chen Chen, get up quickly and follow me into the mountains. Chen Chen rubbed his eyes and sat up from the bed. Last night, he didn't practice the ghostly nine transformation technique, but rested well all night. After all, he is not a practitioner in this world, and he relies heavily on sleep. I know, I know, stop shouting. Chen Chen yawned and opened the door, seeing Ye Sen Chen Chuan in high spirits. Today, she deliberately tied up her long hair that she had always worn down, and it was the first time Chen Chen had seen her silver ponytail. Ye Sen Chen Chuan tied up her ponytail, and she became much more lively and youthful, which caught Chen Chen's attention. Have you knocked on Brother Hua's door? Maybe he's back. If we can bring him along, it will be much easier for us to steal the herbs. Ye Sen Chen Chuan pouted and shook her head. I'm not familiar with him, you go knock on the door yourself. Chen Chen, feeling helpless, walked to Hua Bujan's door and knocked, only to find that there was still no movement inside. Obviously, Hua Bujan had not returned at all. Strange, Brother Hua has been out for more than a day, and he still hasn't come back. What is he so busy with in Sunchen? Chen Chen felt puzzled, but didn't delve too deeply. After all, Hua Bujan himself is a wandering swordsman, so it's not uncommon for him not to be seen for long periods of time. Chen Chen, accompanied by Ye Sen Chen Chuan, set off for the mountain. As soon as they entered the mountain, Chen Chen quickly felt the powerful soul force around him, and couldn't help but wonder, strange, the soul force in this mountain is so strong, no wonder there are so many rare and exotic plants here. At first, I was curious why there was such a strong soul force here, but later I inquired in the city. It is said that this mountain is the cultivation sanctuary of the first family of Tsangqing, the Xiao family. They often cultivate here and frequently open the door to the void, so the soul force has accumulated to an extremely strong level over time. Xian Chen was surprised, he didn't expect this to be the cultivation sanctuary of the Xiao family. Isn't this like trespassing into the backyard of the disciples of the Chunmen? However, his identity on the surface is not the master of the Chenmen. Otherwise, if Xiao Shan knew that the master of the door was just a cultivator in the Tsangchum realm, wouldn't he be furious and immediately withdraw from the Chenmen? Xian Chen pursed his lips and said, Why didn't you tell me earlier that this is the cultivation sanctuary of the Xiao family? We are practically intruding into their sanctuary, aren't we? Nonsense, this mountain doesn't belong to their Xiao family. Why should it be considered their sanctuary just because they cultivate here for a long time? Well, if the people of the Xiao family find out, they won't listen to you playing dumb. Xian Chen sighed and thought to himself that if the people of the Xiao family found out, he would have to immediately use the secret code of the Chenmen. After entering the mountain, Ye Sen Chen Chuan led Chen Chen deeper into the mountain, and the plants on the side of the road became denser and taller, exceeding the normal range of plants. It seems that under the influence of the soul force, these ordinary plants have all undergone mutations. Those two holy realm soul beasts have probably eaten a lot of herbs, and combined with the influence of the soul force, their strength is probably even stronger than other holy realm soul beasts. Based on the surrounding environment, Chen Chen judged the danger he would face later, and couldn't help but feel heavy-hearted. This trip was a very dangerous one, and if he wasn't careful, he could very likely perish here. We're only a few hundred meters away, be careful. Yes and Chen Chuan suddenly said. Chen Chen also became alert, ready to gather his energy and reveal his celestial shadow at any moment. Soon, two huge spirit beasts came into view. They were a pale yellow color and stood at least 10 meters tall. Flames flickered on their foreheads, and their limbs were well developed. These two spirit beasts were resting on the grass, and the grass they were lying on was filled with various medicinal herbs that Chen Chen had never seen before. At a glance, Chen Chen saw a certain herb that the Emperor Qiyu had given him, and he was surprised to find it here. Yes and Chen Chuan introduced these two spirit beasts as the Crimson Flame Deer, and they were very powerful in battle. Chen Chen, you go first and try to attract their attention and lead them away as much as possible, but be sure not to actually fight them. Your strength is no match for them right now. Once I get the herb, I'll signal you immediately, and you can directly enter the Void Star Realm. They won't follow you in. Chen Chen nodded and then focused, saying, While you're picking the herbs, please pick some for me too. Chen Chen pointed to the herbs he needed for Ye Sen Chen Chuan. After discussing the tactics, Chen Chen gathered his energy and revealed his celestial shadow, then walked towards the two crimson flame deer with a black whistle in his hand. 
Xianchen's powerful aura immediately disturbed the two crimson flame deer, and they let out a loud, piercing cry. The flames on their heads instantly grew larger. Come on! Xianchen took a deep breath and recited a divine spell to provoke the two spirit beasts, Ice Age. Several ice spikes flew towards the crimson flame deer, but they easily blocked them with the flames from their heads. Then they stood up from the grass and ran towards Xianchen. Damn! They're so fast! Xianchen was suddenly surprised and quickly ran in the opposite direction, then immediately shouted, Xianchuan, act fast! After signaling yes and Xianchuan, Xianchen also immediately accelerated in the opposite direction, aiming to lead the two sacred crimson flame deer away. The attack speed of the crimson flame deer was very fast, and Xianchen was almost hit several times, but thanks to the protection of the netherworld overlord's body, these minor injuries were nothing to him. Indeed, it's really difficult to deal with spirit beasts of the sacred realm. Qianchen focused. These two sacred crimson flame deer were too powerful for him to handle at the moment. After leading them a distance away, the speed of the crimson flame deer slowed down, indicating that they didn't intend to chase further. Qianchen immediately used his celestial arts to continue to attract their attention. Netherworld 9 Styles, Dark River Waves. Qianchen directly used his most powerful celestial art so far, which was the only one that could possibly cause them harm. However, after the celestial art was released, the Crimson Flame Deer easily blocked the attack with their antlers, leaving Chenchen greatly surprised. Even a Sacred Realm practitioner can't withstand this move without using defensive celestial arts. They must use defensive celestial arts, but they easily resisted it. It's incredible. Chenchen realized that these two Crimson Flame Deer were not to be underestimated. They were even stronger than practitioners of the same realm. Shadow Clone Technique Chenchen once again used the clone technique, which was the first time he had used it in actual combat, but he wasn't afraid of being discovered in the deep mountains. As Qianchen used the clone technique, dozens of clones appeared, and they all simultaneously used celestial arts, surrounding the two crimson flame deer. Earth Bursting Star Dozens of Qianchen's clones simultaneously chanted, and in an instant, numerous cracks appeared in the sky, and countless meteorites rained down on the two crimson flame deer. The two crimson flame deer let out a cry, and then the flames on their heads instantly grew larger, engulfing their entire bodies, turning them into burning flames. Huh? Are they committing suicide? Their whole bodies are on fire. Xianchen was surprised, but the next moment, he was stunned. After the two crimson flame deer were engulfed in flames, a faint celestial shadow appeared behind them, indicating that they had already stepped into the quasi-emperor realm. These two red flame deer are not just ordinary sacred spirit beasts, they have already reached the quasi-emperor realm. Even if ten sacred realm cultivators came, they might not be able to capture them. Xian Shen was greatly shocked, and for a moment, he had no intention of continuing to fight with them. He immediately ran towards the grassland, shouting, Xian Sun, hurry, don't pick the herbs, it's dangerous. This situation had completely exceeded the expectations of Xian Shen and Night God Xian Sun. Two quasi-emperor spirit beasts, not to mention stealing things under their noses, as long as they truly became angry, no one could survive under their hands for more than 10 seconds. Don't worry. I'll finish picking them soon, just hold on a little longer. Night God Qian Sun was still quickly picking herbs on the grassland, paying no attention to Qian Shen's abnormal behavior. At this time, Qian Shen had not yet reached the grassland, and the two red flame deer had already become furious, engaging in a battle with Qian Shen's numerous avatars. In just a few seconds, all of Qian Shen's avatars disappeared without a trace, completely annihilated by the red flame deer. Damn, how can the longevity clock be activated? The two red flame deer were rushing towards them at an extremely terrifying speed. Chen Chen realized that it would probably be impossible to escape from their hands easily today, and he immediately prepared to fight them. All right, Chen Chen, let's retreat quickly. Night God Chen Sun finished picking the herbs she needed and immediately said to Chen Chen, Cough, I'll hold them off later, you leave quickly, don't look back, leave here as fast as you can. Chen Chen's expression was solemn. It was unrealistic to think of leaving the mountain easily today. At this moment, Night God Xian Sun also realized the situation and looked at the two red flame deer. She saw faint celestial shadows behind them, and her expression became grim. They have actually reached the quasi-emperor realm. They must have eaten too many herbs here, which rapidly enhanced their spiritual power, causing their cultivation realm to advance so dramatically. Night God Xian Sun said, feeling some regret in her heart. She shouldn't have let Chen Chen take such a risk. However, she couldn't use her true strength, as it would be sensed by Hua Bujan, who was still in Sangcheng. Moreover, there might not be only one strong person in Sangcheng, there were also many powerful cultivators hidden in the dark. Once she used her true strength, her identity would be exposed immediately. Alright, get ready to run, they're coming. 
At this point, the two red flame deer had already appeared in front of Qian Chen, their eyes filled with killing intent. Chen Chen tightly gripped Hei Xiu in his hand, his expression very serious. I'll stay to help you, Night God Qian Sun said. She couldn't just leave today. Once she left, Chen Chen might lose his life here, which was an outcome she couldn't accept. Even if it meant exposing her identity, she couldn't let him die here. Qian Chen frowned and rebuked, you go quickly. If you stay, I'll have to take care of both you and myself. We have no hope of survival. In fact, Chen Chen had other thoughts. Only when Night God Qian Sun left could he summon Emperor Qiyu. With Emperor Qiyu's help, he might have a chance against the two red flame deer. However, Night God Qian Sun didn't know Qian Chen's thoughts and was unwilling to leave. As the two were talking, the red flame deer launched an attack. Huge fireballs spewed from their mouths, heading straight for Qian Chen and Night God Qian Sun. Qian Chen pushed Night God Qian Sun away and then disappeared in the next second, launching a counterattack against the two red flame deer. Flying Thunderbolt Technique this celestial art posed no threat to the red flame deer. They didn't even dodge, directly bearing the brunt of Qian Chen's attack. Cold sweat seeped from Qian Chen's back. Now, the only possibility of fighting back was to activate the power of the longevity clock. Qian Chen began to circulate his energy, attempting to activate the power of the longevity clock, but the red flame deer didn't give him time, continuously launching attacks. Qian Chen could only dodge around, sustaining many injuries in the process. Chen Sun of the Night God had the urge to make a move several times, but hesitated because of the risk of exposing her identity. She stood there feeling anxious. Just then, a golden light suddenly appeared from Chen Chen's body. Chen Chen gathered and stimulated his immortal shadow, reciting the divine text, Eternal Life Bell. In an instant, a huge eternal life bell appeared in the hand of Chen Chen's immortal shadow. He had found the ability to activate the eternal life bell. Without hesitation, Chen Chen's thoughts moved, and his immortal shadow lifted the eternal life bell and smashed it towards the two scarlet flame deer. The huge sound of the bell also rang out. The scarlet flame deer used the flames on their foreheads to block the attack of the eternal life bell. At the moment of collision, an unparalleled sound erupted, and a powerful gust of wind quickly spread in all directions. After Chen Chen's immortal shadow held the eternal life bell, his combat power instantly increased several times. Perfect. This time I can test the true power of this eternal life bell. As the gust of wind dissipated, the two scarlet flame deer let out a loud cry. The flames on their heads had clearly diminished, indicating that the eternal life bell had caused them significant impact. At this moment, Chen Sun, who was standing nearby, looked on with astonishment at Chen Chen's immortal shadow holding the eternal life bell. Has he already mastered the use of the artifact? If he reaches the holy realm, wouldn't he be able to challenge several holy realm powerhouses at the same time? At the same time, Xiao Shan, who was practicing in the mountains, sensed the powerful aura emanating from Qian Chen. He said to the Xiao family cultivators beside him, Stay alert here. There is a strong aura in the mountains. I'll be back soon. Master, let us go with you. You were also injured in the battle with the Nangong family. A Xiao family cultivator expressed concern. Xiao Shan smiled freely and said, I am a cultivator who has reached the quasi-emperor realm. If I can't handle it, what help can you, a mere cultivator in the void realm, provide? Rest assured, except for Nangonging and Sunqing, there is no cultivator at the same realm as me who can defeat me. This aura is very unfamiliar. It doesn't seem like a cultivator from Tsangcheng. With that, Xiao Shan stepped into the direction of Qian Chen's battle. In the gate realm, Shadow Qian Chen sensed that Qian Chen had used the Shadow Clone technique and immediately directed his divine sense to Qian Chen's location. He discovered that Qian Chen was in a battle with two Holy Realm Scarlet Flame Deer, and a hint of surprise flashed in his eyes. Oh, these two Scarlet Flame Deer seem a bit unusual. Come to think of it, he actually used the Shadow Clone technique without any concern. He's not afraid of attracting the attention of those emperors. Forget it, I'm about to break through to the Emperor Realm. It doesn't matter if he's noticed. Shadow Qian Chen withdrew his divine sense and then said to Muyu, who was practicing martial arts, Xiaoyu, I'm about to break through to the Emperor Realm. It may take more than a month. Wait for me in the Gate Realm for some time. Although Muyu had long known about Qian Chen's terrifying talent, she had only just learned a few days ago that Qian Chen had already entered the Holy Realm. And now, after just a few days, he was telling her that he was about to ascend to the Emperor Realm. It should be noted that there were only a few dozen cultivators in the entire cultivation world who had reached the Emperor Realm, and they had all taken hundreds of years to reach that level. Just a month ago, Chen Chen was only at the Stillwater Realm, the lowest level of cultivation. After a month, he was already about to ascend to the Emperor Realm, and he was only 19 years old. Looking at the history of the cultivation world, which cultivator who became an emperor was only 19 years old? 
After arriving in the Gate Realm, Mu Yu had seen the Gate Emperor once, but she had never seen the master of the Jinshan Hall. She suspected that the reason Chen Chen was able to ascend so rapidly must be that he had received the secret technique of the master of the Jinshan Hall, allowing him to ascend so quickly. I know, but are you sure your body won't be in danger with such a rapid advancement in your realm? Mu Yu looked at Shadow Chen Chen with rare concern. Shadow Chen Chen smiled indifferently and said, My body has already reached the level of a holy body through physical training. Do you think there will be any danger to my body? Mu Yu was stunned. She knew the terrifying speed of Chen Chen's cultivation realm advancement, but she had never known that he also trained his body so quickly. She remembered that not long ago, Chen Chen was only a top grade immortal body. You, well, you go ahead and break through to the emperor realm in seclusion, I'll wait for you. Mu Yu finally didn't say much more. During these days, she and Xian Chen had confirmed their relationship as a couple. She was still worried about how to explain it to her father, but now Xian Chen was about to step into the emperor realm. How could her father disagree with being with such a talented cultivator whose strength could no longer be described as just powerful? Shadow Xian Chen looked at Mu Yu with a malicious smile and said, Xiao Yu, we won't see each other for a month. Do you want to cultivate with me once? Mu Yu was stunned and coquettishly said, why are you thinking about this again? We've just been together for a short time. Hee hee, it's human nature. Besides, this dual cultivation can bring rapid enhancement of soul power to both of us, much faster than cultivating in the soul tower and hunting soul beasts. Moreover, both you and I can experience the pleasure in it. Mu Yu blushed and remained silent, tacitly agreeing to Chen Chen's request. These days, she had cultivated with Chen Chen twice, and she clearly felt a qualitative leap in her soul power, probably reaching the late stage of the fierce soul. Shadow Chen Chen smirked, took Mu Yu's hand, and immediately released the boundary technique, isolating everything around them. Then, in Mu Yu's shy voice, they entered the realm of dual cultivation. At this time, Chen Chen was fiercely fighting the two holy level scarlet flame deer. With the blessing of the longevity bell, Chen Chen's strength was comparable to that of a holy level expert, and the two quasi-emperor level scarlet flame deer were unable to defeat him for a while. Night God Chen Chuan, who was watching the battle on the side, was completely shocked and murmured, is this the power of a divine artifact? Xiao Shan had also arrived here and was observing Chen Chen's battle with the Scarlet Flame Deer in secret. When he saw Chen Chen's celestial shadow, he was instantly astonished. What? This young man is only at the Sky Vault realm, yet he can fight back and forth with these two holy level soul beasts. How did he do it? After observing the battle for a while, Xiao Shan decided to take action. After Xiao Shan appeared, Chen Chen was surprised and immediately said the password of the Chen Gate. Xiao Shan was even more shocked. This young man in front of him was actually from the Chen Gate? Sure enough, anyone who can associate with that adult is not an ordinary person. Xiao Shan dispelled his doubts and then said to Chen Chen, Young man, since you are also a member of the same sect, I will lend you a hand. Great. Chen Chen was overjoyed. He hadn't expected Xiao Shan to come so suddenly. As a result, his original intention to escape from these two scarlet flame deer had turned into a desire to kill them. These were two holy level soul beasts, and once he hunted them and obtained their soul power, it would be a great boost for him to advance to the late stage of the fierce soul. It wouldn't be long before he could even break through to the leader soul stage after reaching the initial stage of the holy realm. Yuashan Thunder After Xiao Shan joined the battle, he immediately used his celestial technique. This place was the cultivation sanctuary of their Xiaojia family, and he had seen these two holy level scarlet flame deer a long time ago, but had never thought of provoking them. After all, with his strength alone, it was impossible to take them down. Young man, you are just a Sky Vault Realm cultivator, yet you can fight evenly with these two holy level soul beasts. Even I wouldn't be able to do that. Chen Chen smiled and said, Master of the Chun Gate, I am not to be underestimated. There are no useless people in the Chun Gate. There are no useless people in the Chen Gate. Xiao Shan was shaken by these words, he nodded, and then joined hands with Chen Chen to battle the two red flame deer. With Xiao Shan's participation, the battle quickly turned around. Xiao Shan was at the quasi-emperor level, and his magical powers were extremely powerful. Together with Qian Chen's longevity bell, they quickly defeated one of the red flame deer. The defeated deer lay on the ground, barely breathing. Qian Chen, overjoyed, turned his attention to the remaining one. At this point, Chen Chen raised the longevity bell and struck the red flame deer, while Xiao Shan once again used his magic, ultimately turning the deer into a soul, which they absorbed. Xiao Master, I won't compete with you for the soul of this red flame deer. After all, with your help, I was able to escape their attacks. You deserve it, Qian Chen said humbly. Xiao Shan, on the other hand, gestured to let Qian Chen deliver the final blow to the deer. Qian Chen raised the longevity bell and struck the deer, 
and as the dear soul merged into Qian Chen's body, he clearly felt his soul power level increase. Thank you, Xiao Master. Qian Chen said sincerely. As the danger passed, Xiao Shan suddenly recognized Qian Chen and was astonished. Are you the one who was offered two million ancient coins by the Seven Star Sect? Is your name Qian Chen? Qian Chen confirmed, and Xiao Shan was taken aback. I didn't expect the master to recruit you into the sect. It seems that the members recruited by the sect are not ordinary people. Qian Chen then revealed his high position within the sect and bid farewell to Xiao Shan. Xiao Shan, realizing his mistake, apologized and bid Qian Chen farewell. After exchanging a few more words, Qian Chen left with Night God Qian Sun, leaving Xiao Shan deeply impressed. He realized that Qian Chen was wanted by the Seven Star Sect for allegedly stealing the ancient artifact, the Longevity Bell. As Qian Chen left, Xiao Shan marveled at his strength and the wisdom of recruiting him into the sect. Qian Chen and Yes Han Qian Xuan returned to the inn. Yes Han Qian Xuan looked happily at the herbs in her hand and said, With these herbs, I can finally advance in my cultivation. I told you before, I can take you to the mountains, but you have to follow my orders. Why didn't you leave when I told you to? Qian Chen said sternly. Yes Han Qian Xuan didn't take it seriously and said casually, Didn't I think it wouldn't be good for me to leave you alone at that time? What if you couldn't escape, then I would feel guilty. Stop making excuses. If you don't follow my orders, then let's part ways here. Qian Chen said seriously and with a stern expression. Yes Han Qian Xuan then realized that he was really angry. But she was not convinced. Clearly, she was worried that he would deliberately stay there and not leave, so why did it become so serious in his eyes? Hey, you're being too selfish. Although my strength has indeed been a bit of a drag on you along the way, I have also helped you a lot. Why should I part ways with you just because I didn't follow your orders this time? I am selfish. I don't want anything to happen to you because of me. If it's so dangerous for you to be by my side, then I think you shouldn't follow me anymore. Let's part ways early, and you won't be in so much danger. Qian Chen said firmly, then walked away. Yes Han Qian Chuan looked at Qian Chen's back with some grievances, but she also knew that Qian Chen was angry because he was worried about her. She then caught up and said, Alright, alright, I know you're doing this for my own good. Don't be angry, I'll listen to you from now on. Here, these are the herbs you wanted. Yes Han Qian Chuan smiled and handed the herbs to Qian Chen. Qian Chen looked at Yes Han Qian Chuan, feeling both angry and amused. Finally, he sighed helplessly, rubbed her head, and said softly, I didn't mean to be harsh on you. I just hope that in such dangerous situations, you can listen to me. I don't want any mishaps because of me. Okay, I understand, Yes Han Qian Xuan said. They both returned to the inn. At this time, Huo Bujan had not yet returned. Qian Chen finally realized that something was wrong. According to reason, if Huo Bujan was busy with something, he should have returned to the inn in these few days. He used his divine sense in Sancheng, but he couldn't detect any trace of Huo Bujan. Qian Chen was puzzled. Hmm, I can't feel Huo Bujan's presence at all. Could it be that he's no longer in Sancheng? Qian Chen said to himself. Yes Han Qian Xuan casually said, he is a swordsman himself. Maybe he felt uncomfortable traveling with us and left on his own. Xian Chen couldn't understand why Huo Bujan would leave without saying goodbye. Even if he felt uncomfortable traveling with them, he could have informed them in advance. There was no need for such a sudden departure. After thinking for a while, he still couldn't figure it out, so he gave up thinking about it. Xian Chen, I have obtained the herbs. I will need to seclude myself for a long time to cultivate. It's not safe to cultivate in the inn, so I plan to go to the mountains. So for the next few days, you probably won't see me, Yes Han Xian Xuan said. It's okay, I also need to cultivate. But you're only advancing to the Tsangxiang realm, so it shouldn't take long, right? Chen Chen asked in confusion. Yes Han Xian Xuan pouted and said, I'm different from ordinary cultivators. It takes a long time for me to advance each time. Oh well, don't worry about it. You stay in Sangqing during this time, and I will come find you after I successfully advance. Shen Shen thought of what Qi Yu, the great emperor, had told him before. Yes Han Shen Xuan's identity was not simple, and there must be a powerful cultivator behind her. So Yes Han Shen Xuan's seclusion for cultivation this time might have been suggested by that powerful expert, and Shen Shen couldn't stop her anymore. Later, Yes Han Shen Xuan and Shen Shen spent the night in the inn. The next day, Yes Han Shen Xuan entered the mountains again for closed-door cultivation. Well, since Qian Xuan is going to cultivate, I can't fall behind. Qian Xuan is right, it's not safe to cultivate in the inn. I need to find a suitable place for cultivation in Tsangcheng. Qian Xuan was a little worried, suddenly thinking of the vast family like the Xiaojia, they must have a special cultivation room. Qian Xuan immediately checked out and went to the Xiaojia. After explaining his intentions, Xiaoshan personally came to meet Qian Xuan. Qian Xuan, 
What brings you here? Xiaoshan asked with a slight surprise. Xianchen smiled, feeling a little embarrassed. It's like this, Master Xiaojia, I want to go into closed door cultivation for a period of time, but after thinking it over in Sungcheng, only your Xiaojia has a suitable place for me to cultivate. I wonder if you would mind giving me a cultivation room. It's a small matter. Please come in, Xianchen. Xiaoshan smiled and then welcomed Xianchen into the Xiaojia. Xiaoshan took Xianchen to the special cultivation room of the Xiaojia and pointed to the largest one, saying, This room is the largest cultivation room in our Xiaojia. It's usually where I practice. You can cultivate here next. The Xiaojia is very safe, and there won't be anyone to disturb you. In that case, I thank Master Xiaojia. Xianchen thanked him with a bow. It's a small matter. Xianchen entered the cultivation room, and Chi Yu Dadi appeared by his side, saying meaningfully, Little guy, are you planning to go into closed door cultivation and directly break through to the holy realm? Hee hee, not only that, I also plan to cultivate the third, fourth, and fifth turns of the nether nine transformation technique. My current strength is increasing too slowly. I need to reach a certain standard of strength before I can go to the extreme cold place, right? Xianchen thought for a moment and then said, Perfect. Help me issue an order to Shashan to have them collect the bodies of cultivators above that Sanxiong realm with at least an immortal body constitution for me. Your rapid increase in strength is also a good thing for me. With your current rate of advancement, it won't be long before you become the youngest emperor realm emperor on the ancient continent. I'll have to rely on you for my physical body. Shi Yudati disappeared into the cultivation room, and Xianchen quickly began to cultivate the nether nine transformation technique, taking out the herbs that Yeshen Xianchuan had picked for him from the mountains. The cultivation of the Nether Nine transformation technique was very fast. Three days passed, and the Xiaojia people gradually began to bring bodies of the Tsangxiong realm to the cultivation room. Xianchen would go out to bring in bodies for a period of time and then continue to cultivate the Nether Nine transformation technique. At this time, outside the Xiaojia, Xiaoshan looked at the cultivation room with suspicion and asked the cultivator who was left to guard it. Xiaohao, has the person inside been cultivating all these days? Reporting to the master, occasionally he comes out to take the bodies you asked me to prepare, but every time he comes out, I can feel that his strength has clearly increased a lot, and it's the kind of increase that can be sensed without special attention. Xiao Shan was shocked. Before he could speak, Xiao Hao said, Master, can you tell me who this person inside really is? Xiao Shan was silent for a moment and said, I'm not too sure about his identity, but the only thing I can be sure of is that he's probably going to break through to the holy realm the next time he comes out. Before he went in, he was only at the Tsangxiang realm, and considering his age, he's at most 20 years old this year. He's truly a genius. Even if Fei and Azen are not as good as the young man inside. Xiaoshan felt even more convinced that joining the Qinmen was a very wise choice. Half a month passed, and Xianchen was already breaking through to the fifth turn of the Nether Nine transformation technique. At this point, every time he cultivated a turn, he had to consume more than 10 bodies, and among them, there had to be at least one immortal body of the Holy Realm. However, these days, the Xiao family has almost no more bodies to offer to him, because Chen Chen still consumes too many bodies. Xiao Shan has already taken the Xiao family cultivators to cleanse the Nangong family, and there are few left who meet Chen Chen's conditions. At this time, Xiao Shan and Xiao Zhan stood outside the martial arts room, both of them already feeling the powerful aura emanating from inside. Father, he has been in the martial arts room for almost half a month, and we have been providing him with bodies of at least the celestial body level and above every day. These can be sold on the black market for millions of ancient coins. Xiao Zhan said with a displeased expression. Xiao Shan said sternly, Ai Zhan, do you know who is inside? He is a member of the Chunmen, with a high position. Don't be fooled by his current cultivation level of only the celestial body realm. When he comes out of seclusion, he will definitely have reached the saint realm. Moreover, Xiao Shan thought of the ancient artifact, the longevity clock, held by Qian Chen's immortal shadow that day. He had been searching and confirmed that the longevity clock was indeed an ancient artifact, the longevity clock. The existence of someone in the celestial body realm who could use an ancient artifact, how terrifying was his strength. Even an emperor in the emperor realm could not activate an ancient artifact, but Qian Chen did. Father, moreover what? Xiao Zhan asked in confusion. Xiao Shan sighed and shook his head gently, it's nothing, anyway, provide him with as many bodies as possible now. If it's not enough, spend money to buy them on the black market or auction them off. I have a feeling that in order for the Xiao family to survive the catastrophe, they must rely on the Chunmen. Xiao Shan's eyes were firm. Understood, father, I'll take care of it. Xiao Zhan nodded, taking a deep look at the martial arts room. He always felt a familiar feeling emanating from inside. Today is the 24th day since Qian Shan entered the martial arts room. 
He had just completed the fifth transformation of the Nether Nine Revolutions technique, and at this point, his soul power level had successfully advanced to the soul leader level, and there was a trend of breakthrough in his cultivation realm. Xian Chen was overjoyed, as long as he could touch the sixth transformation of the Nether Nine Revolutions technique within the next week, he would most likely be able to advance to the Saint Realm. Shadow Clone Technique Xian Chen summoned several clones to practice with him, and activated the energy of the longevity clock, trying to accelerate his cultivation speed. These days, Chen Chen clearly felt the power of the longevity clock slowly overflowing, and he was about to be able to fully control the energy of the longevity clock. After reaching the fifth transformation, the benefits obtained are not only in the body in gaining new immortal techniques, but also a qualitative leap in soul power level. It seems that this nether nine revolutions technique is really a good thing, but it's still quite difficult to cultivate. On the 25th day, Chen Chen felt a strange change in his primordial spirit. His primordial spirit seemed to have the feeling of breaking free from his body. Chen Chen realized that something was wrong and tried to retract all the clones and leave the cultivation state, but he found that he couldn't leave the cultivation state no matter what. His body had entered a strange state. Boom! Suddenly, a loud noise sounded in Chen Chen's ears, and his clones disappeared instantly. The environment around him underwent a tremendous change. What is this? Strange, what's going on around here? Qian Chen suddenly broke free from the cultivation state, but the surrounding changes did not disappear, obviously this was no longer caused by his cultivation. Just as Qian Chen was puzzled, a huge figure suddenly appeared in the surrounding mist, floating around him with white light. The figure was as tall as 10 meters, making Qian Chen look like a dwarf in front of him. Qian Chen tried to gather energy to release his immortal shadow, but he couldn't release it no matter what. He he, mortal, don't try to release immortal techniques in my divine realm. You can't gather energy in the divine realm. The huge figure spoke in a hoarse voice, and what was even more shocking was that he was speaking in divine language with Qian Shen. Qian Shen looked at him warily. Who are you? Me? I can't describe people, and now I'm just a remnant. You can call me the god of the underworld. In your mortal realm, I should be the existence you call an ancient deity. The giant figure spoke calmly. Qian Shen was shocked. Was the person standing in front of him an ancient deity? How is that possible? Deities have long disappeared from the world of cultivation. How could you appear here? Xian Qin didn't believe what the person in front of him was saying. If a deity appeared in the world of cultivation, it would be a divine descent, and emperor realm cultivators would appear in an instant. How could it be so calm now? The giant figure, who called himself the god of the underworld, chuckled and said, I've already said, this is just a remnant of me. My true form has long been wandering in the vast universe, and my true form has already fallen. The reason you can see me is because you have cultivated my avatar to a certain level. The power I left in the avatar has appeared before you. You look very young. The last mortal who could summon my remnant was hundreds of years ago, and he was an old man. It's amazing that you, at such a young age, could cultivate my avatar to this extent. I'm very impressed. Qianqin was puzzled and asked, Avatar? What do you mean by your avatar? Your supreme immortal body, the underworld dominance body, is my avatar left in the mortal realm. I have left behind three avatars and the techniques written in divine script. Once the underworld nine transformations technique reaches the sixth transformation, my remnant left in the avatar will appear. At this point, Shen Shen already believes most of what the figure in front of him said, because this was the first time he had encountered someone who could converse with him in divine script since he arrived in the world of cultivation. No, to be precise, he was a god. Suppressing his inner shock, Xianxian said, So, the three underworld dominance bodies circulating in the world of cultivation are all your avatars? That's right. After I became a god, I left three avatars in the mortal realm, and then I went to the divine realm. Not long after, I ascended to the vast universe. I hope that one day in the future, someone will cultivate my avatars to completion, gain my approval, and take one step closer to becoming a god. The god of the underworld said softly. Xianxian frowned and said, but as far as I know, there hasn't been a god in the world of cultivation for thousands of years. Is it really that difficult to become a god? The path to godhood is not difficult. What's difficult is obtaining the relics of the gods. Without the relics of the gods, one can never obtain the inheritance and naturally cannot become a god. Xianxian stood still, looking up at the god of the underworld. The relics of the gods? Does that include ancient divine artifacts? In a sense, yes but they must be obtained in the divine realm. Otherwise, divine artifacts that have fallen into the mortal realm have long lost their divine power and cannot obtain the inheritance. Unfortunately, when the last god appeared in your world of cultivation, he destroyed the passage to the divine realm. 
It's no longer possible for anyone in the world of cultivation to enter the divine realm and obtain the relics of the gods. Shenshen was shocked to learn that the reason there had been no gods in the world of cultivation for thousands of years was this. At the same time, he felt despair. If he couldn't become a god, he might never be able to return to his own world. Mortal, you don't need to worry. I had already anticipated that someone with ulterior motives would block the path to the divine realm, so I left three avatars in the mortal realm in advance. Now that my immortal remnant has appeared, I will give you my relics. With my relics, you will have the qualifications to become a god. But I am very puzzled. From the beginning, I have been conversing with you in divine script, and you can respond to me so fluently. Your talent has greatly impressed me. Shen Shen was stunned, and then the god of the underworld spoke again, hundreds of years ago, when the first person cultivated my avatar to the sixth transformation, he summoned my remnant. He has limited knowledge of divine text, and when I communicate with him using divine text, he finds it very difficult to understand. He has missed out on many opportunities to understand the ways of the gods, but you are different. After the god of the underworld finished speaking, he waved his hand and a huge black hammer appeared in front of Qian Shen. This hammer was twice as large as Qian Shen and created a huge pit when it landed on the ground. It's called the Underworld Hammer, weighing a full 500 kilograms, it was once one of my weapons. I have bestowed upon you divine power, so you can use it without reaching the Emperor Realm. Originally, you were supposed to reach the Emperor Realm to use it, but you have only cultivated the sixth transformation of the Underworld Nine Revolutions in the Azure Realm. You are truly a rare talent. I am making an exception for you, hoping that you can overcome difficulties after becoming a god and come to the universe to find me. If my true form had not fallen, you would have received all of my inheritance. Chen Chen took a step forward, attempting to lift the 500 kilogram underworld hammer. He tried and found it very difficult to lift. The god of the underworld chuckled and said, you cannot lift it yet. You need to reach the emperor realm to lift it barehanded. Before reaching the emperor realm, you can only gather energy and let the immortal shadow hold it for battle. Chen Chen frowned and tried to use the power of the longevity bell. He found that he could also use the longevity bell in the divine realm. He also figured out the mechanism in the divine realm, where only things related to the gods could be used. The power of the longevity bell filled Chen Chen with strength, and he tried to lift the underworld hammer again. This time, Chen Chen was able to lift the underworld hammer without much effort. What? How is this possible? The god of the underworld was shocked and could not believe that Qian Shen, who was only in the Azure Realm, was able to lift it barehanded. How did you do it? The god of the underworld immediately used his divine eye to skin Qian Shen up and down. Qian Shen felt as if he were standing naked in front of the god of the underworld. Soon, the god of the underworld uttered a light doubt. You still have a divine artifact on you, is this the blessing of the longevity god? Mortal, have you already gained the recognition of the longevity god? The god of the underworld was full of surprise as he looked at Chen Chen. He did not expect that this practitioner, whose strength was not particularly strong, had already gained the recognition of another deity before his appearance. Chen Chen was stunned for a moment, then turned around and took off his clothes, pointing to the tattoo of the longevity bell on his back. Do you mean this thing? After seeing it, the god of the underworld was stunned for a second, then burst into laughter. After a while, he finally stopped. I didn't expect you to have gained the recognition of the longevity god. It seems that I have spoken too much without asking you carefully. But my recognition has already been given to you and cannot be revoked. That's it, you have gained the recognition of two deities, and you now have a stronger power on the path to becoming a god. At this moment, Shen Shen was very excited. He had already gained the recognition of two deities. In the world of cultivation, many emperors who reached the emperor realm did not have such an opportunity. Shen Shen asked the question he had been wanting to ask. After I become a god, can I go to the world I want to go to? The god of the underworld uttered a sound of doubt, as if he did not understand Shen Shen's words. After a while, he spoke again, no wonder you have no obstacles in communicating with me. It seems that you still have some secrets. Mortal, after you become a god, you will discover many mysteries in the universe. You will figure out these questions. I have told you the answer now, which will affect your promotion on the path to becoming a god so you need to find the answer yourself. Shen Shen did not get the answer he wanted from the god of the underworld, and felt a little disappointed. Then he said, God of the underworld, I. Shen Shen had not finished speaking when the figure of the god of the underworld gradually faded away. Mortal, this is just a remnant, with limited existence. You have too many questions, and I don't have time to give you all the answers. But you have not yet activated the remnant of the longevity god. The questions you couldn't get answers from me, you can ask him in the future. He appeared as a god hundreds of years before me, 
and his power is stronger than mine. Well, go ahead and practice the Netherworld 9 transformation technique. It will be the most powerful technique on your path to godhood. With that, all kinds of visions around disappeared, and Qian Chen's immortal shadow instantly emerged, and the Netherworld god disappeared. At this moment, Chen Chen picked up the Netherworld hammer left by the Netherworld god, feeling that his cultivation was about to break through. He immediately sat cross-legged, concentrating all his primordial spirit within his body. After a few hours, Chen Chen's blue immortal shadow gradually turned red, and then a red light flashed from Chen Chen's body. His immortal shadow behind him became huge and completely turned red. Ha, hey, have I ascended to the saint realm? Chen Chen opened his eyes. After 25 days, he successfully entered the saint realm and reached the early stage of the soul leader. At this time, dark clouds covered the sky above the Xiaojia martial arts hall, and a heavy rain began to fall. Emperor Chiyu stood in the sky, showing a surprised expression on his face. Ha, huh, this little guy has successfully ascended, and it's accompanied by a downpour? Could it be that his true body has also been tainted by my power? The phenomenon in the sky made Xiao Shan also instantly open his eyes and immediately ran out of the room. Hiss. It seems that he has ascended to the saint realm. I didn't expect such a big phenomenon to occur. His aura is probably also noticed by the people of the Seven Star Sect. It won't be long before the Seven Star Sect comes to Tsangcheng, Xiao Shan worriedly said. At this time, Xiao Zhan and Xiao Fei also appeared beside Xiao Shan. Xiao Zhan said, Father, has he successfully ascended to the saint realm? Yes, but he is already a wanted criminal of the Seven Star Sect. The phenomenon caused by his ascension has also been noticed by the Seven Star Sect. But we are also members of the Chenmen, and we cannot let Qian Chen face the Seven Star Sect alone. F.A., prepare all the disciples of the Xiaojia for battle. Xiao Shan made a major decision. Xiao Fei was surprised and said, Father, do you mean to make Xiao Jia an enemy of the Seven Star Sect? The Seven Star Sect's strength has now greatly increased. I'm afraid they can already squeeze into the top five of the ancient continent's sect rankings. As for our Xiao Jia, Xiao Shan said coldly, So what? If it weren't for the intervention of the person from the Chunmen, our Xiao Jia would have been successfully attacked by the Nangong family that night. How could we have what we have today? In any case, we must help Qian Chen. Moreover, that person will definitely not sit idly by. Xiao Fei wanted to say something more, but in the end, he swallowed his words. Bang! The door of the martial arts hall opened, and Qian Chen stepped out from inside, emitting a golden purple light all over his body. Xiao Shan felt the powerful force emanating from him. A hint of surprise flashed in his eyes as he murmured, he has just entered the saint realm, and his strength is not much different from mine. How terrifying is his talent? No wonder the Seven Star Sect is willing to do anything to hunt him down. It seems that he has done more than just stealing the longevity clock. At the same time, in the deep mountains of Tsangcheng, there was a deafening sound that shook the heavens, and a beam of light descended from the sky. All the cultivators on the ancient continent felt this aura. Everyone knew what this meant. In the ancient continent, many secluded Emperor Realm cultivators suddenly opened their eyes. He, has another Emperor Realm cultivator appeared? The last one was a hundred years ago. What? Such a phenomenon, and an emperor realm cultivator has unexpectedly emerged in the mountains of Art Sunshine? This is bad. F.A. Azen, immediately notify all the disciples of the Xiaojia to enter a state of readiness for battle. This time, not only the people of the Seven Star Sect will come here, but the strong from various major sects will also arrive soon. He he. Many emperors are already paying attention. Xiao Shan looked at the huge pillar of light emanating from the mountain, feeling extremely shocked. He never expected that after Qian Shen broke through the Holy Realm, there would be emperors of the Emperor Realm appearing in the vicinity. This was truly shocking. Qian Shen also looked at the Pillar of Light, a hint of surprise flashing in his eyes, then he asked Xiao Shan, Lord Xiao, what's going on there? Such a Pillar of Light only appears when a practitioner reaches the Emperor Realm, indicating that a new Emperor Realm practitioner has been born in that location in the mountain. This is the most recent emperor to be born in the past hundred years. Xiao Shan's tone revealed excitement. Once a new Emperor Realm practitioner is born in the cultivation world, a huge soul power will appear in the birthplace, making it a very good place for cultivation. At the same time, Xiao Shan reminded Qian Shen, there are also significant signs of your promotion to the Holy Realm. I'm afraid the people from the Seven Star Sect nearby have already noticed you. But don't worry, I have ordered all the disciples of the Xiao family to be on standby. We are both practitioners of the Chen Sect, and I will never stand by and watch the people of the Seven Star Sect take you away. Xian Chen was surprised. He didn't expect Xiao Shan to come forward to protect him. Xian Chen was deeply moved, but after calming down, he said calmly, Lord Xiao, you don't need to worry about me. 
I have already reached the holy realm. In this realm, I am almost invincible. As long as the emperor of the seven star sect does not come, no one can harm me. But there are numerous strong practitioners in the holy realm of the seven star sect. Can you really be sure to escape from their eyes? Xiao Shan worried. After all, Chen Chen was just a practitioner who had recently entered the holy realm. It was difficult for Xiao Shan to feel at ease when he spoke so confidently. Lord Xiao, you must believe that every practitioner in the Chen sect, not just the strength of the sect master, you should trust my strength. Moreover, why is the seven star sect pursuing me? Isn't it because I took the ancient artifact, the longevity clock? You saw it that day, the clock in my immortal shadow hand is indeed the longevity clock. Xiao Shan was shocked. When he fought the scarlet flame deer with Chen Chen that day, he had already suspected that the clock in Chen Chen's immortal shadow hand was the longevity clock. But when he heard from Chen Chen himself that it was indeed the longevity clock, he couldn't help but feel shocked. That was an ancient artifact. Chen Chen could actually use it single-handedly. What a terrifying strength. Well, since you don't need the help of our Xiao family, then so be it. But if there are any changes later, you must contact me in time. Xiao Shan added. Just as Xiao Shan was about to leave, he suddenly asked, Now that you have entered the holy realm, I wonder what your holy name is? Chen Chen thought for a moment and smiled, I haven't thought about it yet, after all, the holy realm is not a realm where I will stay for a long time. I know that after reaching the holy realm, cultivation has no effect on the strong in the holy realm, and entering the quasi-emperor realm only requires cultivation of the body and soul power level. My goal is the emperor realm. After I find the opportunity, I will step into the emperor realm in one go. But if I have to have a holy name, then let's call it Qian Chen the Great Saint. In the future, a Qian Chen Emperor will emerge in the cultivation world. Xiao Shan was once again shocked by Qian Chen. He did not expect Qian Chen to speak so lightly about the Emperor realm. It should be noted that a holy realm practitioner, perhaps in his entire life, even if he lived for hundreds of years, at most, he would only touch upon the concept of the Emperor realm, and he might not even reach the Emperor realm before he ascended to immortality. And Qian Chen was only 19 years old and he had already reached the holy realm, but he didn't take the holy realm seriously at all. His ultimate goal was the emperor realm. He had an advantage over most holy realm practitioners, so he was one step closer to the emperor realm. Chen Chen reached the holy realm at the age of 10, while many holy realm powerhouses only reached it at the age of 100. In terms of lifespan, Chen Chen has an extra 100 years compared to them. Of course, what Xiao Shan doesn't know is that Qian Chen has long obtained the blessing of longevity from the longevity clock, and his lifespan is longer than that of ordinary practitioners. This, Xiao admires it. The people of the Chen Gate are truly heroes from a young age. Xiao Shan finally just smiled and looked at Qian Chen with great admiration. Master, there is a practitioner of the Emperor Realm appearing in the mountains around Sangcheng. The left guardian of the Yao sect knelt in front of the Yao Saint Emperor. The Yao Saint Emperor tilted his head and said in a charming tone, Oh, which elder of which sect is this? Or is it a wandering knight? This subordinate does not know for the time being. This aura has hardly appeared before, and I am very unfamiliar with it. The left guardian sweated slightly on his forehead. Why are you still standing here if you don't know? People from other sects are probably already there. Are you getting old and slow in your actions? In that case, why not become this emperor's food? Suddenly, the Yao Saint Emperor's eyes turned white, and a strong killing intent emanated from his whole body. The left guardian trembled in fear and immediately cowed out, I'm sorry, master, please calm down. The right guardian is near Tsangcheng. He should have arrived before me. I will take the disciples to investigate. Tianshan Sect, Tianshan Temple. The master of the Tianshan Sect, the Heavenly Emperor, sat on the throne of the Emperor, with five extremely long-bearded elders kneeling below. They were the five elder stars of the Tianshan Sect and their strength was renowned throughout the ancient continent. They had lived for thousands of years and were the senior elders of the Tianshan Temple. No one knew what realm they were in now. Master, we have already sent practitioners from our sect to investigate. The news of this newly emerged emperor realm practitioner should come back soon. One of the elders said. The heavenly emperor spoke calmly, to openly become an emperor in the mountains like this, this person is not afraid of being besieged by other practitioners during the period of weakness after becoming an emperor? We have already sensed the aura. This person does not seem to be a cultivator from the ancient continent. The elder said. The heavenly emperor pondered for a moment and then stood up. It doesn't matter. It won't affect my plan anyway. Get ready, I have collected all the materials. I will need the assistance of the five elder stars to step into the realm of domination. Within the seven star sect, 
Elder Nalan, disciples near Tsangcheng have reported that they not only saw the pillar of light of the newly emerged Emperor Realm practitioner in the mountains near Tsangcheng, but also since Qian Shan's aura. Wan Zong knelt in front of Nalan Songhai. At this point, he was not only the sect master of the Eternal Sect, but also a newly appointed elder of the Seven Star Sect. Nalan Songhai narrowed his eyes and said to Wan Zong, Curry and gather ten Holy Realm practitioners. We will go to Tsangcheng together. This time, we must not let that kid escape. Otherwise, we will be held accountable to the master. Yes. Wan Zong disappeared in an instant. Nalan Songhai stroked his beard and murmured, Kid, you are progressing very fast. In just a few months, you have risen from the void realm to the holy realm. I want to see where you will escape to this time. At the same time, within the gate realm, the shadow of Qian Shen had been in seclusion for nearly a month. Maruyu was worried about him all the time, and she had asked the gate emperor a few times, but he had not given her a reply. Suddenly, the gate emperor, who had been standing in the darkness, opened his eyes and immediately revealed his immortal figure. He succeeded. All practitioners of the gate realm, activate defensive immortal techniques. Those who are slow, be careful not to be burned to ashes by the immense energy. He he he. Many powerful individuals in the holy realm immediately activated defensive immortal techniques. Without understanding why, Muyu also began to activate her defensive immortal technique along with everyone else, only to find that the gate emperor had suddenly appeared by her side. You are protected by this emperor. If anything happens to you, it will not end well for me. He he he. The gate emperor shielded Muyu behind him, leaving her puzzled as to why he would go out of his way to protect her. Did Xin Chen and the gate emperor have a good relationship? Wasn't the sovereign of the immortal execution hall created by the gate emperor and the grand assembly of a hundred sects? However, during this time, Muyu had never seen the sovereign of the immortal execution hall, and the gate emperor's interactions with Qian Shen were quite frequent. Suddenly, a massive burst of energy erupted, illuminating the dark gate realm with a blinding light, allowing Muyu to see the layout of the gate realm. It turned out that in the normally endless darkness, there were rows of tightly closed doors. This powerful light nearly overwhelmed the defensive immortal techniques of all the holy realm cultivators, causing them to activate their immortal shadows to protect themselves. He he he. This power is truly formidable. It seems that he will surpass this emperor soon. This emperor has waited for 600 years, and finally, this day has come. He he he. The gate emperor suddenly burst into maniacal laughter. After the light dissipated, a figure appeared in the center of the light, with a hundred meter tall black immortal shadow behind him, symbolizing his status as an emperor. This person was none other than Shadow Qian Chen. However, in Mu Yu's eyes, he was the real Qian Chen, completely unaware that the Qian Chen before her was just a clone of the true Qian Chen, who was also the sovereign of the immortal execution hall. Qian Chen. Mu Yu shouted with joy, her face filled with excitement and disbelief. Just a few months ago, Qian Chen was only a cultivator in the Void Realm, and now, in such a short time, he had already reached the Emperor Realm. Mu Yu could confidently say that he was the fastest cultivator in the cultivation world. He he, Xiao Yu, I have successfully advanced. Qian Chen descended from the darkness and looked indulgently at Mu Yu, then embraced her. He he he. Now that you have successfully advanced, let's begin our plan, Shadow Emperor, the Gate Emperor said as he stood in the darkness, looking at Shadow Qian Chen. Yes. Shadow Qian Chen lightly responded, and all the cultivators of the Immortal Execution Hall knelt before him, exclaiming, We respectfully welcome the Sovereign of the Immortal Execution Hall, Shadow Emperor. Gate Emperor, pay respects to the Sovereign. The Gate Emperor also slightly bowed to Shadow Qian Chen. At this moment, Mu Yu was dumbfounded. What was going on? Why were all the cultivators of the Immortal Execution Hall calling Qian Chen the Sovereign? And why was the Gate Emperor willingly submitting to Qian Chen? Her mind went blank for a moment. But then she remembered her unrealistic speculation from earlier, which suddenly became clear to her. Mu Yu covered her mouth, looking at Qian Chen in disbelief. Qian Chen, you. You are the sovereign of the Immortal Execution Hall? The person at the Grand Assembly of a Hundred Sects was also you? Shadow Qian Chen smiled faintly and reached out to touch Mu Yu's head, but she stepped back, looking at him with a complex expression. Seeing Mu Yu's reaction, Shadow Qian Chen did not get angry but simply smiled faintly and said softly to Muyu, I'm sorry, Xiaoyu. I've been lying to you all along. In fact, I am the sovereign of the Immortal Execution Hall, and the person at the Grand Assembly of a Hundred Sects was also me. When Muyu heard Qian Chen admit that he was the sovereign of the Immortal Execution Hall, her heart trembled. She never expected that the person who caused a commotion at the Grand Assembly of a Hundred Sects was Qian Chen, and that he had single-handedly destroyed the Three Thunder Sect. Qian Chen, you. How did you manage to do all this in the end? 
Mu Yu couldn't believe it. He never expected that his beloved would turn out to be someone who was at odds with the entire cultivation world. It's a long story. There's no benefit in you knowing all this. You just need to know that my feelings for you are sincere. I have now become a cultivator in the Emperor Realm and have enough ability to protect you. You don't need to worry, Shadow Chenchen grinned and looked at Mu Yu with tender eyes. Chenchen saw many cultivators wanting to enter the mountains around Sangcheng, and he thought of Yeshen Chenchu and also cultivating in the mountains, which made his heart tremble. Oh no, there are many powerful cultivators in the mountains now, and Chenchuan is still in the mountains. Chenchen's eyes narrowed, and he immediately prepared to enter the mountains. At this moment, Jiu, the great emperor, appeared next to Chenchen wearing a cloak. Kid, congratulations on reaching the holy realm. Many strong cultivators are coming to the mountains, and I can't appear in Sangcheng anymore. I won't show up again until you leave Sangcheng. Take care of yourself. Jiu, the great emperor, looked deeply at Chenchen. I understand. I will leave Tsanqing as soon as possible. It's not safe to stay here for long. Chen Chen nodded, and Xiu, the great emperor, smiled and disappeared, while Chen Chen immediately rushed towards the mountains. He couldn't bear to see Ye Shen Chen Chuan in trouble in the mountains. Before he even entered the mountains, Chen Chen saw Ye Shen Chen Chuan jumping out of the mountains, waving at him. Chen Chen, I have successfully advanced. I am now also a cultivator in the firmament realm. Seeing Ye Shen Chen Chuan, Chen Chen also breathed a sigh of relief. At the same time, he clearly felt that Yeshen Shenshuan's aura had changed, becoming much stronger than before. That's great. Did you not notice anything unusual while cultivating in the mountains? The pillar of light just now is a symbol of the appearance of a cultivator in the emperor realm. Many powerful cultivators are already heading here. Qian Chen frowned. He didn't expect that besides Yeshen Shenshuan, there would be a cultivator who had advanced to the emperor realm in the mountains. Yeshen Shenshuan stuck out her tongue mischievously. I didn't notice at first, but after that adult broke through, I also broke through. Well, since you are safe now, let's leave Tsanqing as soon as possible. When I broke through to the Holy Realm just now, I also revealed a lot of aura. I'm afraid the people of the Seven Star Sect have already noticed me, and the people of the Yao Sect are definitely heading here. If they find out about me at the same time, it will be a big problem. Chen Chen immediately prepared to leave Tsanqing with Yeshen Shenshuan. However, they could no longer take the mountain road as cultivators were coming from all directions in the mountains. Back in Sanqing, Shenchen began to think about how to leave. Cultivators from all over the Haingu continent had gathered in Sanqing. On the way back, Shenchen had already seen the cultivators of the Seven Star Sect, but he deliberately concealed his aura. Shenchuan, let's leave Sanqing separately. Your presence with me is too conspicuous. If I reveal my identity, you will also be affected. In the end, Shenchen settled on a plan. No, we agreed to travel together. You always do this, driving me away whenever something happens. Yes, Hen Xianxuan glared at Xianxian, very dissatisfied with his behavior of driving her away whenever something happened. Just as Xianxian was about to speak, Yes, Hen Xianxuan interrupted. Besides, I am now a cultivator in the firmament realm, and my strength is not as weak as you imagine. Before this, you were just in the firmament realm, and now I have reached the level you were at a month ago. Why shouldn't I go with you? Chen Chen was left speechless by Yeshen Shenshuan's words. After a moment of silence, he could only take Yeshen Shenshuan with him. Under the watchful eyes of many cultivators, the two slowly approached the city gate of Tsangcheng. Once they left Tsangcheng, the danger would be greatly reduced. After all, so many cultivators basically came to investigate the information of the Emperor Realm cultivator who ascended in the mountains. Moreover, when he just became an emperor, many cultivators had already sent their divine thoughts here. The great emperor could not possibly open a wormhole and use spatial jumps to leave in front of a hundred cultivators. Near this mountain, there is only the city of Tsang, so it is highly probable that he is still in Tsang city, and these cultivators will certainly only gather in Tsang city to find that great emperor. It's quite dangerous for us to leave the city now. These cultivators are all looking for that great emperor, and they must have sent people to secretly observe everyone leaving the city near the city gates. The seven star sect must have left people there too. Once you appear at the city gates, your presence will be noticed very quickly. Yes, Hen Xianxuan said to Qianxian. Xianxian frowned and said, it's not that serious. They are just trying to find out information about that great emperor. They can't possibly stop him. After all, he is an emperor realm great emperor. Even with so many cultivators coming, the highest level is only quasi-emperor realm. Even if dozens of people team up, they can't possibly defeat a great emperor, right? Yes, Hen Xianxuan shook her head and explained, they are not here to fight that great emperor. The comprehensive strength of a sect is determined by how many holy realm experts are in the sect, 
and the actual strength is determined by how many emperor realm experts are in the sect. Among the top 10 sects on the ancient continent, they have all hidden how many emperor realm great emperors are in their sects. On the surface, there is only one sect master, but in reality, they have long since won over some emperor realm great emperors to sit in their sects. So whenever a new emperor realm great emperor appears, every sect will spare no effort to win over this person. Xianqin suddenly realized that these people were all here to form alliances. At this moment, he looked in the direction of the city gate and saw only a few people stationed there. Xianqin tried to use his divine thoughts to investigate and soon felt many cultivators hidden in the dark. It seemed that as Yes Han Xianquan had said, many cultivators were already waiting in the dark near the city gate. Just then, Xianqin suddenly sensed a wave of killing intent. Without any hesitation, he immediately revealed his celestial shadow and used a defensive celestial technique. At the same time, he also embraced Yes Han Xianquan to prevent her from being harmed. Just after Qianqin pulled Yes Han Xianquan to his side, a huge shockwave exploded. Qianqin immediately said to Yes Han Xianquan in his arms, Quick, hide. We've been discovered. Chen Chen. Yes Han Xianquan was pushed away by Qianqin, who then flew directly into the air and saw who was attacking him. Qianqin, are you unharmed? Nalan Songhai stood with his hands behind his back in the air, with Wan Song and ten holy realm experts behind him, their deep red celestial shadows exposed. Shenshin squinted at Nalan Songhai and said, Nalan old man, I didn't expect your seven star sect to be so cunning, colluding with Wansong from my eternal sect, and putting the blame for deceiving the master and destroying the ancestor on me, causing all the cultivators on the ancient continent to hunt me down. Nalan Songhai smiled and then said, You can't just say that. Isn't deceiving the master and destroying the ancestor your behavior? You are now at odds with all the cultivators on the ancient continent, and with my seven star sect. I advise you to hand over the longevity bell obediently. After you die, I will leave you a complete corpse. Heh, you seven star sect with your ugly faces, how dare you say that I am at odds with all the cultivators on the ancient continent. One day, I will expose your dirty and ugly faces. Shenchen looked coldly at Nalan Songhai. His three masters died because of the seven star sect, because of Wansong, the traitor of the eternal sect, and many disciples of the eternal sect. Is that so? But you won't have that day. Today is your day to die. Wan Song behind Nayland Sunhai roared first and launched an attack on Xianqin. Xianqin's eyes narrowed, and at this moment, he had already entered the realm of the saints. Facing Wan Song, a practitioner of the same realm, he showed no fear and immediately unleashed his celestial arts to engage in combat with Wan Song. Due to the large number of opponents, and because Nalan Sunhai was also a saint-level powerhouse who had entered the quasi-emperor realm a hundred years ago, Xianqin had no intention of lingering in battle. He only sought to deal with Wan Song, the traitor, and find an opportunity to leave immediately. Xianqin recited the divine text, but unlike before, he had reached the realm of the saints and gained the ability of silence. The Nine Styles of the Netherworld, Stellar Transformation This was a new celestial art brought about by the third transformation of the Netherworld Nine Revolutions technique that Xianqin had cultivated. As the celestial art was unleashed, the surrounding space instantly distorted, and a huge energy mass appeared beside Xianqin. Shinji, I didn't expect that in just a few months, you have already broken through to the realm of the saints. It seems that those three old guys really took in a disciple with extraordinary talent. Given enough time, you might become a new practitioner of the emperor realm. But unfortunately, you have offended the seven star sect, so you won't be able to experience the changes brought about by the realm of the saints, and you will perish. Faced with Chinchin's celestial arts, Wan Song showed no fear on his face. His mouth moved slightly as he recited the divine text to unleash his own celestial arts. Unexpectedly, the clothes on Xianqin's body suddenly shattered, and a huge golden light flashed from behind him. A faint purple color began to appear around his flesh, and then, Xianqin's celestial shadow was enveloped by a cluster of purple golden light. Wan Song's expression changed drastically. His celestial arts were quickly swallowed up by this powerful energy, and the energy mass beside Xianqin continued to grow larger. Wan Song, as the highest elder of the eternal sect who has experienced a hundred years, you actually defected first, and even slaughtered so many fellow disciples. You really are a selfish person. Today, I will avenge the three ancestors and the many disciples who died at your hands. Shenshin's face twisted into a grimace. With a wave of his celestial shadow's hand, the huge energy mass rushed towards Wan Song. However, Shenshin did not stop there. Wan Song, after all, was a practitioner of the realm of the saints, and a single celestial art was not enough to kill him. Xianqin quickly recited the divine text again, the Ascension Thunder Command. A black sword appeared in his celestial shadow's hand, and a sword energy followed, striking towards Wan Song amidst the thunder in the sky. 
This series of celestial arts caught Wan Tsong off guard. He had not expected that Chen Chen, who had just entered the realm of the saints, would unleash celestial arts at such a fast speed, far surpassing him, a practitioner who had been in the realm of the saints for months. Wan Tsong widened his eyes, watching as Chen Chen's celestial arts struck him. He didn't even have time to use defensive celestial arts, and his body was engulfed in raging flames. No, this is impossible. Wan Tsong let out a painful cry, and a huge burst of energy erupted. Wan Tsong turned into a pile of ashes, floating in the air. Including Nalan Sunhai, several saint-level powerhouses of the Seven Star Sect were dumbfounded. As fellow practitioners of the Realm of the Saints, Wan Tsong had actually been killed in an instant by Chen Chen, who had just entered the Realm of the Saints. Yes, in an instant, not even a minute, and Wan Tsong couldn't even react at all. Hiss. Nalan Sunhai took a sharp breath, no longer showing the relaxed expression he had before, and a serious expression appeared on his face. Kid, what have you been through to have such formidable strength? I have indeed underestimated you. All practitioners of the Seven Star Sect, follow my orders and attack together. Eliminate this. If we don't get rid of him today, he will undoubtedly become a thorn in the side of the Seven Star Sect in the future. As Nalan Sunhai's voice fell, he swept towards Chen Chen. Chen Chen also looked at his hands in surprise. He hadn't expected that his strength would increase so much after entering the realm of the saints. But he quickly understood that this was not solely due to the advancement of his cultivation realm. The reason for such a drastic increase in strength was mostly because he had cultivated the Netherworld Nine Revolutions technique and had been blessed by the Netherworld God. After all, during the month of seclusion and cultivation, Shen Shen had used more than 40 bodies in the realm of the heavens and more than 5 bodies in the realm of the saints. The bodies provided by Xiao Mountain without expecting anything in return allowed Shen Shen to enter the holy realm in just one month and advance the ghostly nine transformation technique to the sixth transformation. He he, in that case, let's have a little understanding today. Shen Shen shouted loudly, and after assessing his own strength, he decided to take a chance. Even if he exposed the secret of being able to use ancient artifacts today, he still had to eliminate Nalan Songhai. Now that Wan Zhang is dead, only Nalan Songhai remains. Moon births that Song Si. Nalan Songhai directly displayed his most powerful celestial art to prevent any accidents. The other ten holy realm powerhouses of the Seven Star Sect also did not hesitate at all, directly displaying their ultimate celestial arts. Because the strength Qian Chen had just shown was too amazing, he had actually instantly killed Wan Zhang. It should be noted that Wan Zhang was also a formidable holy realm powerhouse, but under Qian Chen's attack, he didn't even manage to block two moves showing just how terrifying Qian Chen's strength really was. Qian Chen took several steps back in succession and began to activate the ability of the longevity clock. The next moment, a huge golden clock appeared in Qian Chen's celestial shadow hand, with an imposing momentum like a mountain and river. As the clock swung down, it emitted a huge sound wave, blocking Nalan Songhai's celestial art. Then Qian Chen recited the celestial art ice age, and the sea water released by Nalan Songhai's moon births that Song Si was instantly frozen into a huge ice wall. This conveniently blocked the celestial arts displayed by the other ten holy realm powerhouses. Seeing his celestial art being blocked, as well as the golden clock held by Qian Chen's celestial shadow hand, Nalan Songhai was greatly shocked. That, that's the longevity clock? How is this possible? He can actually use ancient artifacts, how is this possible? Even if he is the sect master, he cannot reach this level, who exactly is this person? Nalan Songhai and the others were unable to describe their shock. At over 200 years old, his heart was racing as he looked at the longevity clock held firmly in Qian Chen's celestial shadow hand, and he was already feeling a sense of defeat. He had a premonition that even with himself and the ten holy realm powerhouses of the seven star sect, they still could not fight against Qian Chen. Elder Nalan, don't hesitate, quickly display your celestial art. A practitioner of the seven star sect reminded. Nalan Songhai came to his senses, nodded, and once again displayed his celestial art. However, this time Chen Chen preempted him and displayed the celestial art, ghostly nine-style star transformation. A huge energy mass flew towards Nalan Sunhai and the several practitioners of the Seven Star Sect. Taking advantage of everyone displaying defensive celestial arts, Chen Chen flew straight towards the Holy Realm powerhouses of the Seven Star Sect, wielding the longevity clock and fiercely smashing it onto the defensive celestial art of one of them. The practitioner's defensive celestial art instantly disintegrated, and as he gritted his teeth and tried to block the longevity clock with his bare hands, he didn't even have time to let out a scream before he turned into ashes. Seeing this scene, Nalan Sanhai and the others couldn't help but feel their scalps go numb. At this moment, they realized that they were not fighting against a holy realm powerhouse, but against a devil who killed without blinking an eye. Nalan old man, come and face your death. 
Chien Chen roared, charging straight towards Nayland Sanghai. Nayland Sanghai was completely terrified, forcibly grabbing a Holy Realm practitioner to shield himself, and then fleeing in panic. The practitioner who was used as a scapegoat by Nayland Sanghai hadn't even reacted before being struck by the longevity clock, falling heavily to the ground and spewing out several mouthfuls of blood. At the same time, the battle between Qian Chen and the Seven Star Sect attracted the attention of many practitioners who had come to Tsong City in search of the new Emperor Realm. Isn't that Elder Nayland Sanghai of the Seven Star Sect, being chased and attacked by that young man? Wait, isn't that the guy the Seven Star Sect put a bounty of two million ancient coins on? The ancient artifact held by that guy's celestial shadow hand is the longevity clock. How is this even possible? The battle between Qian Chen and the Seven Star Sect attracted the attention of many practitioners. Among these cultivators, many are holy realm powerhouses, and they have some understanding of ancient artifacts. They quickly recognized the large clock held by Qian Chen Xianying as an ancient artifact, the longevity clock. Qian Chen, this fool, actually used the longevity clock in front of so many people. Isn't he afraid of attracting the attention of those few great emperors? The night god Qian Xuan, hiding on the side, showed an anxious expression on his face. Although Qian Chen's current strength has almost no opponents in the holy realm, the fact that he can use ancient artifacts will soon spread throughout the entire ancient continent. By then, those emperor realm cultivators will definitely want to capture him and force out the secret of being able to use ancient artifacts. Nalan old man, you are really despicable, actually not caring at all about the lives of your subordinates. Shen Shen looked coldly at Nalan Sanghai, who wanted to escape, and immediately pursued with the longevity clock in hand. Nalan Sanghai's face changed drastically. Originally, it was an overwhelming situation, but now it had turned into Qian Chen chasing a dozen holy realm powerhouses alone. What a disgrace. Kid, you are seeking death. I have lived for a hundred years, and I am actually being chased and attacked by a brat who has just entered the holy realm. Humph, since you are so eager to die, then I will fulfill your wish. Nalan Sanhai, realizing that he couldn't escape and surrounded by many other sect cultivators, no longer tried to run away to save face. Qian Chen sneered, who will fulfill whom in the end? Ha ha. Xian Chen exhaled and put away the longevity clock. He clasped his hands together in front of his chest and recited the divine text. Nether Nine Forms Profound Nether Brahma Fire Technique. This was the divine technique contained in the fourth turn of the Nether Nine Transformation Technique. At this point, Xian Chen's soul power level had already reached the initial stage of the soul leader, and using a series of such powerful divine techniques was not a problem. Nalan Sanghai once again used the Moon Birth Sanghai to block Xian Chen's divine technique. But Chen Chen Xianying suddenly spewed out a huge fire snake from his mouth, directly breaking through Nayland Sunhai's divine technique. The huge fire snake struck Nayland Sunhai directly, and he let out a scream as he fell from the sky to the ground, his body burning with intense flames. Hot, too hot. Nayland Sunhai wanted to use his divine technique to summon water to extinguish the fire on his body, but the water had no effect and instead made the fire even bigger. Chen Chen put away his Xianying and walked to Nayland Sunhai's side, looking at him coldly. Don't waste your energy. This is the Brahma fire, and you can't extinguish it with ordinary water. Rest assured, I won't let you die so easily. My three masters were forced by you to use the immortal explosion. Now I won't let you live or die. Xian Chen's eyes were full of anger as he thought to himself, Masters, I have avenged you. Ah, Xian Chen, you little brat, how dare you play with me like this? Nayland Sanghai screamed and rolled on the ground, completely losing his previous arrogance. Xian Chen remained silent just standing quietly beside him. Because Nalan Sanghai had a high-quality immortal body, the Brahma fire would not be able to kill him for a while. Nalan Sanghai screamed, and many other cultivators around him shouted, Everyone, this person is the fugitive wanted by our seven-star sect. There is a reward of two million ancient coins. Whoever can take his head can come to our seven-star sect to claim the reward. He is also a disciple who betrays his master and destroys his ancestors. He killed the three elders of the Eternal Sect who were the guardians of the ancient artifact longevity clock. In order to obtain the longevity clock, this person spared no effort to kill them. May I ask, can you all tolerate such a malicious person existing in the ancient continent? Seeing that the people of the Seven Star Sect were unable to do anything to Qian Chen, Nalan Sanghai continued to distort the truth, trying to make Qian Chen the target of public criticism and provoke the other sect cultivators around to attack him. Qian Chen's expression changed. There were at least a hundred cultivators around him, half of whom were holy realm powerhouses. If they really attacked him together for the sake of this reward, it would truly be an impossible battle to win. Nayland Sanghai's words caused many cultivators around to be tempted. Two million Hangu coins, this is a considerable reward. Yes, yes, anyway, this kid is a notorious criminal. 
If we help Elder Nalan take his head, not only will we earn money, but we will also be doing a service to the people. With such thoughts, many people harbored evil intentions, gathering their immortal auras and casting unfriendly glances at Qianqian, waiting for someone to make the first move. After all, they had just witnessed Qianqian's terrifying strength. Humph, Nalan old man, even at death's door, you still want to shift the blame onto me? Qianqian raged, waving his hand to make the Vidra fire burning on Nalan Sunghai even larger, causing Nalan Sunghai to writhe in pain on the ground. Gentlemen, do not believe the words of this shameless Nalan Sunghai. That day, it was the Seven Star Sect colluding with the Eternal Sect's cultivators, launching a surprise attack on the Eternal Sect overnight and shifting all the blame onto me. Several months ago, several major sects with ancient divine artifacts encountered trouble, and those artifacts went missing, all due to the people of the Seven Star Sect. They embezzled the ancient divine artifacts and pinned the blame on me and several other nameless cultivators. Xianqian explained to the surrounding cultivators who were about to make a move. Kid, do you have any evidence for your words? Elder Nalan has always had a good reputation, while you are just a wanted criminal. Why should we believe you? Besides, we are not blind. The divine artifact you wielded just now was the longevity clock. Although we don't know how you activated the ancient divine artifact, it's clear that the longevity clock is indeed in your hands. Yet you keep insisting that the seven star sect embezzled the ancient divine artifacts? One of the cultivators looked at Chen Chen coldly, full of disdain in his tone. Chen Chen opened his mouth, but for a moment, he couldn't find a rebuttal, as he had indeed just used the longevity clock, and it was indeed in his hands. The words of this cultivator made the hesitant and observant cultivators believe that Chen Chen was the one lying. Heck, kid, you've reached the holy realm at such a young age and can even activate an ancient divine artifact. You must have learned some kind of sorcery. Today, we'll kill you, which will be considered upholding justice. A cultivator shouted, then charged towards Chen Chen. Seeing this, Xian Xin realized that he was in a hopeless situation, so he once again revealed his immortal aura and directly took out the longevity clock. Xian Xin's immortal aura wielded the longevity clock and fiercely smashed it into the ground, creating a huge energy wave that directly repelled the approaching cultivator. Since you don't believe the truth, then come on, I, Xian Xin Dashang, will fight you all to the end. Xian Xin looked resolutely at the crowd, and at this moment, no one dared to take another step forward. After all, Xianqian's immortal aura was holding an ancient divine artifact, a weapon used by deities. Xianqian's immortal aura held the huge longevity clock, standing there with an imposing manner, and not a single cultivator dared to approach. Since none of you dare to come forward, then I'll take my leave. Seeing this, Xianqian took out Heixia and walked towards Nalan Sanghai, who was still burning with Vajra fire. When Nalan Sanghai saw Xianqian approaching with Heixia in hand, it was as if he had seen a devil. Kid, you can't kill me. If you kill me, even if you escape to the ends of the earth, the Seven Star Sect will hunt you down. If you spare me today, I promise not to harass you in the future. The other elders of the Seven Star Sect are also on good terms with me. I'll go back and persuade them, you just need to let. Nalan Sunghai was still pleading, but Qian Qin raised his hand and directly cut off his head, silencing his voice. Nalan Sunghai, a strong man of the Holy Realm from the Seven Star Sect, fell. Ha, huh? spare you? When so many innocent disciples of the Eternal Sect died at your hands, why didn't I see you spare them? Qian Qin looked coldly at the decapitated Nalan Sanghai. Qian Qin put away Hei Xiao, then took out a Qian Kuan bag and put Nalan Sanghai's body inside. This old thing is still a quasi-emperor. It will definitely be very useful to absorb and cultivate the Nine Transformation Technique of the Netherworld. When the other several Saint Realm cultivators of the Seven Star Sect saw Qian Qin taking away the body of Nalan Sanghai, they wanted to stop him but they were deterred by Qian Qian's cold and indifferent gaze. These people trembled and dared not approach. Qian Qian opened the void gate and immediately entered it after finding Yixin Xianzun. At this time, the other cultivators also reacted. Everyone, let's go together. We can't let this kid escape. He can't possibly fight against so many of us Saint Realm experts alone, right? One of the cultivators shouted and wanted to chase after Qian Qian and Yixin Xianzun. At the same time, the right guardian of the demon sect also arrived and happened to see Qian Chen about to enter the void gate, immediately using his divine technique. Damn, the people from the demon sect are here too, run. Qian Chen was shocked. This right guardian and the left guardian were dressed exactly the same, both wearing the demon sect's attire. Qian Chen immediately recognized him as a member of the demon sect. Qian Sun, hold on to my waist tightly and don't let go. If you get lost in the void star realm, it will be very difficult for me to find you. Shen Shen's eyes narrowed as he spoke to Yishin Shensun. Yishin Shensun hesitated, but seeing the resolute side of Qian Shen, a sense of security suddenly surged in her heart. 
She just responded with a hum and held onto Qian Chen's waist tightly. Several Saint Realm experts quickly followed Qian Chen into the Void Star Realm, with the right guardian of the demon sect close behind. Qian Chen realized that the situation was not good. The people behind him were all Saint Realm experts, and it would be difficult to shake them off this time. After a few minutes in the Void Star Realm, the group of pursuers behind him still did not give up. Sigh, there's no way to escape this time. Xian Sun, I will immediately reopen the Void Gate. You leave the Void Star Realm first. Their target is me, they definitely won't go after you alone. After you go out, find a safe place to hide. I will come find you soon. Chen Chen planned to first settle Yishin Xian Sun. Only in this way could the two of them escape the pursuit of several Saint Realm cultivators. Yishin Xian Sun frowned and said, No, how can you possibly fight against so many people alone? I'm not a fool. How could I possibly confront them head on? You go first. After you leave, I can use my divine technique to find a way to escape. Listen to me. Shen Shen said, embracing her waist with one hand and stepping forward while reciting the divine text to open the void gate. The void gate opened, and Shen Shen pushed Yi Shen Shen Sun into it, saying, You must protect yourself. I will come find you. You. Be careful. Yi Shen Shen Sun hesitated, but ultimately entered the void gate and left the void star realm. Seeing Yi Shen Shen Sun leave, Shen Shen finally let go of his worries and immediately used the shadow clone technique. After reaching the Saint Realm, Shen Shen could summon up to a hundred clones. Many of the clones scattered in all directions, leaving many cultivators bewildered. Isn't this kind of divine technique only usable by a great emperor? How can this kid use it? This is impossible. Which one is the real one after all, damn it. The cultivators angrily cursed and some of them chose one to chase after. The real Chen Chen was mixed in with the clones, and he had already shaken off most of the pursuers using this method. However, there was still a cultivator following closely behind him. Chen Chen turned around and saw that it was the right guardian of the demon sect. TSK, I didn't expect the person sent by the demon sect this time to have some strength. He actually saw through that I am the real one at a glance. Chen Chen knew that he probably had to fight this cultivator from the demon sect head on. Just then, a voice flashed through Chen Chen's mind, don't try to fight the right guardian of the demon sect. He is not an ordinary saint realm cultivator. Right guardian? Xian Shen was stunned for a moment, but ultimately decided to listen to the voice in his mind, because the previous two times he had spoken, Xian Shen had averted the danger, so this person must be acting out of goodwill. Where are you running to? shouted the right protector following behind Xian Shen, immediately revealing his celestial form. At this moment, several doors opened in the sky above the major sex, and several holy realm powerhouses rushed into the lower sex, declaring themselves to be from the Jinxian Hall. In the Tang sect, a Jinxian Hall cultivator said, I will give you all a chance to unconditionally surrender and join the Jinxian Hall. Those who resist will be killed without mercy. The head of the Tang sect appeared at the entrance of the sect and cursed, What kind of place do you think the Jinxian Hall is? How dare you? Before the head of the Tang sect could finish speaking, his head separated from his body, and he didn't even have time to react. The Jinxian Hall cultivator who had killed him licked the blood from his blade and looked at the crowd with a twisted expression, resist, and you will meet the same fate as your sect leader. The disciples of the Tang sect, seeing this, immediately lost their will to resist. If their sect leader could be killed in an instant, what was the point of putting up a fight? The Tang sect fell. At the same time, several sects on the Hangu continent were playing out similar scenes. Many sects rose up in resistance, only to be completely annihilated. A door opened in the sky above the semi-desert, and the gate emperor emerged, flying towards the Qingyun pavilion. He he he. Qingyun emperor, I advise you to surrender directly. We have been old friends, I don't want to kill you. The gate emperor looked at the Qingyun emperor, laughing maniacally. The Qingyun emperor's expression turned cold. He had received word that the Jinxian Hall had mobilized all its forces to massacre cultivators on the Hengu continent. Anyone who did not surrender to the Jinxian Hall would be killed. Gate Emperor, by doing this, you are making enemies of the entire cultivation world. The Qingyun Emperor said coldly. He he he. So what? Qingyun Emperor, if you join our Jinxian Hall, we won't mistreat you. It's just that your position as sect leader will become that of an elder. What does it matter to be demoted by one level compared to falling directly? The Gate Emperor stood alone in front of the Qingyun Pavilion sect, while the Qingyun Emperor was backed by dozens of Holy Realm cultivators. Gate Emperor, we are both Emperor Realm cultivators. Do you think you can definitely suppress me? Moreover, you are alone now, while I have many quasi-Emperor Realm cultivators behind me. What can you use to fight against me? The Qingyun Emperor looked at the Gate Emperor with a dark expression. They had both become Emperor Realm cultivators at the same time, and in terms of strength, 
the gate emperor did indeed surpass him. Furthermore, the gate emperor had a very special ability, which was to open doors at any location at will, making it difficult for others to figure out his exact position during a fight. The gate emperor remained unfazed and said, Qing Yun Emperor, your Qing Yun pavilion is just one of the last ten sects on the Hangu continent. You know very well that while other sects may have hidden many emperor realm cultivators, your Qing Yun pavilion truly only has you as a great emperor, isn't that so? He he he. I have never been one to form alliances. I can tell you the truth, the Jinxian Hall was not founded by me. I am just working for someone else, he he he. The gate emperor looked meaningfully at the Qing Yun emperor. The Qing Yun emperor's expression changed. The gate emperor's words were all true. The reason why the Qingyun pavilion had been at the bottom of the rankings among the ten major sects on the Hangu continent for so many years was because there was only one great emperor in the sect. The other sects had at least two, but it just wasn't shown on the surface. Moreover, the implications of the gate emperor's words had long been understood by the Qingyun emperor. The gate emperor was not the sect leader of the Jinxian Hall, and he was working for someone else. To make a great emperor willingly submit, one could imagine just how terrifying the strength of the Jinxian Hall's sect leader truly was. Master, we have so many people, don't waste time talking to him. I don't believe that the gate emperor alone can defeat our entire sect. The elder of the Qingyun pavilion stood beside the great emperor Qingyun and said, No, the reason why the palace of the immortal execution dared to make such a big move, the gate emperor knows that this is going against the entire cultivation world, but he still did it without hesitation, indicating that he has a card that gives him unparalleled confidence. The great emperor Qing Yun did not dare to take this risk. It was extremely dangerous for the two emperors to engage in direct combat, with the risk of falling at any time. Seeing the hesitation of the great emperor Qing Yun, the gate emperor continued, he he he. Great emperor Qing Yun, have you made up your mind? Do you want to surrender to our palace of the immortal execution? Gate emperor, I hope you can tell me why you are doing this. I don't know the purpose of your palace of the immortal execution. I can't bring the disciples of the Qingyun Pavilion to join your palace of the immortal execution. He he he. You don't need to know right now. The great emperor Qingyun was taken aback and shook his head towards the gate emperor. In that case, I can't join you. If you want to fight, then come on. I, great emperor Qingyun, have been the emperor for hundreds of years and I won't fear you. The gate emperor did not waste any more words, revealing a hundred meter high black immortal shadow, standing on the edge of the semi-desert while the demon saint emperor on the other side of the semi-desert also sensed the aura of the gate emperor and the great emperor Qing Yun. The demon saint emperor licked his lips and murmured, the gate emperor actually started a fight with that old man Qing Yun, the palace of the immortal execution is really crazy. The gate emperor was the first to use immortal techniques, and a hundred black gates appeared in the sky above the Qing Yun pavilion, floating faintly in the air. The gate emperor sighed, great emperor Qing Yun, I sincerely advise you to join us, out of our old friendship. If you wait for him to come here, I'm afraid it will be too late for you to surrender. At the next moment, the immortal techniques of the great emperor Qing Yun and the gate emperor collided, creating a wave of energy that almost covered the entire semi-desert. Shen Shen and the right guardian of the demon sect had already fought several rounds in the void star realm. The right guardian was panting, feeling very surprised. He had not expected Shen Shen's strength to be so strong after entering the holy realm. Your strength is very strong. It seems that using the power of the longevity bell can greatly increase the cultivation level of the practitioner. You make me even more eager to obtain the longevity bell. The right guardian licked his lips, his face showing an almost crazy expression. Qian Qin was also panting. The previous battles with the seven star sect and others had consumed a lot of soul power. Now, he was also struggling in the game with the right guardian. Even though Qian Qin had already reached the early stage of the soul leader, continuous battles like this were still very difficult for him. I originally wanted to reveal the existence of the netherworld hammer later, but if I don't use it today, I'm afraid I will die in his hands sooner or later. His level of soul power is obviously higher than mine, and he is still fighting me at his peak. I can only take a chance. Shen Shen gritted his teeth, and with a thought, the longevity bell in his immortal shadow's hand was put away. Seeing this, the right guardian sneered. What, are you afraid in putting away the longevity bell? Are you afraid that I will get it later? Xian Qin ignored the right guardian, took a deep breath, and began to operate the Netherworld 9 transformation technique. Soon, his body began to emit a purple light, and then, a giant purple hammer appeared in his immortal shadow's hand, even larger than Xian Qin's immortal shadow. This was the Netherworld hammer given to him by the Netherworld god. The right guardian, seeing this giant hammer, had a drastic change in his expression. What is this giant hammer after all? Xian Qin's immortal shadow waved the Netherworld hammer, veins bulging on his forehead, and shouted, something that will take your life. 
The right guardian felt a terrifying aura from the giant hammer in Chen Chen's immortal shadow's hand, and he, who had always been calm and composed, actually felt fear of death. How could this kid have so many strange weapons, damn it? The right guardian scolded and planned to leave here first. However, Chen Chen had already planned to completely resolve him. Netherworld 9 Styles Tyene Corpse Escape Xian Shen recited the divine text, and hundreds of white skeletons appeared from the void, rushing towards the right guardian like ghosts. The right guardian quickly used his celestial arts to fend off their encirclement. Seizing this opportunity, Xian Shen wielded the netherworld hammer towards the right guardian. Compared to the longevity bell, the netherworld hammer's power was even greater, and Xian Shen could also enhance it with the power brought by the netherworld 9 transformation technique. Because Chen Chen originally couldn't use the longevity bell before reaching the Emperor Realm, he suddenly awakened for some unknown reason, allowing the Celestial Shadow to temporarily use the longevity bell. Oomph. You think you can defeat me with just this? Wishful thinking. The right guardian had no choice but to bear this blow with his bare hands. White skeletons crawled all over the right guardian, gnawing at his body. He shook his tiger-like body, emitting a brilliant light, and his Celestial Shadow instantly enveloped him. His celestial shadow raised his hand to catch Chen Chen's blow, only slightly bending his knees, and then forcefully lifted and overturned Chen Chen. How is this possible? Chen Chen retreated repeatedly, looking at the right guardian in astonishment. Before this, Chen Chen had only used the longevity bell to overpower more than ten saint realm experts from the seven star sect, and Nalan Sunghai was also a quasi-emperor realm cultivator. Chen Chen had defeated him without using the netherworld hammer. But now, the right guardian of the demon sect not only survived under the netherworld hammer, but also effortlessly caught this blow. I saw your battle with the old man from the seven star sect. I have to admit that I was surprised that you could use ancient artifacts, but, my physical body is particularly outstanding among saint realm cultivators. I have reached the mid-grade saint physique, and the strength of my body is not something that you, who only have a celestial physique, can compare to. The right guardian's face revealed a cruel expression as he grabbed many of the skeletons summoned by Qian Chen and crushed them into powder in his palm. Your physique has reached the saint physique? How is this possible? At best, you are only a quasi-emperor. How could you have already reached the saint physique? Isn't the saint physique something that only emperor realm cultivators can achieve? Chen Chen frowned. In his impression, he had never seen a cultivator with a physique beyond the high-grade celestial physique. At most, they were only on par with his high-grade celestial physique. Even under the pressure of the longevity bell, it was impossible to withstand a blow unscathed. But if the physical body had reached the saint physique, it would possess the same defensive power as an emperor realm cultivator. The right guardian looked disdainfully at Chen Chen and said, Who told you that only emperor realm cultivators can achieve the saint physique? You are just a frog at the bottom of a well. There are still many things you don't know. A person like you can actually use so many ancient artifacts, it's really admirable. But from now on, these two ancient artifacts will belong to our demon sect. After saying this, the right guardian's eyes suddenly became fierce. Xian Chen was taken aback. The celestial arts he had just used had almost exhausted all his soul power, and the remaining soul power was not enough to continue fighting the right guardian. Xian Chen had not expected the terrifying nature of the right guardian's physical body. This was completely beyond his expectations. 10,000 Demon Secret Technique The Right Guardian's Celestial Shadow began to undergo a huge transformation, gradually distorting from a human form into a fierce primordial giant beast nearly a hundred meters tall. Shen Shen was even more surprised to see this scene. He had never expected that the Right Guardian could actually change the form of his Celestial Shadow. The transformed Right Guardian, now a giant beast, roared and charged towards Qian Shen at a fast speed, almost leaving an afterimage. So fast! Shen Shen had to activate the defensive body of the netherworld overlord. The next moment, he was directly hit by the right guardian, and he flew out. Puff! Shen Shen spat out a mouthful of blood and looked at the right guardian with a solemn expression. So strong. It seems that the second rank demon sect is indeed stronger than the seven star sect. And this is just one right guardian. Shen Shen regretted a bit. If he had known to leave Sunqing with Emperor Chiyu, now with his ability, he could hardly confront the right protector. After all, the right protector had been a practitioner at the quasi-emperor level for a hundred years, while Chen Chen had just recently advanced to the level of a holy realm powerhouse. Just as the right protector was preparing to launch another attack, a huge figure flashed by, grabbing Chen Chen and disappearing from the original location at a speed so fast that the right protector couldn't react. When the right protector rushed to the original location of Chen Chen, he had already disappeared without a trace. Damn, who saved him? It's almost impossible to meet in this void star realm without entering through a void gate. 
Only practitioners of the Void Saint sect can locate in the Void Star realm. Could it be someone from the Void Saint sect? When did this kid get involved with them? The right protector unwillingly transformed back into human form, standing on the ground lost in thought. At this time, after being grabbed by the huge shadow just now, Chen Chen quickly flew into the war fog of the Void Star Realm, without the right protector noticing. Who are you? Chen Chen suddenly looked up and found himself being held by the claw of a dragon, with a person in a black cloak sitting on the dragon's back. The person in the black cloak did not answer Chen Chen, just gazing ahead, and Chen Chen suddenly recognized this dragon, it was the Star Realm Dragon. It wasn't until they flew far away that Chen Chen was let go by the Star Realm Dragon, and the person on its back also jumped down, standing in front of Chen Chen. Xian Chen, in pain, held his chest, injured internally by the blow from the right protector. He felt like his body was falling apart. Whoever you are, thank you for saving my life. Xian Chen looked sincerely at the person in the black cloak in front of him. If it weren't for her, he might have really died at the hands of the right protector. The person stared at Xian Chen, not speaking for a long time. Just when Xian Chen was wondering if she was mute, the person in the black cloak spoke, No need to thank me, just leave here quickly. The voice under the cloak turned out to be a woman's voice, albeit slightly hoarse. Xian Chen was taken aback and said, Thank you for saving me, I'm Chen Chen, and you? I already said, just leave here quickly. The woman replied impatiently. You saved me, you should at least tell me your name, or else. Before Qian Chen could finish his sentence, the woman suddenly struck out, sending Qian Chen flying once again. Get lost. The woman coldly said, then turned and rode on the back of the Star Realm Dragon, disappearing from Qian Chen's sight in a flash. The blow from the woman didn't use much force, Qian Chen was just shaken out. She's really a strange person. But her Star Realm Dragon is really fast. Now that I'm also a Holy Realm powerhouse, I'll have to catch a Star Realm Dragon when I have the chance, it can greatly enhance my combat power. Xian Xin said to himself, then opened a void gate and escaped from the void star realm, the Banzang Desert. In a short period of time, Emperor Men and Emperor Qing Yun had fought back and forth more than ten times, and the buildings of the Qing Yun Pavilion had become ruins under the battle of the two emperors. Emperor Men, I've told you that the Qing Yun Pavilion is not just me, there are many disciples, you cannot defeat the Qing Yun Pavilion. Emperor Qing Yun, holding a sword, looked down at Emperor Men from a high vantage point. At this time, relying on the help of many quasi-emperor practitioners in the sect, Emperor Qing Yun had gained the upper hand in the battle against Emperor Men. He he he. What does it matter if you have more people, except for you, the rest are just ants. Emperor Men wiped away a trace of blood from the corner of his mouth, then instantly opened multiple doors, and many holy realm powerhouses appeared from inside. You guys are really slow. I've been entangled by these ants for so long, I'm already annoyed, he he he. As the words of the door emperor fell, he once again displayed his immortal technique and rushed towards the great emperor Qing Yun. This time, he had the help of many practitioners from the Jinxian palace, who were mostly in the holy realm. Qing Yun disciples, follow me. Puff. Before the great emperor Qing Yun could finish speaking, a hand pierced directly through his chest, holding his still beating heart, thump, thump. Old man, you talk too much. A voice of a young man came from behind the great emperor Qing Yun. He took his hand out of the great emperor Qing Yun's body still holding his slowly beating heart. The great emperor Qing Yun looked back in disbelief and saw a person behind him wearing a black mask. Who are you? The great emperor Qing Yun was horrified. For a hundred years, he had not felt fear again, but at this moment, he felt the threat of death and the fear of absolute power. His body had reached the level of a high-quality holy body. Moreover, he was also a practitioner in the emperor realm. Even if he had fought the door emperor for several rounds, he had not suffered many injuries. But now, he had been struck from behind and had his heart taken out. I am the Shadow Emperor, the master of the Jinxian Palace. Shadow Qianxian coldly smiled, licked the Great Emperor Qingyun's heart, and grinned. The Great Emperor Qingyun felt a chill down his spine. A madman, definitely a madman. The only thought in the Great Emperor Qingyun's mind at this moment was this. He understood that there was absolutely no chance of winning against the Jinxian Palace. With the strength of the master of the Jinxian Palace, he had killed a Great Emperor in an instant. It was clear how terrifying his strength had reached. The great emperor Qing Yun was one of the few practitioners in the cultivation world who had reached the emperor realm. His strength might not be as strong as other great emperors in the emperor realm, but he would never be killed by another great emperor in the emperor realm. However, the master of the Jinxian palace had done it. The shadow emperor, is it? I surrender. In the future, the Qing Yun palace will be at your service, and I hope you can spare the Qing Yun palace. The great emperor Qing Yun looked at his heart still in Shadow Chanchen's hand, a cold sweat breaking out on his forehead. As an emperor realm great emperor, 
As long as his heart and brain were not destroyed, he would not die. But now, his life was in someone else's hands. Even if the great emperor Qing Yun felt unwilling, he could only submit to save his own life. Seeing the great emperor Qing Yun's submissive appearance, the door emperor couldn't help but laugh. He he he, he he he. Qing Yun old man, I told you to surrender to our Jinxian palace early on. Why did you have to make it like this? The great emperor Qing Yun no longer had his arrogant demeanor and looked at Shadow Qianqian with cold sweat, not daring to retort the door emperor's mockery. At this moment, the other Qing Yun palace practitioners and elders were all shocked. In their view, the great emperor realm great emperor was the supreme existence, and the great emperor Qing Yun was one of them. However, just a minute ago, they had witnessed the great emperor Qing Yun's heart being directly taken out. How is this possible? Even the master of the Jinxian palace, as an emperor realm great emperor, could not have done this. The shadow emperor's strength is too terrifying. He used the divine forbidden technique at the hundred sex conference. Could it be that he has also used the divine forbidden technique now to achieve this level? Master. The Qingyun palace practitioners were in a mess, looking nervously at the sky. The door emperor looked at Shadow Chenchen and retracted his immortal shadow, flying to Shadow Chenchen's side, and said, Since the old man Qingyun has submitted to us, give his heart back to him. It has caused great damage to his primordial spirit, he he he. Shadow Chenchen glanced lightly at the door emperor, then turned his head to look at the door emperor, and said coldly, Too late. In the next moment, he suddenly rose up and crushed the heart of the Emperor Qing Yun. The people present were all dumbfounded, and several elders of the Qing Yun pavilion turned pale, staggering back a few steps and sitting on the ground. They murmured, Emperor Qing Yun. He, he has fallen. The sect master, the sect master is dead. How is this possible? Many disciples were also dumbfounded. They had just been feeling aggrieved and planning to submit to the Jinxian Hall in the future, never expecting that Shadow Qianqian would do such a thing. He actually killed the Emperor Qing Yun without hesitation. He is the master of a sect, a top force in the cultivation world. The incredulous expression froze on the face of the Emperor Qing Yun, and the black immortal shadow behind him instantly turned into a wisp of white light, falling heavily to the ground. The splattered blood stained Shadow Qianqian and the sect master's face, and the sect master also looked at Shadow Qianqian in horror, unable to speak for a while. After a long time, the sect master wiped the blood from his face and lost his previous nonchalant attitude. Kid, it's fine to play around usually, but what benefit is there in killing Emperor Qing Yun? With his joining, the Jinxian Hall would have had another emperor, greatly enhancing our strength. Why did you kill him? The sect master felt angry. In the original plan, there was no mention of killing Emperor Qing Yun at all. Shadow Qianqian licked the blood on his hand and said, The Jinxian Hall doesn't need such trash. He was too noisy. There was no emotion in his tone, as if killing Emperor Qing Yun was a trivial matter to Shadow Qianqian. The sect master squinted at Shadow Qianqian, then burst into laughter after a few seconds, saying, he 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 I never expected that there would be someone in this world crazier than me, he he he. I didn't misjudge you. In that case, I won't be scrupulous anymore. The sect master opened a door and left the half-buried desert, taking a group of Jinxian Hall cultivators to the next sect. Shadow Qianqian stared coldly at the bewildered Qingyun pavilion cultivators and said, Ants, do you want to join my Jinxian Hall? I'll fight you. You have no reason to kill our sect master, and now you want us to join your sect. What a humiliation. A Qingyun pavilion elder was furious, revealing his immortal shadow and using his immortal technique to charge at Shadow Qianqian. Idiot. Shadow Qianqian casually said, then raised his hand and lightly flicked, a beam of light shot from his fingers, and the Qingyun pavilion elder instantly turned into ashes, not even having time to scream. Seeing this, several other elders also rose up in anger, and dozens of them rushed towards Shadow Qianqian, burning their primordial spirits, intending to use their lives to perish together with Shadow Qianqian. Dozens of Saint Realm powerhouses self-detonating, the energy is terrifying. Even if it doesn't kill him, it's enough to destroy his physical body, making it almost impossible for him to use immortal techniques. Elders, avenge the sect master. Avenge the sect master, see you in the next life. Several Qingyun pavilion elders shouted hoarsely, and the next moment, a strong light exploded in the air. The disciples of the Qingyun pavilion quickly activated defensive immortal techniques to prevent themselves from being affected by this powerful energy. Ten minutes later, the strong light disappeared. A female disciple of the Qingyun pavilion knelt on the ground, tears falling from her face. She was the granddaughter of one of the elders who self-detonated. She knelt on the ground, crying, Is it over? Do we have to pay such a great price? However, the next moment, she stared in horror, unable to believe what she saw in the sky, as if she had seen a demon from hell. How? How is this possible? So many elders self-detonated, 
How could he still be unscathed? The girl covered her mouth, as if she had seen a demon from hell. Shadow Chen Chen patted the dust off his shoulders and said lightly, Ants are always ants, even if they turn into moths, they are just moths flying into the flame. I'll ask you again, do you want to join the Zhuma Palace? The remaining practitioners of the Qingyun Pavilion showed fear on their faces. Now that the Qingyun Emperor is dead and several powerful elders have also perished, what resistance do they have left? Thus, the Qingyun Pavilion ceased to exist, and all the practitioners of the original Qingyun Pavilion joined the Zhuma Palace. The disciples outside have reported that the Zhuma Palace, which caused chaos at the Hundred Sex Conference, has had many practitioners appear at various sects. Those who do not join the Zhuma Palace will be ruthlessly killed. Because they have the support of the Gate Emperor, except for the Ten Great Sects, the other small sects have almost collapsed. A senior elder of the Yao sect knelt before the sect master. The sect master's face darkened as he said, the Zhuma Palace has truly gone mad. What does the Gate Emperor want to do? But it doesn't matter. They definitely wouldn't dare to offend the Ten Great Sects, otherwise the Ten Great Sects would join forces to destroy them. The elder's expression was grim, as if he had something to say but hesitated. What, do you have something else to tell me? The sect master frowned. After hesitating for a moment, the elder broke out in a cold sweat and said, Master, I just received the latest news. The Zhuma Palace's master killed the Qingyun Emperor, and the Qingyun Emperor has fallen. What? The Zhuma Palace's master killed the Qingyun Emperor? Apart from the Gate Emperor, the Zhuma Palace unexpectedly has another Emperor Realm powerhouse, and he even defeated the Qingyun Emperor? The sect master was astonished and suddenly rose from his chair, his face becoming extremely grim. Go and inform Xiaoyu to return to the sect immediately. After she returns, she must activate the sect's protective formation. No matter what the purpose of the Zhuma Palace is, we cannot afford any problems at this critical moment. This time, when Xiaoyu returns, she can bring back Chen Chen. With the longevity bell, I will soon be able to ascend. What can the mere Zhuma Palace do to me? After Qian Chen emerged from the Void Star Realm, he found himself outside Sunchen, unable to sense the aura of Night God Qian Xuan. Oh no, in the chaos, I forgot to remember the coordinates to open the Void Gate for Qian Xuan. It's not easy to find out where she is. Qian Chen rubbed his head. He was now separated from Night God Qian Xuan, and more and more practitioners were gathering around Sunchen. He couldn't stay here for too long. If the practitioners of the Yao sect and the Seven Star sect sensed him, he might not be so lucky to escape this time. After thinking for a moment, Shen Chen decided to leave the vicinity of Tsangchen. Not long after, he felt a sharp pain in his head, and there were intermittent whispers in his mind that he couldn't quite make out. After walking for two hours, Shen Chen left the vicinity of Tsangchen, and the practitioners heading towards Tsangchen were almost out of sight. Shen Chen took out a map and found that the next city was called Makung a transit city where many people had to pass through. From Makan, one could head in multiple directions, and it was almost a smooth journey. It wasn't far from the Heavenly Temple. Originally, I wanted to go to the Heavenly Temple to improve my soul power level, but now it seems unnecessary. With the nine revolutions of the netherworld, both my soul power level and cultivation realm can be improved at the same time. Xianchen put down the map. He no longer had his initial goal in mind and ultimately decided to head directly to the land of extreme cold. The entrance to the starry night of the four great realms existed in the land of extreme cold, where there were many soul beasts and medicinal herbs needed for practicing the nine revolutions of the netherworld. Xian Xin planned to stay there until he finished practicing the nine revolutions of the netherworld. By then, I should have reached the quasi-emperor realm, and with just one opportunity, I can directly become an emperor. Before we go, let's wait in Makung for two days. Makung is the closest city to Tsangchen, and Shen Yun should also be in Makung. After making a plan, Shen Chen immediately rushed to Makung. When Shen Chen arrived in Makang, he found that many people had gathered there, and these people looked anxious, as if they had escaped from somewhere, which puzzled Shen Chen. The Emperor Qi Yu appeared in a black cloak next to Qian Chen once again. Kid, there's chaos in the ancient continent. The Emperor Qi Yu smiled and said to Qian Chen. Shen Chen looked at the Emperor Qi Yu in confusion. What do you mean, Qi Yu old man? Just because a new emperor appeared in the mountains next to Tsancheng? Originally, this was already something that many sects and cultivators were paying attention to, but this is far from enough to cause chaos in the ancient continent. You should have entered the Void Star Realm earlier, so you are completely unaware of what has happened in the outside world in the past few hours. Yes, after you left, I encountered Nalan Sunhai of the Seven Star Sect and other cultivators. I have already killed Nalan Sunhai, avenging my three masters and the disciples of the Eternal Sect who died. A hint of ruthlessness flashed in Shen Shen's eyes, but he also felt relieved. Facing his enemies, Xian Chen had already killed Wantsong and Nalan Sanghai, 
leaving only the Seven Star Emperor. However, with his current strength, it was like a pipe dream to try to take down the Seven Star Emperor. The Emperor Chiyu glanced at Chinchen and said, You should find a place to stay in Makung first. It's easy for me to be exposed with so many people at the city gate. Chinchen nodded and blended into the crowd in Makung. Fortunately, because a large number of people were entering Makung continuously, it was difficult for the guards at the city gates to thoroughly inspect everyone. If Qian Qin were to be discovered as a fugitive wanted by the Seven Star Sect here, he would probably have to fight them again. After Qian Qin entered Makung, he found a relatively remote inn to stay in. He saw many people on the street with injuries, and he recognized them as cultivators, and their cultivation levels were not low. Qian Qin faintly sensed a hint of threat. After entering the inn, the Emperor Qiyu immediately appeared in Qian Qin's room, opened the rain realm, and isolated the entire room from the outside world. Qiyu old man, what exactly is happening outside? So many high-level cultivators appearing in Makung, which is just a transit city. Qian Chen asked. He he, during the brief time you were in the Void Star Realm, the sect master of the Zushan Hall had already broken through to the Emperor Realm, leading the sect emperor and a group of cultivators to invade the major sects. Even the Qingyun Pavilion, ranked 10th in the ancient continent, was flattened. There's also something you didn't expect. The Qingyun Emperor has fallen. The sect master of the Zushan Hall became an emperor? The Qingyun Emperor has fallen? Xian Qin was stunned by the unexpected news from the Emperor Qiyu. After a long time, Xian Qin regained his composure and looked at the Emperor Qiyu. Qiyu old man, are you sure you're not joking with me? The fall of an emperor is a huge matter. The arrogant behavior of the Zushan Hall is going to make enemies with the entire cultivation world, isn't it? Qian Qin frowned. He he, isn't it obvious? You should know that the Zushian Hall not only has the Sect Emperor, an Emperor Realm Cultivator, but also the Shadow Emperor, the Sect Master of the Zushian Hall. For those weaker sects, they can be completely crushed. And the most terrifying thing is that the Qingyun Emperor was killed in seconds. Facing the Shadow Emperor, he didn't even have the slightest ability to fight back, which proves that the Shadow Emperor is much stronger than the Qingyun Emperor. In the entire cultivation world, how many Emperor Realm Cultivators are capable of killing the Qingyun Emperor in seconds? Even at my peak, I could at most fight the Qingyun Emperor to a draw. Qiyu the Great Emperor said, with a solemn expression on his face. This time, Xian Qin was stunned in place. Killing an Emperor Realm Great Emperor in an instant. What kind of terrifying existence is this? Just a few months ago, the master of the Zhuxian Palace, the Black Mast Youth at the Hundred Sex Conference, was only a Saint Realm Powerhouse. He actually became an Emperor Realm Powerhouse so quickly. What kind of terrifying speed of advancement is this? Even with Qian Qin's combination of the Netherworld Overlord Body and the Netherworld Nine Transformation Technique for Cultivation, his cultivation speed is not even half as fast as his. Seeing Qian Qin speechless for a while, Qi Yu the Great Emperor sighed and said, You need to hurry up and cultivate. The Zhu Xian Palace dares to do this, there must be a trump card. They are well aware that after killing the Qing Yun Great Emperor, the other nine major sects will immediately become hostile to them. But they still did it without hesitation. R. All the cultivators of the sects attacked by the Zhuxian Palace killed? Not all of them. Those who do not obey the Zhuxian Palace are killed, and the rest are all brought under the banner of the Zhuxian Palace. Compared to the night when the Seven Star Sect invaded the Eternal Sect and several other sects, they are even more unbridled. Xian Qin realized that due to the natural disasters, the major sects had diverged, in order to gain absolute authority and survival rights for their own sects during the natural disasters. Xian Qin roughly understood the purpose of the Seven Star Sect, their ultimate goal is to seize the ancient artifacts, it seems that the Seven Star Great Emperor has a method to use them. But the Zuxian Palace's attacks are completely aimless, regardless of the size of the sects, they invade without hesitation, what is the purpose of this? After a period of silence between Qiyu the Great Emperor and Xian Qin, Xian Qin's expression changed and he said, I plan to wait in mocking for two days. Previously, I and Xian Qin were separated in the Void Star Realm. When she arrives, we will immediately go to the extreme cold land, where my cultivation of the Netherworld 9 transformation technique will be greatly accelerated. Xiyu the Great Emperor looked at Qian Qin with a meaningful smile and said slowly, Kid, you won't wait for her, I advise you to go to the extreme cold land as soon as possible. Why do you say that? Qian Qin looked at Qiyu the Great Emperor suspiciously, he had long had a premonition that Qiyu the Great Emperor seemed to be hiding a lot of things from him. Qian Qin's questioning did not cause much of a stir in Qiyu the Great Emperor, he just said in a calm tone, now the entire ancient continent is in turmoil, since she has been separated from you, it is very difficult to meet again. There are many cultivators fleeing from various sects on the road, it is extremely easy to encounter the risk of being pursued and killed by the Zhuxian Palace cultivators. 
That girl is not a fool, she will definitely find a safe place to wait, and will only appear after this turmoil has passed. Xian Chen looked at Qi Yu the Great Emperor without speaking. During this period, he had been with the night god Xian Xuan, and had already regarded her as a companion. Now, suddenly having to leave her and go to the extreme cold land alone, he felt a kind of indescribable sense of loss. Qi Yu the Great Emperor saw Qian Chen's sense of loss and said, I know what you are thinking. That girl will not easily encounter danger. I have long said that there is a very powerful cultivator behind her, she will not encounter danger, you should go to the extreme cold land with peace of mind, it is most important to improve your strength. Under the earnest persuasion of Qi Yu the Great Emperor, Xian Chen finally decided to stay in Makang for two days, hoping to find the night god Xian Xuan in Makang. Qi Yu the Great Emperor did not stop him too much, and then left Xian Chen's inn. After Qi Yu the Great Emperor left, he sighed lightly. He did not expect that his emperor's power had long produced such a formidable great emperor. This kid was born with a terrifying power, but he doesn't seem to know how to use it, and his clone has achieved terrifying accomplishments. If that kid finds out that the dark emperor is his own shadow, what kind of feeling will he have? In the next two days, Xian Shen has been searching for Yishin Xian Sun in Makang, but there has been no harvest. He felt very depressed. When he was in Sangcheng, Wu Bujan left without saying goodbye, and now he has lost contact with Yishin Xian Sun. Xian Shen also learned the news from the outside world in these two days. It is said that most of the sects have become affiliated sects of the Zhushan Palace. Those sects that were not attacked by the Zhushan Palace reacted quickly and immediately fled to any of the ten major sects to preserve their sect disciples. Compared to the Zhushan Palace, the ten major sects are relatively friendly. Of course, the news of the fall of the Qingyun Emperor quickly spread throughout the entire Hangu continent, and all cultivators were deeply shocked by this. I didn't expect the Qingyun Emperor to be directly killed by the Zhuxian Palace's sect master. What is the background of the Zhuxian Palace? Could it be that the new emperor of the emperor realm that appeared near Tsangqing that day is the sect master of the Zhuxian Palace? Impossible, I got the news that the new emperor of the emperor realm that appeared near Tsangqing disappeared immediately after his promotion. Many elders sent by the sects to investigate found nothing. On the street, Shen Shen listened to the discussions of the people on the street and felt a strange feeling in his heart. He didn't expect to cross into the world of cultivation and happen to encounter the once-in-a-millennium natural disaster, and then immediately encounter the conspiracy of the Seven Star Sect, followed by the rise of the Zhuxian Palace. It's really unfortunate. Xian Chen sighed. Two days passed, and Xian Chen did not find Yishin Xian Sun in mocking at all. He felt a little lost, but he had to go to the extremely cold place. Before leaving, Xian Chen planned to buy some thick clothes, as it was said that the extremely cold place was often in the midst of blizzards. Entering a clothing store, he suddenly remembered when he was shopping with Muyu, she bought a lot of clothes. I wonder how Muyu was doing. It's a good thing she wasn't in the sect when the Seven Star Sect invaded the Eternal Sect. Xian Xin felt a little melancholy, and then began to pick out clothes. At this moment, a man bumped into Qian Chen. Hey, don't you have eyes? You just bumped into me like that? The man's deep voice rang out as he grabbed Xian Chen's collar. Xian Chen looked at the tall man in front of him, his expression calm as he said, I'm sorry, I didn't notice, but please let go of me. Faced with the man's unkind behavior, Xian Chen chose to endure. He didn't want to cause a scene here, which would attract the seven star sect cultivators who were chasing him. Just an apology is enough? You made me very uncomfortable, compensate me. The man, seeing Xian Chen back down, showed a hint of smugness on his face. Instead of letting go of Qian Chen's collar, he became even more arrogant. Xian Chen still didn't get angry and said, How much do you want? At least 10,000 Hungu coins. Chen Chen frowned slightly. He had only bumped into him, and yet the man was asking for 10,000 Hengu coins. How was this any different from robbery? Chen Chen reached out and directly grabbed the man's hand and threw it away. His immense strength surprised the man, who didn't expect Chen Chen to be so powerful. Mister, I just bumped into you lightly, and besides, you weren't watching where you were going, right? You're asking for 10,000 Hengu coins now, isn't that inappropriate? You could have just robbed me directly but instead you're pretending that I bumped into you and demanding compensation. Isn't that too much? Xian Chen squinted at the man. He chose to back down simply because he didn't want to attract attention, but his Hangu coins didn't come from nowhere. He wasn't a fool to just give this man 10,000 Hangu coins. Ha ha ha. Your words are right. I'm just robbing you now. Hurry up and give me the money, or you'll regret it later. The man also let go and looked at Xian Chen with a fierce expression. The conversation between the two attracted a lot of onlookers, and soon someone recognized the man who was making things difficult for Qian Chen. Isn't this Zhang Dong from the Qingyun Pavilion? Why is he here? Wasn't the Qingyun Pavilion destroyed by the Zhuxian Palace? 
The remaining people were also taken under the command of the Zhuxian Palace. How could Zhang Dong appear in Makang? It's estimated that he took advantage of the Zhuxian Palace's inattention and escaped from the Qingyun Pavilion. The practitioners of the Zhuxian Palace are cruel by nature, and no one wants to submit to them. But this Zhang Dong is quite strong. He has already reached the Saint Realm. The passersby discussed one after another, and Xian Chen also realized that the man in front of him was called Zhang Dong, a practitioner of the Qingyun Pavilion. He could now appear in Makang, probably as the passersby said, he had escaped from the Qingyun Pavilion. After being recognized, Zhang Dong's face looked a bit ugly. He did indeed take advantage of the Zhuxian Palace's practitioner's inattention and secretly ran away from the Qingyun Pavilion. He had seen the cruel methods of the Zhuxian Palace's practitioners, and he might end up dead at the hands of the Zhuxian Palace before long. After escaping, Zhang Dong had no money at all, and he was worried about how to get some. Coincidentally, he ran into Qian Chen. In Zhang Dong's view, Qian Chen was a low-level practitioner, and he could definitely extort a large sum of money from him. Kid, stop talking nonsense and give me the money quickly. Zhang Dong impatiently looked at Qian Chen. He also didn't want to stay here for too long, after all, he had escaped from the Qingyun Pavilion. If he happened to encounter the people of the Zuxian Palace here and news of his escape was known, he would probably be punished on the spot. Xian Chen smiled and said, What if I don't give it to you? Not give it? Kid, are you sure you want to do this? Zhang Dong's veins bulged, and he threw a punch at Xian Chen, only to be easily caught by Xian Chen. Zhang Dong looked at Xian Chen in disbelief, never expecting that he could catch his fist so easily. Zhang Dong was furious and immediately displayed his celestial shadow, causing the crowd to disperse. He, this young man is really bold. Although the Qingyun Pavilion no longer exists, Zhang Dong was once a prominent figure there, and his strength should not be underestimated. It's quite a spectacle. I wonder how Zhang Dong will teach this kid a lesson. Chen Chen looked at the celestial shadow of Zhang Dong and chuckled, saying, Old man, I advise you not to mess with me, or you will regret it. Kid, you talk big, but who will regret it in the end is still unknown. Zhang Dong roared and used his celestial arts on Chen Chen. Xian Chen stood with his hands in his pockets, not even displaying his celestial shadow, quietly using the powerful defense of the netherworld overlord body, and directly withstood Zhang Dong's attack. When the dust settled, Xian Chen stood and scathed in the same spot, still smiling at Zhang Dong. Zhang Dong was dumbfounded. The onlookers were dumbfounded. What's going on? This kid actually withstood my attack without even using a defensive celestial art? Even a strong practitioner at the same realm wouldn't be able to withstand my attack with just their physical body. Zhang Dong couldn't believe his eyes. He seriously suspected that his celestial arts had gone awry and hadn't hit Qian Chen at all. Unconvinced, Zhang Dong tried again, but Qian Chen still stood with his hands in his pockets, not even blinking. When the dust settled, Zhang Dong was completely bewildered. He was certain that his celestial arts hadn't gone awry, yet Qian Chen was still standing there unharmed. Zhang Dong stared in disbelief and asked, Why didn't you dodge? Why did my attack have no effect on you? Because you're too weak. Qian Chen said lightly. The crowd was in an uproar. Too weak? How arrogant do you have to be to say such presumptuous words? Moreover, Zhang Dong is a strong practitioner at the Saint Realm, and Qian Chen directly withstood his two celestial arts with just his physical body, without even blinking. The onlookers were stunned, but Qian Chen's words completely infuriated Zhang Dong. He roared, and although he was a fierce person, he was not a fool. Zhang Dong knew that he had underestimated Qian Chen, and the person standing in front of him was definitely a formidable practitioner. Alas, I've given you a chance, but since you insist on seeking death, then I have no choice. Qian Chen had already sensed the presence of seven star sect cultivators not far away. Obviously, the battle here had attracted their attention. Qian Chen stopped playing around with Zhang Dong and his face showed a serious expression. When Qian Chen revealed his celestial aura, the onlookers and Zhang Dong suddenly realized that Qian Chen was also a Saint Realm powerhouse. No wonder he showed no fear when facing Zhang Dong. He, so you're also a Saint Realm powerhouse, but I am still a disciple of the Azure Cloud sect. You cannot defeat me. Zhang Dong coldly smiled and immediately used his celestial technique. However, Qian Chen had no intention of wasting time with Zhang Dong. He lightly recited a divine text, Nether Nine Forms, Lunar Corpse Escape. In an instant, countless white bone skeletons flew out from the void and grabbed Zhang Dong's body. Ah! Zhang Dong's face showed fear, and in just a few seconds, he was buried by these skeletons. When the skeletons dispersed, Zhang Dong had already been dismembered. Xian Chen casually glanced at Zhang Dong and disappeared from the spot. Onlookers looked at Zhang Dong's dismembered body, their faces showing shock. Who is that young man just now? He directly killed Zhang Dong. What terrifying strength is this? I seem to have seen him before. 
It seems he is a fugitive wanted by the Seven Star Sect, and it is said that he stole the Eternal Sect's longevity clock. Hiss. What has happened to the ancient continent recently? A new Emperor Realm Emperor has been born, the extermination hall is rapidly slaughtering the major sects, and now such a monster has emerged. I'm afraid that before the calamity arrives, the cultivation world will already be in chaos. Onlookers discussed as they looked at Zhang Dong's body, but they did not linger for too long, as such incidents were not uncommon. Shen Shen left Ma City and was far from the frigid land. Shen Shen originally wanted to travel through the air, which would take two days to reach. However, not only were the people from the Seven Star Sect chasing him, but also the right guardian of the Demon Sect was searching for him everywhere. It seemed that if he were to openly head to the frigid land, he would be discovered before going too far. But if he were to travel on foot, it would take at least a month and Shen Shen could not wait that long. Hiss. It seems I need to come up with a compromise, otherwise I won't be able to go to the frigid land. Shen Shen walked on the mountain road, his brow furrowed. Old man Shiyu, come out and give me some advice on how to go to the frigid land. Shen Shen said to an empty space. Soon, Emperor Chiyu appeared in front of Shen Shen, looking relaxed. Kid, you trouble me with such matters. Can't you use your brain a bit more? Your strength is very strong, but you can't fully utilize it. You always rely on me to come up with solutions. This is not right. Emperor Chiyu looked at Qian Chen, showing no intention of helping him with ideas. Shen Chen was stunned, not understanding why Emperor Chiyu would say that, but he did indeed start to reflect, realizing that Emperor Chiyu's words were not without reason. His understanding of divine texts was definitely the best in the cultivation world, and although his strength had improved rapidly, it had not reached an abnormal level, so he had not fully developed his ability to master divine texts. You don't necessarily have to use the ability to travel through the air to hurry on your way. The reason you dare not use this ability is entirely because you are afraid of being discovered by those two sects, so you just need to avoid encountering them. Emperor Chiyu stroked his beard and gave Qian Chen a hint. At this moment, Chen Chen felt as if he had been enlightened, showing a look of joy on his face, and immediately recited a divine text to use his celestial technique. Shadow Clone Technique in an instant, hundreds of Qian Chen's avatars appeared in the entire forest. The expressions on their faces were no longer as wooden as before, clearly indicating that with Qian Chen's cultivation and soul power level improvement, these avatars' strength had far surpassed their previous levels. Qian Chen had a plan, and once successful, he had a more than 90% chance of not being discovered by the Seven Star Sect and the Demon Sect. With a command from Qian Chen, all the avatars scattered in all directions of the forest, and Qian Chen also blended in, choosing one direction. After the fall of Nalan Sanhai, the Seven Star Sect sent out more elders to pursue Qian Qin. The Seven Star Emperor also realized that Qian Qin's strength had undergone a qualitative leap and could no longer be underestimated. After several elders of the Seven Star Sect were dispatched, they searched for Qian Qin throughout the Hengu continent. They also had a clear plan among themselves. Once Qian Qin was found, they must not easily engage in battle with him. At least two or more elders must be gathered to ensure that Qian Qin would not escape again. Fifty miles outside Makung, the flying elder of the Seven Star Sect suddenly saw a very suspicious figure among the horses in the mountains below and immediately flew down. After flying in, he was pleasantly surprised to find that the suspicious figure was indeed Chen Chen. Hey, it's really you, kid. The flying elder sneered, not choosing to attack immediately, but immediately using a secret technique to notify the two elders closest to him to come here and surround Chen Chen together. After the other two elders arrived nearby, the flying elder no longer hid and immediately used his celestial technique, intending to directly ambush Qian Qin. However, Qian Qin was very alert. Sensing the killing intent, he immediately leaped from the herd of horses, revealing a red celestial shadow symbolizing a saint-level expert. I didn't expect to be discovered, but you won't be able to escape this time. Elder UFA's face showed a hint of cunning. He signaled to the other two elders, and the three of them rushed towards Qian Qin, simultaneously using celestial techniques. Elders, let's attack together and avenge Elder Nalan. The flying elder shouted, and a huge celestial shadow soared into the air, striking towards Qian Qin. Qian Qin remained calm, first throwing out several celestial techniques, showing no intention of fighting the three elders of the Seven Star Sect. Oomph, trying to run? The flying elder scolded, immediately chasing after him. At that moment, the person following behind the flying elder said, Elder UFA, I received a message from Elder Lianhua. He said he encountered Qian Chen a hundred miles away. Ha! Huh? How is that possible? Qian Chen is right in front of us. How could he have been encountered a hundred miles away? Could it be a mistake? The flying elder looked puzzled, but he was certain that the practitioner in front of him was definitely Qian Chen. This, 
But Elder Lianhua has repeatedly confirmed that he encountered Shenzhen, it couldn't be wrong. The elder repeated. Hiss. The flying elder took a deep breath. Although he didn't know what was going on, he had no intention of letting go of Qianchen in front of him. He said to the other two, regardless, let's deal with him first, and then we'll go over and see what's going on. The three elders of the Seven Star Sect engaged in battle with Qianchen. Under the pursuit of the three, Qianchen could not escape. After half an hour of fighting, Qianchen was accidentally hit by the flying elder's celestial technique and fell straight to the ground. Ha ha ha, kid, meet your death. The flying elder's face showed a crazy look. He had a very good relationship with Nalan Sanhai, and when he heard the news of Nalan Sanhai's fall, he wished he could tear Qianchen apart immediately. He didn't expect this day to come so soon. The flying elder pursued in victory, and as he struck Qianchen's chest with a palm, he thought Qianchen would spit out a mouthful of blood. However, to his surprise, when his palm went down, Qianchen turned into a white light and disappeared from the spot. The flying elder was stunned, and the other two elders were also stunned. This, this was just an avatar? The elder Yufei immediately realized what was going on. The Qianchen they had been fighting for half an hour was just a clone? They were all top 10 practitioners of the Seven Star Sect, and it took them half an hour to battle a clone of Qianchen? Elder Yufei was unable to describe the shock in his heart. They were also holy realm experts, but they couldn't use the art of cloning. Only the emperor realm could comprehend the divine script of the art of cloning, but Qianchen had already achieved this. He is the holy realm now. No wonder Elder Nalan died at the hands of this kid. Has his strength reached such a terrifying level? Elder Yufei's face was very ugly. If this matter were to spread, he would lose face. Three elders of the Seven Star Sect, with considerable strength, had fought a clone for a full half hour. At this moment, Elder Yufei suddenly realized why Elder Lianhua had said she saw Qianchen from a hundred miles away. It turned out that was his real body. Quick, hurry to Elder Lianhua's side. This kid's real body is over there. The three elders of the Seven Star Sect immediately flew towards Elder Lianhua. At the same time, many practitioners of the Seven Star Sect who were chasing Qianchen outside also discovered his traces and immediately reported to the elders. It was only then that the practitioners of the Seven Star Sect realized that all of these were Qianchen's clones. As for his real body, no one knew where it had gone. After learning of this news, the Grand Elder of the Seven Star Sect, Tianchan Kongsheng, was also surprised. If he hadn't heard several elders personally testify, he wouldn't have believed that Qianchen, who had just entered the Holy Realm, could perform the art of cloning. Moreover, practitioners of the Seven Star Sect had discovered Qianchen's clones in at least a dozen different places. Could such a huge consumption of soul power really be achieved by a Holy Realm expert? Two days later, the Seven Star Sect had already killed 54 clones of Qianchen, and Grand Elder Tianchan Kongsheng was already furious. Nonsense! I didn't expect this kid to be able to use the art of cloning so many times. All I've seen in these two days are his clones. He has released so many clones, it must be to deceive us. His real body definitely has a destination. Tianchan Kongsheng's face was gloomy. Elder Yufei stepped forward and said, Grand Elder, I heard that this kid also offended the Yao sect when he was in the half-buried desert, and now the right guardian of the medicine sect is also searching for him everywhere. It's possible that Qianchen is planning to escape from the ancient continent to evade our seven star sect and the right guardian of the Yao sect. Once he leaves the ancient continent, we won't be able to pursue and kill him. Upon hearing Elder Yufei's words, Tianchan Kongsheng felt that this was a very likely scenario and immediately asked, Mark all the locations where the clones were killed on the map. Yes. Elder Yufei immediately instructed the disciples below to organize the locations where Qianchen's clones had been killed in the past two days, and soon a complete annotated map was obtained. When Tianchan Kongsheng saw this map, a glint of light flashed in his eyes. At first, his clones appeared near Makang, then they headed north, and the last time was near Konglin Mountain. Beyond Konglin Mountain is a snowy area, and not far beyond that is the land of extreme cold. It seems that this kid is heading to the land of extreme cold. Tianchan Kongsheng narrowed his eyes and said, Notify all the elders of the Seven Star Sect to go with me to Konglin Mountain. We must kill him before he leaves the ancient continent. At the same time, after two days of flying, Qianchen finally arrived at Konglin Mountain. Once he crossed this mountain, he would reach the border between the ancient continent and the land of extreme cold. Phew! There aren't many clones left outside, but this trick really works. These idiots still haven't figured it out. Chen Shen's face showed a proud expression as he looked at the huge snow-capped mountain in front of him, planning to cross it in one go. At that moment, Emperor Qi Yu appeared beside Chen Shen, looking worried. Kid, your plan has been discovered. The people from the Seven Star Sect are rushing over here. 
You probably won't make it across in time, and they will reach here, he said. Is that so? It doesn't matter. I've already come this far. No matter how many of them come, I'll just run. I don't believe that so many of them would dare to chase me into the extreme cold. After all, they are all practitioners of the holy realm. If so many people follow me into the extreme cold, won't the people there think it's an invasion? Shen Chen showed a proud expression. He had long planned his retreat and was certain that the people from the Seven Star Sect would definitely not dare to chase him into the extreme cold. This would be a major political taboo. Emperor Chi Yu sighed and said, You underestimate the Seven Star Sect. The one leading this time is the Grand Elder of the Seven Star Sect, Tian Shan Kong Shang. He has been at the quasi emperor level for a hundred years, much more powerful than Nalan Sanghai. He's just one step away from becoming an emperor. Moreover, he has brought many quasi emperor powerhouses with him. It will be difficult for you to escape from them. Chen Chen looked at Emperor Qi Yu's serious expression and finally realized that the arrival of the Seven Star Sect was not to be taken lightly. He thought for a moment and said, How about you help me this time? Emperor Qi Yu shook his head and said helplessly, No, if I reveal my identity now, even the Seven Star Emperor will come rushing over immediately. I will definitely have a way to escape by then, but you may not. This made Chen Chen look troubled, and he could already feel the presence of many practitioners from the Seven Star Sect rushing towards them. Chen Chen's mind raced, trying to think of a solution. Suddenly, Chen Chen had a flash of inspiration and immediately said to Emperor Qiyu, I will order Xiao Shan to bring the Xiao family to come here and help me intercept the people from the Seven Star Sect. Emperor Qiyu looked at Chen Chen with a complex expression and said, Are you trying to destroy the Xiao family directly? Although the Xiao family has a great influence in Sunqing, the Seven Star Sect is still one of the top ten sects, and their current strength has already entered the top five. If the Xiao family's interception allows you to escape, the Seven Star Sect will definitely not let the Xiao family off the hook. Emperor Qi Yu's words made Xian Chen instantly despondent, murmuring, Do I have to wait here to die? Xian Chen sat on a rock, constantly thinking. An hour later, several red celestial figures appeared in the distant sky, flying practitioners. I didn't expect them to come so soon. Xian Chen's face became serious. This time, even Emperor Qi Yu couldn't help him. If he wanted to escape from the Seven Star Sect, he could only rely on his own strength. To succeed or perish. Watching the practitioners from the Seven Star Sect rushing towards him, Chen Chen quickly hid in the depths of the Konglin Mountain. Kid, if you have a chance later, escape immediately. Don't confront this group of people head on. Although your current strength has no opponents among the Holy Realm powerhouses, they have the advantage in numbers. Don't take such a big risk to fight them. Emperor Qi Yu appeared beside Qian Chen, speaking very seriously. Qian Chen nodded. This was an unprecedented danger. As long as he could safely leave Konglin Mountain and enter the extreme cold, the practitioners from the Seven Star Sect would definitely not be able to chase after him. Right now, he had to find a way to escape from their hands. Konglin Mountain was a snow-capped mountain. After Qian Chen entered, it began to snow heavily, and the temperature dropped sharply. Soon, many practitioners from the Seven Star Sect had arrived at the foot of Konglin Mountain, led by the quasi-emperor powerhouse of the Seven Star Sect, Tian Shan Kong Shang. Xian Shen, you have killed many practitioners of our Seven Star Sect, and also killed Nalan Sanghai. Today, I, Tian Shan Kong Shang, will personally take action. You cannot escape. Tian Shan Kong Shang did not rush into the Konglin Mountain. His face was very calm, and he was sure that Xian Shen would not be able to escape even if he had wings. Chen Chen ignored Tian Shan Kong Shang and was thinking about the favorable terrain around him, trying to find a way to escape. Seeing that Chen Chen completely ignored him, Tian Shan Kong Shang no longer hesitated and ordered the Elder Leaping Flying and several other elders to immediately enter the Konglin Mountain to search for Chen Chen. At this time, Chen Chen had already adjusted himself to the best state, hiding in the dark and watching those seven star sect practitioners entering the mountain. He planned to use guerrilla tactics to ambush and kill several practitioners. Just then, a practitioner passed by, and Chen Chen did not hesitate to immediately inject his soul power into the Black Howl, sealing the throat of the Saint Realm powerhouse. But the death of this practitioner immediately attracted the attention of others, and everyone rushed towards Chen Chen. Chen Chen muttered to himself that it was not good, immediately shifted, but was still intercepted. Tian Shan Kong Sheng appeared in front of Chen Chen, revealing a huge Saint Realm shadow, and his shadow showed a mutation, obviously also evolved through the blood essence of the Soul Beast. To make our seven star sect so agitated, you are the first in a hundred years. You have reached the realm of a saint realm powerhouse at a young age, and you can also use the art of doppelgangers. You are truly a gifted genius. In the entire cultivation world, there are probably few practitioners like you. Unfortunately, you cannot be used by our seven star sect, 
So no matter how strong your talent is, I cannot let you stay. I must eliminate future troubles. After Tian Shan Kong Shang finished speaking, he launched an attack on Qian Chen. Tian Shan Kong Shang's shadow and physical body merged into one, and the immortal technique he displayed was extremely powerful. Chen Chen's face showed surprise, and he immediately activated the powerful defensive physique of the Netherworld Overlord. Faced with such a powerful opponent as Tian Shan Kong Shang, Chen Chen did not slack off at all, always remaining vigilant. He was very clear that the strength of Tian Shan Kong Shang far surpassed that of the right protector of the Yao sect. However, in the previous battle in the Void Star Realm, even with great effort, Chen Chen could not defeat the right protector. If it weren't for the mysterious woman in the black cloak who saved him, he probably wouldn't be standing here now. But last time, my soul power itself consumed half of it. This time, I am at my peak. Maybe I have a chance to defeat this old man of a hundred years. Shen Shen muttered to himself, directly using his mind to make his shadow use the netherworld hammer. Shen Shen's shadow held a netherworld hammer even larger than himself, which made Tian Shan Kong Shang show a considerable amount of shock on his face. Could it be? Kid, the one you are holding in your shadow's hand is also an ancient artifact? Tian Shan Kong Shang asked Shen Chen. Stop talking nonsense, let's fight. Shen Chen did not linger with Tian Shan Kong Shang any longer. He had already made up his mind to die. If it wasn't Tian Shan Kong Shang's death today, it would be his, Shen Chen's. Shen Chen swung down a hammer, which hit the ground, causing the entire Konlin mountain to tremble and triggering a massive avalanche. Seizing this opportunity, Chen Chen immediately leaped into the air, while rapidly reciting the divine text, Netherworld Nine Styles Profound Dark Brahmin Fire Technique. A huge fire snake spewed out from Chen Chen's mouth, heading straight for Tian Shan Kong Shang. Tian Shan Kong Shang easily blocked this attack, directly rushing out of the sea of fire, holding a huge spear in his hand. At the same time, several other elders of the Seven Star Sect also launched attacks at the same time, clearly not intending to capture him alive, but to directly kill Chen Chen here. Hee hee, I didn't expect you to have two ancient artifacts on you. If I capture you and bring you back, not only will I avenge Elder Nalan, but I will also gain another ancient artifact. The sect master will be very pleased. Tian Shan Kong Shang's face showed a sinister expression. Shen Chen faced many cultivators without fear, wielding the netherworld hammer in his hand and striking at the crowd. The tremendous impact pushed back several cultivators, but then Tian Shan Kong Shang thrust his spear directly at Shen Chen. Chen Chen immediately drew out the black roar to counter it. As their weapons clashed, both Chen Chen and Tian Shan Kong Sheng stepped back, then leaped forward to engage in multiple confrontations. Seeing this, the elder leaping sky circled behind Chen Chen, preparing to launch a direct attack. Chen Chen sensed this and tried to evade the strike, but due to being distracted, Tian Shan Kong Sheng took advantage and pierced Chen Chen's shoulder with his spear. Blood gushed out as Chen Chen retreated, showing a hint of coldness on his face. Without hesitation, Chen Chen once again used the Shadow Clone technique, sending the clones to deal with the remaining elders of the Seven Star Sect. He was confident that as long as he could kill Tian Shan Kong Sheng, the remaining elders of the Seven Star Sect would not be able to stop him from entering the extremely cold land. Seeing Chen Chen's clones, Tian Shan Kong Sheng's face revealed surprise and excitement. He said, Kid, not only do you possess many rare weapons, but you are also extremely proficient in divine texts. If you were not a criminal of our Seven Star Sect, I really would want to take you as my disciple. With your talent, you shouldn't just die like this. You think you're worthy of being my master? You're not. Shen Chen coldly snorted, using his inner strength to directly shatter his clothes, revealing the longevity clock tattoo on his back. Shen Chen used his mind to emit a golden light from his body. The tattoo on his back also turned into a phantom, enveloping Shen Chen. After a moment, Shen Chen's celestial shadow held the longevity clock in his left hand and the netherworld hammer in his right hand both emitting a layer of purple golden light, exuding a magnificent aura. Chen Chen's eyes revealed a strong killing intent as he roared like a wild beast, rushing towards Tian Shan Kong Sheng with the two divine weapons. This is bad, he can actually use two divine weapons at the same time. Isn't he afraid that his body can't withstand the divine power and will die directly? He's gone mad. Tian Shan Kong Sheng's face changed drastically, immediately revealing his divine body, and his celestial shadow also took a defensive posture. With a loud bang, Shen Chen directly struck Tian Shan Kong Sheng's celestial shadow with the netherworld hammer, then alternated between his left and right hands to strike at Tian Shan Kong Sheng. After dozens of seconds, the sky was filled with mist, and Shen Chen emerged from the mist, panting as he looked at the fog. Ha! Ha! Using two divine weapons at the same time is too much of a stretch, the consumption of soul power is too fast. After catching his breath, 
Chen Chen looked back and found that most of his clones had been defeated by the seven star sex cultivators, who were also watching the mist, showing great concern for Tianshan Kongsheng. Could the Grand Elder be in trouble? This kid actually has two ancient divine weapons. Impossible, the Grand Elder's strength is so strong. How could he be defeated by this kid? Just as everyone was discussing, the mist dispersed, and Tianshan Kongsheng's celestial shadow changed from red to a faint gray. Tianshan Kongsheng's expression was very ugly as he looked down at Chen Chen and said in a deep voice, Kid, you have angered me. For a hundred years, you are the first cultivator to make me take real action. If you were given a few more decades of cultivation, even the sect master would have to fear you to some extent. So, today you must die. Attacking him with two divine weapons like this, and his celestial shadow hasn't even been shattered? Chen Chen was very surprised. He had thought that under his fierce attack just now, Tianshan Kongxing's celestial shadow would at least be shattered, and at the very least, the state of fusion between his physical body and celestial shadow would be disrupted. However, it seemed that nothing had happened at all. Is this the peak of Quasi-Emperor? At this point, Chen Chen had very little soul power left. If he continued to fight with Tianshan Kongsheng, he would definitely be at a disadvantage. Tianshan Kongsheng held a long spear and Chen Chen used the longevity clock to block it, but the spear tip pierced through the clock. Chen Chen's phantom holding the longevity clock disappeared. The spear pierced through Chen Chen's phantom, and just as it was about to pierce his chest, Chen Chen tightly grabbed the spear with both hands, blood dripping down. Kid, you're doomed. Tianshan Kongsheng sneered, increasing the force on the spear, inching it closer to Chen Chen's heart. Chen Chen's blood kept flowing, staining the white snow. At the critical moment, Tianshan Kongsheng was suddenly thrown out, crashing into the celestial body, causing half of the mountain to split open. A figure appeared in front of Chen Chen, lifting him up from the ground, saying, Kid, it seems it was a bit of a stretch for you to fight him. Chen Chen looked up and was shocked to see that it was Emperor Chiyu. Old man Chiyu, how did you come out? Aren't you afraid of Tianshan Kongsheng discovering your identity? Chen Chen looked at Emperor Chiyu in astonishment. Emperor Chiyu had taken off his cloak, and his transparent body looked very eerie. Before Emperor Chiyu could answer, Tianshan Kongsheng, who had been thrown out, stood up from the shattered mountain. His phantom was completely shattered, his body covered in blood, but he showed no signs of pain, instead looking at Emperor Chiyu with a shocked expression. You, you are the Rain Emperor, Emperor Chiyu? Tianshan Kongsheng said incredulously. Tianshan brat, I didn't expect that after a hundred years, you have already reached the quasi-emperor realm. I'm afraid with just one opportunity, you can become an emperor, Emperor Chiyu said with a smile, clearly indicating that the two knew each other. Upon hearing Emperor Chiyu's words, Tianshan Kongsheng was convinced that the person he saw was indeed the true Emperor Chiyu, and his expression became even more astonished. Emperor Chiyu, it's really you. I didn't expect that you are still alive. No wonder this kid has so many secrets and terrifying strength. It turns out he is your disciple. Emperor Chiyu smiled and shook his head gently, you're mistaken. His masters are the three old men of the Eternal Sect, nothing to do with me. Of course, I am not worthy to be Chen Chen's master. With his strength, he is probably unmatched in the entire cultivation world. Given time, he will surely be the strongest existence in the cultivation world. Tian Shan Kongxing's face darkened. He wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and said to Elder Ufa, Elder Ufa, immediately informed the sect master. If Emperor Chiyu wants to protect this kid, I am powerless. Elder Ufa looked embarrassed and said, Elder, Emperor Chiyu is also a powerful emperor. If we inform the sect master, he may ask us to retreat immediately. Don't worry, Emperor Chiyu's body was damaged a hundred years ago. I thought he had already fallen in some unknown place. Look at his body, it's obviously problematic. Inform the sect master of this information, and he can easily kill him. Elder Ufa looked at Emperor Chiyu and noticed his transparent body, and immediately nodded to Tianshan Kongsheng, using a secret technique to inform the Seven Star Emperor. Emperor Chiyu's expression changed, and he turned to Chen Chen, Kid, I'm betting my life on you. You must become a great emperor. Then you can save me. Chen Chen hadn't yet understood what Emperor Chiyu meant, but Emperor Chiyu revealed his phantom and immediately used his immortal technique opening the rain realm and taking the seven star sect and Chen Chen inside. Elder Ufa's expression changed and he said to Tianshan Kongsheng, Elder, we can't inform the sect master inside his realm. Humph, with his current strength, this realm won't last much longer. Just wait a little longer. Tianshan Kongsheng looked confident. Chen Chen hurriedly asked, Old man Chiyu, what do you mean by this? I will transfer all of my remaining emperor's power to you. After you receive my emperor's power, immediately escape to the land of extreme cold and focus on practicing the Dark Nine transformation technique. However, after losing the Emperor's power, 
I won't be able to maintain my current state and will have to enter a dormant state. When you reach the realm of the emperor, inject the emperor's power back into my body, and then I will awaken. You can also help me fulfill our previous agreement and restore my physical body to normal. After Chiyu, the emperor, finished speaking, he smiled at Qian Chen and said, Young man, I believe in your strength. We'll meet again. The next moment, a strong wind and torrential rain swept through the rain realm, and every drop of rain fell like sharp needles onto the bodies of the elders of the Seven Star Sect. They instantly erupted into a mist of blood. Ah! The people of the Seven Star Sect let out a huge scream and quickly fell to the ground, leaving behind a pool of blood. Apart from Tian Shan Kong Shang, all the elders of the Seven Star Sect were killed. Chen Chen witnessed dozens of elders of the Seven Star Sect being killed on the spot and was greatly shocked. They were all high-level members of the Seven Star Sect. When they joined forces, they could withstand a king-level powerhouse for a period of time. However, under the attack of Chi Yu, the emperor, who consumed his divine power, they didn't even have a chance to fight back. At the same time, Xian Chen also received the last trace of emperor's power from Chi Yu, the emperor. His nearly depleted soul power was instantly restored. Xian Chen looked at the only surviving Tian Shan Kong Shang. Originally, he wanted to deliver a fatal blow to Tian Shan Kong Shang, but thinking that Chi Yu, the emperor, did this to protect him, he ultimately gritted his teeth and immediately fled deep into the Konglin Mountain. When Chi Yu, the emperor, disappeared, the rain realm would also disappear. At that time, if Tian Shan Kong Shang used secret techniques to inform the Seven Star Emperor, Xian Chen would have absolutely no chance of survival. Nonsense, Chi Yu, the Emperor, you are truly crazy. For this kid, you actually went to such lengths. After Qian Chen left, Tian Shan Kong Shang walked out from a pile of Seven Star Sec practitioners' bodies, covered in blood and weakened. Tian Shan Kong Shang looked at the fallen practitioners around him, his eyes filled with anger. He immediately informed the Seven Star Emperor. After a moment, the Seven Star Emperor used spatial jumping to arrive at the scene. Looking at the pile of bodies, he frowned and asked, Tian Shan Elder, what's going on here? Master, I am incompetent. I let that kid Qian Chen escape. He not only has the longevity clock, but also a huge warhammer, which I believe is also an ancient artifact. Originally, with the elders, I could have taken him down and avenged Elder Nalan. Who knew that Qi Yu, the emperor, would appear? His physical condition is very poor. I didn't expect him to sacrifice his divine power to protect that kid. Tian Shan Kong Shang knelt in front of the Seven Star Emperor, nodding and apologizing. He was the leader of this mission, and now that he had failed, all the practitioners who came with him had died. And they were all high-level elders of the Seven Star Sect, which was a great loss for the sect. When the Seven Star Emperor heard Tian Shan Kong Shang mention Qi Yu, the Emperor, he was very surprised and slowly said, Are you saying that Qi Yu, the Emperor, is standing behind Xian Chen? I didn't expect that old man to still be alive. Yes, master. Chi Yu, the emperor, is almost transparent, with almost half of his strength unable to be exerted, so he used the method of consuming divine power to protect Qian Chen. Tian Shan Kong Shang dared not even breathe heavily. For a long time, the Seven Star Emperor did not punish Tian Shan Kong Shang, just saying lightly, call more people over. I can feel that kid's presence. He's still in the Konglin Mountain. It seems he wants to go to the extreme cold place, which is the territory of the Ice Queen. Our sect cannot go there temporarily. In the next few days, I will search for Qian Chen with you. We must obtain the longevity clock. Yes. Tian Shan Kong Sheng added, Master, Qian Chen was pierced by my spear, which is coated with a potent poison. Even if a cultivator at the Emperor Realm is poisoned by me, it will take some time to completely expel it from the body. Qian Chen is just a holy realm powerhouse. He definitely won't get far after being poisoned. Tian Shan Kong Sheng immediately used a secret technique to notify other cultivators of the Seven Star Sect to hurry to Konglin Mountain. After Qian Chen entered Konglin Mountain, he tried his best to suppress his aura with soul power, to prevent being tracked by the people of the Seven Star Sect. He had already sensed that the Seven Star Emperor had arrived nearby. Once he exposed his position, he would probably be caught by the Seven Star Emperor the next second. Hiss. Xian Chen looked down at the wound on his shoulder and found that the blood flowing from the wound was black. He immediately realized that he was poisoned. Careless. I didn't expect the spear to be coated with such a potent poison. I feel my whole body weakening. If I don't expel the toxin from my body, I won't live long. Xian Chen frowned and murmured. Then, he carefully concealed his aura and found a cave to hide in, using soul power to seal the entrance. Even if other cultivators came here, they would never sense his presence. After entering the cave, Xian Chen immediately sat cross-legged and entered a state of cultivation. Soon, Xian Chen found it difficult to expel the toxins from his body. 
It had almost invaded his bloodstream and was constantly rushing towards his dantian. If he couldn't remove it quickly, his cultivation would be ruined. Shen Shen wanted to use the Dark Nine Revolutions technique to force out the toxins, but the effect was minimal. He could only block his meridians and slowly force out the toxins. Time passed quickly, and by evening, Shen Shen's face had turned purple and looked very ugly. His body was also on the verge of collapse. Damn. I didn't expect the poison to be so potent. I don't have any techniques to resist poison. This is bad. Shen Shen's mind was in chaos. The sacrifice of Qi Yu, coupled with this life-threatening poison, made it even harder for Qian Shen to concentrate. In the end, Qian Shen couldn't resist the invasion of the poison. His eyes went black, and he fainted. At the moment when Qian Shen fainted, the enchantment that had sealed the cave entrance disappeared, and a graceful woman appeared at the entrance. The woman walked into the cave and saw Qian Shen lying on the ground. Her face was expressionless, but when she saw the longevity clock tattoo on Qian Shen's back, she finally showed a hint of surprise. Then, a green light flashed in her eyes as she scanned Qian Shen's body. Her expression became even more surprised, and she murmured, just a holy realm cultivator, yet he has such a physique. The woman approached Qian Shen, helped him up from the ground, and placed her slender hands on his chest. A faint light appeared on her hands, and Qian Shen's wounds visibly healed at a rapid speed. Soon, the woman sensed the presence of toxins in Qian Shen's body. After feeling it, she furrowed her brows slightly, this is the poison of Tian Shan Kong Shang from the Seven Star Sect? Who exactly is he? In the following days, this woman stayed in the cave with Qian Shen, who remained in a coma, and she constantly dispelled the toxins from his body. She used magic to seal the cave, and she also discovered many cultivators of the Seven Star Sect who had been in Konglin Mountain all along. She knew that these people were all looking for Qian Shen. After a few days, Qian Shen's eyelashes moved slightly, and he slowly opened his eyes to find a burning fire in front of him, surrounded by plenty of food and an animal carcass. What is this? Shen Shen sat up from the ground in confusion, looked down at his shoulder, and found that the wound had already healed. He then sensed that the toxins in his body had miraculously disappeared. Just as he was puzzled about what was happening, he heard footsteps behind him. Shen Shen was shocked and wanted to reveal his celestial figure immediately, but to his surprise, he turned around to see an extremely well-proportioned and stunningly beautiful woman. This woman was even more exquisite than Shi Ruyan, and she was dressed provocatively, which surprised Chen Chen in the snowy mountains of Konglin. Are you awake? The woman moved her lips without any expression on her face. Chen Chen stared at the woman warily and asked, Who are you? I am Wu Wu. This cave is where I practice. A few days ago, I found you poisoned and unconscious here. I helped heal your wounds and remove the toxins, said the woman who called herself Wu Wu. She glanced at Chen Chen and then turned to look at the animal carcass. Her fingers moved slightly, and a huge iron rod pierced through the animal carcass and slowly flew towards the fire, where it was then placed. Seeing that Wu Wu had no ill intentions towards him and had saved him, Chen Chen let go of some of his guard. My name is Chen Chen. Thank you for saving me, but I suggest you not get involved with me. The Seven Star Sec should be all over Konglin Mountain now, and they are hunting me, Chen Chen said with a bitter smile, unwilling to involve Wu Wu. Wu Wu snorted disdainfully and said, The Seven Star Sect? So what? Chen Chen was surprised to see Wu Wu's disdainful expression towards the Seven Star Sect. He thought that perhaps Wu Wu didn't even know about the Seven Star Sect, which was why she was so bold. You haven't eaten anything for days. Eat something to replenish your strength. Wu Wu had already roasted the animal carcass, and the aroma wafting from the meat made Chen Chen's stomach growl. Ha! Huh? It's only been a short time, and it's already roasted. How is that possible? After taking the meat, Chen Chen suddenly realized that the animal carcass had been roasted in less than five minutes, which was completely illogical. At this moment, Chen Chen carefully looked at the fire and discovered that it was not an ordinary fire. It seemed to be the fourth turn of the Xian Ning Fan Yan Zhu in the profound Dark Nine transformation technique. The fire you made, is it not an ordinary fire? Chen Chen asked tentatively. Wu Wu nodded without saying much. Chen Chen found that Wu Wu not only had a cold appearance but also a cold temperament, even less so than Shi Ruyan. After talking to Wu Wu for a while, Shen Shen gave up on further communication with her. He found that this woman was truly indifferent and never smiled. After eating, Shen Shen felt that his strength had recovered a lot, and his previous memories came flooding back. The Emperor Qi Yu had entered a dormant state, and Shen Shen found that the Emperor Qi Yu's body had hidden itself in his Qian Kuan bag. However, the aura on the Emperor Qi Yu's body was very weak, almost imperceptible. Shen Shen knew that the Emperor Qi Yu had transferred all his imperial power to him and only when he reached the emperor realm could he awaken the emperor Chiyu again. Before that, 
Shen Chen had only regarded Emperor Qiyu as a partner and had not truly accepted him from the bottom of his heart. Unexpectedly, at a critical moment, Emperor Qiyu had saved him at the cost of half of his own life. After that, Shen Chen fell into contemplation. Outside the Konglin Mountain, there are practitioners of the Seven Star Sect everywhere, searching for his whereabouts. And the Sect Master of the Seven Star Sect, the Seven Star Great Emperor, is also outside. Once he is caught, it is certain death. Thinking of this, Xian Chen felt a headache. If the people of the Seven Star Sect do not find him, they will definitely not leave here. But with Qian Chen's current strength, it is absolutely impossible to escape from under the nose of the Seven Star Great Emperor. Qian Chen? Suddenly, Wu Wu called out Qian Chen's name. Xian Chen came back to his senses from his thoughts and was somewhat surprised, ah, apparently not expecting Wu Wu to speak first. Is there something wrong? Qian Chen asked unexpectedly. Wu Wu looked at Qian Chen's bare upper body and said, the tattoo on your back, is it the longevity clock? That should be the original longevity clock. How did you do it? Seeing Wu Wu recognize the longevity clock at a glance, Qian Chen suddenly had a bad feeling. Anyone who had seen his longevity clock basically wanted to seize it. Wu Wu could see the vigilance in Qian Chen's eyes and explained, don't be nervous. If I wanted to take it away, I wouldn't have saved you. I want to ask you, how do you use ancient artifacts? As far as I know, even the Emperor Realm Great Emperor can hardly actively use ancient artifacts, and you are only in the Holy Realm. It was only then that Qian Chen realized that Wu Wu's cultivation realm should not be low, at least a Holy Realm powerhouse, and it was even more likely to be a quasi-emperor powerhouse. After thinking for a moment, he felt that if Wu Wu had malicious intentions towards him, she would have acted long ago and would not have waited until now. Qian Chen scratched his head and said, actually, I'm not sure either. I am the divine son of the eternal sect. I obtained the blessing of longevity from the longevity clock before, and later I don't know why it was tattooed on my back. When it was tattooed on me, I heard a sentence spoken in divine language. He said that only when I reach the emperor realm can I use the longevity clock. I don't know why I can use it now. Xian Chen answered truthfully, but he did not say everything. He had long suspected that he could use the longevity clock ahead of time, mostly because of the dark ghost overlord body, which made his strength far surpass that of practitioners in the same realm. Of course, these were just his speculations. After listening to Qian Chen's words, Wu Wu nodded slightly and then asked, Your body refining physique is the immortal body, the dark ghost overlord body, right? Where did you get the dark ghost nine transformation technique? Qian Chen's face changed drastically. He did not expect Wu Wu to know all this. How did she figure it out? Seeing Qian Chen's surprised expression, Wu Wu remained unfazed, just staring at Qian Chen, waiting for his answer. How? How did you figure it out? Is it easy to see this information? Or did you do something to my body while I was unconscious, to know everything about me? Xian Chen covered his body, looking violated, and looked at Wu Wu in horror. Ha! Huh? Wu Wu was a little dumbfounded. After she reacted, she felt speechless and gave Qian Chen a disdainful look. It's not very difficult for a practitioner of the Emperor Realm to see these things. Qian Chen was dumbfounded and incredulous, Emperor Realm practitioner? Are you an emperor? Shen Shen had never thought that Wu Wu would be a practitioner of the Emperor Realm. After all, this was in the middle of the Konglin Mountain. How could there be an emperor in this dilapidated cave, and she happened to save him? This completely defied common sense. However, under Qian Chen's questioning, Wu Wu nodded lightly and said, Yes, my emperor name is Dance Emperor, so can you answer my question now? Where did you get the Dark Ghost 9 transformation technique? As far as I know, this ancient book has long been lost. Wu Wu was convinced that Qian Chen must be practicing the nine revolutions of the netherworld. She was very familiar with the netherworld overlord body, and she felt a hint of excitement in her heart. She had been searching for the nine revolutions of the netherworld for so many years, and had long given up decades ago. She never expected to find the answer from Qian Chen, an ordinary practitioner, in such a remote cave. Qian Chen looked at Wu Wu with suspicion, trying to scan her with his divine sense, but quickly found that he couldn't see through Wu Wu's strength at all. Could she really be a great emperor? Shen Shen still found it hard to believe, but the fact was right in front of him. He couldn't see through Wu Wu with his divine sense, which could only happen if her cultivation level was higher than his. After accepting this setting, Shen Shen was once again surprised. He never expected to be so lucky as to be saved by a practitioner of the Emperor Realm in this remote and desolate snow mountain of Konglin Mountain. After hesitating for a moment, Shen Shen decided to tell Wu Wu about the nine revolutions of the netherworld that he possessed. After all, Wu Wu had saved his life, and if she wanted to know about this matter, he would consider it as repaying her kindness. My body refining technique is the netherworld overlord body, and this nine revolutions of the netherworld was actually given to me by someone else. 
If you really are a great emperor, you should have heard that person's name. What is his name? Rain Emperor, Chi Yu Great Emperor. After hearing the name of Chi Yu Great Emperor, Wu Wu's expression became extremely complicated, without any concealment. This was the first time Chen Shen had seen such an emotional expression on Wu Wu's face. He knew that Wu Wu must know Chi Yu Great Emperor, and there must have been a complicated story between them before this, otherwise, why would Wu Wu's expression change like this when she heard the name of Chi Yu Great Emperor? Xian Chen did not continue to speak, waiting for Wu Wu to speak first. Are you lying to me? Xi Yu Great Emperor fell a hundred years ago. You are only 19 years old. How could he have given you this technique? Wu Wu looked at Qian Chen with an extremely sharp look in her eyes, making Qian Chen shiver. He felt like he was standing in front of someone who was naked. Qian Chen hurriedly explained, Xi Yu Great Emperor did not die, but his physical condition is not very good. I met him a few months ago, and we had a cooperation. He found out that I was practicing the netherworld overlord body, so he gave me this technique. Wu Wu asked, where is he now? At this point, Chen Chen's expression became dim, and he felt very guilty. Just before you saved me, I fought with the practitioners of the Seven Star Sect, and in the end, I was no match for them. Shi Yu Great Emperor used his divine power at the cost of consuming his soul to save me from the hands of the Seven Star Sect, but he also fell into a deep sleep. I can't wake him up now. All his emperor's power has been infused into my body. He said that only when I reach the emperor realm can I extract his emperor's power from my body. In order to make Wu Wu believe, Chen Chen revealed his celestial shadow and used the emperor's power of Qi Yu Great Emperor, and Wu Wu's suspicion disappeared. Wu Wu murmured, Master, so you didn't die. Chen Chen sensitively heard this sentence, as if he had learned a earth shattering secret. He stared with wide eyes and said, What did you say, Master? Qi Yu Great Emperor is your master? Yes, he is my master. A hundred years ago, I thought he had fallen. Wu Wu's face showed a melancholy expression. Chen Chen looked at Wu Wu who was only in her twenties, and was extremely shocked. If Wu Wu was really the disciple of Qi Yu Great Emperor, then Wu Wu must be at least 300 years old. Shen Shen remembered that Qi Yu Great Emperor had said that his physical body had become like this after fighting with many practitioners 300 years ago. So many people thought that Qi Yu Great Emperor had fallen 300 years ago, including Wu Wu. Therefore, the time Wu Wu was taught by Qi Yu Great Emperor could only be before 300 years ago. It seems that the beautiful and graceful martial dancer is actually a 300-year-old elder? Chen Chen felt his worldview shatter. He had thought he was saved by a powerful beauty, only to find out she was actually an old woman. I was going to call you sister martial dancer, but now it seems I should call you grandma martial dancer? Chen Chen said to martial dancer. However, in the next moment, martial dancer's eyes flashed with fierceness, and a dagger appeared in her hand, its blade emitting a cold light as it pressed against Chen Chen's neck. What did you call me? Grandma? Martial Dancer's tone was icy, as if she would not hesitate to kill Qian Shen in the next moment. Startled by Martial Dancer's actions, Qian Shen quickly said, I, I didn't say anything wrong, did I? Since you are the disciple of Emperor Chiyu, you must be at least 300 years old. Shouldn't I call you grandma? 300 years. So what? My body still looks like that of a young woman in her 20s. The cultivation technique I practice is. Never mind, you wouldn't understand, Martial Dancer replied. In any case, you'd better not mention grandma in front of me again, or else. With a swift motion, Martial Dancer flung the dagger, which embedded itself in the mountain wall. Chen Chen saw a small flying insect impaled on the tip of the dagger and couldn't help but shiver. I'm sorry, Sister Martial Dancer, I won't dare to do it again. A cold sweat broke out on Chen Chen's forehead. Martial Dancer's expression softened a bit, and then she said, What about your ghostly nine revolutions technique? Show it to me. Chen Chen was puzzled. Martial Dancer did not immediately answer him. Instead, she opened the ghostly nine revolutions technique and began to read it carefully, her face gradually showing excitement. The entire ghostly nine revolutions technique was written in divine script, and as a practitioner at the emperor realm, Martial Dancer was able to understand the book, which did not surprise Qian Chen. Just as Qian Chen was about to ask a question, Martial Dancer closed her eyes, sat cross-legged, and a faint purple light began to emanate from her body. Is that the ghostly sovereign body? Qian Chen's mouth fell open. At a glance, he could see that the reason Martial Dancer's body emitted a faint purple light was because she also possessed the ghostly sovereign body. With her eyes closed, Martial Dancer entered the cultivation state of the ghostly nine revolutions technique. It was only then that Qian Chen understood why Martial Dancer had shown excitement upon learning about his possession of the ghostly nine revolutions technique. It turned out that she also had a ghostly sovereign body. The ghostly god had mentioned that he had left behind three avatars in the mortal realm and these three avatars corresponded to three ghostly sovereign bodies. 
Hundreds of years ago, a great emperor at the emperor realm had obtained a ghostly sovereign body and had cultivated the ghostly nine revolutions technique to the extreme. Now, with Qian Chen's ghostly sovereign body, the current martial dancer also possessed one, and all three ghostly sovereign bodies were now complete. Chen Chen could see that martial dancer's ghostly sovereign body was still at a very low level, at most only cultivated to the second revolution. Sister martial dancer, as an emperor realm great emperor, the ghostly sovereign body is just a top grade immortal body. Why did you choose such an immortal body? Without the ghostly nine revolutions technique, it greatly hinders your body cultivation, Chen Chen asked. Martial dancer released her cultivation state, her eyes still emitting a faint purple light, and she said calmly, I practice dual body cultivation. The ghostly sovereign body is just my second cultivated body. My first cultivated body has already reached the level of a top grade divine body. Wow. Chen Chen had lost count of how many times he had been astonished by martial dancer. He had learned too much about her, and the concept of dual body cultivation was something he had never heard of before. He had never heard of a practitioner being able to cultivate two bodies at the same time. Chen Chen still wanted to ask Wubu something, but Wubu made a gesture to silence him, and then entered the state of cultivation again. Seeing that Wubu temporarily had no intention of communicating with him, Chen Chen also closed his mouth, sat opposite Wubu, and entered the state of cultivation. Chen Chen could feel that the practitioners of the Seven Star Sect were still searching for him in the Konglin Mountain. Even though several days had passed, they had not given up the search. Obviously, the people of the Seven Star Sect were very eager to obtain the longevity clock on him. Strange, many people have said that even the emperors of the Emperor Realm cannot use ancient artifacts. What use does the Seven Star Emperor have for this longevity clock? Chen Chen pondered these questions while practicing. In the Hafsang Desert, at the Hunter God Sect's Grand Hall, Humir stood in front of a huge statue, with many practitioners of the Hunter God Sect kneeling behind him. We are all his believers. He has just sent me a message, and he will descend soon. You will all be redeemed. Humier looked devoutly at the huge statue, which was a sculptural representation of the hunter god. All the practitioners of the hunter god sect behind him bowed to the statue, all recruited by Humier to become believers of the hunter god. If a deity wanted to descend in a certain world, there must be a sufficient number of believers, otherwise, even if they descended, their power would be greatly reduced. At this moment, an elder stood up from the ground and walked to Humier's side. Master, a Jinxian Hall has appeared in the Hangu continent. They have killed many practitioners in the past few days, including many of our sex practitioners. The elder whispered to Humier. Humier frowned slightly and said, The hunter god sect has never violated the rights of any sect. Why does this Jinxian Hall want to kill the practitioners of the hunter god sect? Regardless of which sect they belong to, anyone who was asked to join the Jinxian Hall, if they refuse, will be killed without exception. Those killed practitioners were all loyal believers of him, and they were killed after refusing them. Humir, upon hearing this, angrily said, killing the practitioners of the hunter god sect is an insult to the lord. Where is this Jinxian Hall? I will destroy them. The elder told Humir the location of the Jinxian Hall's practitioners. Humir bowed to the sculpture of the hunter god and said, My lord, someone has blasphemed against you, and I will punish them for you. The next moment, Humir disappeared. Before long, Humir found many practitioners of the Jinxian Hall, each occupying major sects, with Jinxian Hall practitioners present in each sect. Humir did not waste time talking and directly killed these people. Blaspheming against him, all you filthy mortals will be punished. Humir's huge black emperor realm shadow appeared behind him. Whenever he saw the Jinxian Hall practitioners, he acted without hesitation. These Jinxian Hall practitioners were caught off guard and instantly turned into a mist of blood. In the boundary of the gate, a practitioner covered in blood appeared in front of the gate emperor in Shadow Chenchen, Master, Vice Master, something bad has happened. Speak, Shadow Chenchen said calmly. An emperor realm practitioner of unknown origin has appeared outside. He kills the Jinxian Hall practitioners upon seeing them and says that all of us filthy mortals will be punished. Many practitioners stationed in the occupied sects have already fallen. The practitioner covered in blood finished speaking, coughed violently, and then suddenly looked extremely pained, clutching his neck with bulging eyes. The next moment, in front of the gate emperor and shadow Chenchen, he exploded into a mist of blood. The gate emperor and shadow Chenchen reacted quickly, dodging in an instant to avoid getting blood on themselves. He he he. Dark emperor, who is this emperor outside who is killing our sect cultivators everywhere? The gate emperor still had a nonchalant look. The dark emperor frowned slightly, pondered for a moment, and said, This aura doesn't seem like a familiar emperor. And the words he just said mentioned him, which is a reference to a deity. He he he. 
The calamity is getting closer, Shadow Chanchen put on a black mask and said, open the gate. He's killing the people of the Zhuming Immortal Palace everywhere, which will disrupt my plans. I will go deal with him. The gate emperor looked at Shadow Chanchen with a smirk and said, he is likely an angel by the side of the deity, that is a demigod existence. Are you sure you can defeat him with your current strength? He he he. Ha, his strength shouldn't be very strong, otherwise he would have come directly to us long ago. Obviously, he is just a four-winged angel, and I am enough to deal with him. After Shadow Chanchen finished speaking, he walked out through the gate opened by the gate emperor. After Shadow Chanchen came out through the gate opened by the gate emperor, he arrived in front of the sect where Zayumir was. Zayumir was still killing the cultivators of the Zhuming Immortal Palace on a large scale. Those cultivators of the Zhuming Immortal Palace had at most the cultivation level of quasi-emperor realm, and they had no power to fight back in front of Zayumir, a orthodox emperor. When they saw Shadow Chanchen, they rushed towards him in madness. Master, you finally came. That emperor realm cultivator, I don't know who he is, is killing our sex people everywhere. A cultivator hid behind Shadow Chanchen. At this moment, Zayumir also saw Shadow Chanchen, stopped the massacre, and asked, You are the sect master of the Zhuming Immortal Palace, the Dark Emperor? That's me. And who are you, and why are you killing the cultivators of my sect everywhere? So far, the only sect that has offended the sect where Emperor Realm cultivators are stationed is the Qingyun Pavilion. You shouldn't be from the Qingyun Pavilion, right? Shadow Chanchen narrowed his eyes. Zayumir snorted disdainfully and replied, What is the Qingyun Pavilion? I am the sect master of the hunter god sect. Your cultivators of the Zhuming Immortal Palace killed the people of my sect, and I am here to avenge them. The people of the hunter god sect are all believers of the Lord. Your people of the Zhuming Immortal Palace are insulting the Lord and must accept divine punishment. Shadow Chanchen understood and confirmed that the other party was the angel sent by the deity to invade the immortal world during the calamity. It's no wonder that this emperor realm cultivator had never heard of him before. He he, what nonsense divine punishment. Shenshen sneered, then said, it's a pity that I only named the sect Zooming Immortal Palace instead of the Godslaying Palace. It seems that in the future, we will have to change the name of the sect when we have the chance. Upon hearing this, Zayumir became furious, how dare you mortals blaspheme the gods. Shadow Chenshin shrugged and said, you should only be a four-winged angel, right? From my judgment, you should have just entered the strength of a demigod. You haven't even reached the realm of a dominator. With your current strength, you still can't defeat me. I'll give you a chance. Get out of here. Zayumir's expression changed. He didn't expect Shadow Chanchen to see through his true identity at a glance and know that he was a four-winged angel sent by the deity. But all his words were disrespectful to the hunter god, and Zayumir naturally couldn't tolerate all this. In his view, he had fallen into a god, although he couldn't be considered a true demigod, he was at least a four-winged angel. How could he not defeat a mere mortal? Mortal, you will pay for your arrogance. Zayumir revealed his celestial shadow, which was completely different from that of ordinary cultivators. His celestial shadow was not in the form of an ordinary human, but rather in the form of a black-winged angel with four wings, each wing covered in countless eyes, giving it an incredibly eerie appearance. Shen Shen's expression remained calm as he said, it seems like you are very eager to fall today. Without further ado, Chen Shen revealed his celestial shadow and charged towards Zayumul. Kanglin Mountain, inside a cave. Chen Chen and Wu Wu had been in a state of cultivation for several hours, the entire cave filled with a purple light. However, the longevity clock pattern on Chen Chen's body emitted a faint golden light, alternating with the purple light. At this point, Chen Chen had already reached the sixth transformation of the Nether Nine Revolutions technique. This time, without the absorption of the cultivator's body, the progress had become extremely slow. However, Chen Chen was only seeking to consolidate his own strength, not to advance further. At this moment, Wu Wu let out a breath, opened her eyes, and looked puzzled. Chen Chen, before seeing this nether nine revolutions technique, I had also managed to learn the first two transformations on my own. Even as a cultivator of the emperor realm, I couldn't advance further. But now with the nether nine revolutions technique, I know how to continue the cultivation, but isn't the speed of cultivation too slow? What transformation have you reached now? Upon hearing Wu Wu's voice, Shen Shen also stopped his cultivation and said, I am currently cultivating the sixth transformation. Wu Wu widened her beautiful eyes, suspecting that she had misheard. After just a few hours of cultivation, Wu Wu had already estimated that it would take at least half a month to successfully cultivate the third transformation, especially because of her unique blessing as a cultivator of the emperor realm. Xian Shen, on the other hand, was only a cultivator of the holy realm, not even close to being an emperor, and yet he had already reached the sixth transformation. 
Could it be that he had started cultivation as a child? But that completely defied common sense. Seeing Wu Wu's surprised expression, Shen Shen knew what she was thinking and smiled, explaining, Wu Wu, it's normal for the cultivation speed to be slow. The nether nine revolutions technique is not easy to cultivate, but it's not difficult either. As long as the conditions are met, the cultivation process can be quite fast. What are the conditions? The use of cultivators of the Azure Realm and above, they must also possess a refined body constitution. If the body constitution is only ordinary, it's useless. So, the higher the body's refined constitution, the more powerful the cultivation realm, the faster the cultivation of the Nether Nine Revolutions technique will be. Pausing for a moment, Shen Shen continued, in addition, some special herbs can also accelerate the cultivation speed. Oh, what are the names of these herbs? Shen Shen shook his head, looking somewhat embarrassed. He really didn't know the names of these herbs, he only knew what they looked like. After some thought, Shen Shen said to Wu Wu, I don't know the names, but Emperor Chiyu told me that these herbs mostly grow in the starry night of the other world. That's why I plan to go to the extreme cold place and cultivate the nether nine revolutions technique there. Wu Wu nodded, looking outside the cave as if weighing something in her mind. After a moment, Wu Wu sighed softly and said, I never thought that after all this wandering, it would be him who could help me improve my strength. Master, since you are alive, why don't you come find me instead of seeking out a young man who was only at the holy realm? Wu Wu turned to look at Qian Shen with a puzzled expression and then said, The nether nine revolutions technique was given to you by master, so I naturally cannot take it away. But I also need to cultivate it. If you are going to Starry Night, then I will go with you. Wu Wu, you. You want to go to Starry Night with me? Wu Wu nodded slightly. Qian Shen was overjoyed. He had been wondering how to leave Konglin Mountain, but if Wu Wu was willing to go to the extreme cold place with him, then leaving Konglin Mountain would be much easier. After all, she was a great emperor at the emperor level, and even the people of the Seven Star Sect had to be wary. By then, the two of them only needed to make their way to the extreme cold land, and once they crossed the border, even the Seven Star Emperor could not easily enter the extreme cold land, as it was the territory of the Ice Queen. Wu Wu, since you are willing to go with me, you have to protect me to leave Konglin Mountain. The people of the Seven Star Sect outside may be looking for me everywhere. Wu Wu glanced at Qian Shen, smiling ambiguously, what? Do you want me to be your personal bodyguard? Xian Shen awkwardly touched his nose and whispered, I can't slip away from the eyes of so many cultivators of the Seven Star Sect on my own, and besides, there is the Seven Star Emperor sitting there. Without you, I definitely can't leave Konglin Mountain. If I don't leave, I won't be able to cultivate even at night without the Nether Nine Transformation Technique. What if I change my mind and take the Nether Nine Transformation Technique from you? I have no grudge with the Seven Star Emperor. Wu Wu looked at Qian Shen, and Qian Shen's originally joyful mood instantly became wary. In his view, no cultivator at the emperor level was completely kind, and everyone had a strong sense of purpose. Even if Qi Yu the great emperor sacrificed himself to save him, it was because Qian Shen had the ability to restore his normal physical body after becoming a great emperor. Otherwise, Qi Yu the great emperor would never have staked his life on Qian Shen. At present, he and Wu Wu had only known each other for a few days. If Wu Wu were to burn bridges, Chen Shen really wouldn't be able to keep the Nether Nine Transformation technique on him. Chen Shen hurriedly said, Wu Wu, what you said is not right. Your master told me that he cannot be found alive by the Seven Star Emperor, otherwise the Seven Star Emperor will definitely kill him immediately. Why is Chi Yu the Great Emperor so afraid of being found? Obviously, the Seven Star Emperor and others are concerned about Chi Yu the Great Emperor still being alive. Chi Yu the Great Emperor's physical body has become abnormal and it must be the work of the Seven Star Emperor behind the scenes. Chi Yu the Great Emperor is your master. Xian Shen's brain quickly turned, thinking for a few seconds, and continued, as the saying goes, a day as a teacher, a lifetime as a father. How can the Seven Star Emperor have no grudge against killing his father? Seeing Xian Shen explaining in a panic, Wu Wu burst into laughter, covering her mouth and shaking with laughter. Xian Shen was dumbfounded. What was she laughing at? After a moment, after Wu Wu finished laughing, she tidied her hair in front of her forehead and said, I was just joking with you. You don't need to be so flustered. Someone chosen by the master naturally has extraordinary qualities. I will protect you to the extreme cold land. After that, Wu Wu's tone turned extremely cold. Before the master wakes up, I will help him find out who framed him back then and let him fall to this point. Seeing Wu Wu's appearance, Shen Shen breathed a sigh of relief, and at the same time, he spoke firmly, Shi Yu the great emperor spared no effort to save me, and I will also help him find out the truth. Wu Wu, let's learn the nether nine transformation technique together at night, this can also be considered as dual cultivation. Xian Chan looked righteous. However, when these words reached Wu Wu's ears, they took on a different meaning. 
Wu Wu looked at Qian Chen with a very complicated look in her eyes and spoke in a tone that Qian Chen did not understand. What did you say? Dual cultivation? Ah, yes, the two of us cultivating together, isn't that dual cultivation? Qian Chen was somewhat puzzled. Wu Wu looked at Qian Chen's innocent look and suddenly realized that he might not understand anything and simply thought that two people cultivating together was called dual cultivation. Wu Wu felt that she had overthought it and her face turned somewhat red, quickly turning her head away. And seeing Wu Wu's strange look, Qian Chen scratched his head, not understanding why. All right, no time to lose, let's go to the extreme cold land as soon as possible. Rest for a while, and we will set off tonight. My abilities at night can help us escape better. The martial dance is serious. Chen Chen nodded solemnly and then began to sit on the ground to brew. He only had one chance. If he didn't escape from Konglin Mountain tonight, there would be no second chance. Not only would he lose his life, but he would also disappoint the expectations of the Emperor Chiyu. Zayamir was covered in injuries, two of his four wings were already broken, and his celestial shadow had become extremely illusory. Damn it! He's clearly just a mere mortal, yet he has such strength. How is this possible? I am a four-winged angel, how could he possibly defeat me? Zayomir looked in shock at the figure of Qian Chen not far from him. After an hour of battle, he was seriously injured, while Qian Chen only had minor external injuries. Zayomir realized that this mortal in front of him was far more powerful than him, and it was no wonder he had been so arrogant and conceited earlier. Qian Chen stood at the top of the sky, enveloped in a huge black celestial shadow, his eyes filled with killing intent, ready to deliver a fatal blow to Zayomir. Zayomir was somewhat afraid, he kept retreating, and Qian Chen threatened him persistently, You, you are called the Dark Emperor, right? You can't kill me. If you kill me, my master will definitely not let you go. And if I die, my master will send a real demigod, the six-winged angel, the blazing angel. By then, you will die a miserable death. If you acknowledge my master now, I can pretend that none of this happened. After my master descends, with your strength, you will surely gain my master's favor and be appointed as an angel. Qian Chen grinned and said, an angel? A demigod? Sorry, I don't care about them at all. My goal is to become a true deity. Your master, heh, I don't even care about him. He's just an outsider god. I want to be the main god. Main god? Are you kidding? The path from this world to the divine realm has long been closed. You have no way to become a god, let alone a main god, not even reaching the level of a demigod. Zayumir's words were cut off by Qian Chen, who ended his life. Zayumir was not a true cultivator, and his body quickly withered after his death, turning into a pile of flesh. Qian Chen stepped on his corpse, looked up at the sky with great pride on his face, just an outsider god. In the universe, the hunter god opened his eyes and cast his gaze towards the world of cultivation, murmuring, Zayumir is dead? It seems that this world is not as weak as I imagined. Where is Ertag? Master, I'm here. A six-winged angel, completely red in color, knelt before the hunter god. This was a true demigod, the six-winged angel, the blazing angel. Zayumir is dead. You go to that world and continue the task he didn't complete. There are still too few believers. After the descent of the gods, my divine foundation is unstable and will affect my strength. The hunter god propped his head with one hand and said leisurely. Ertag respectfully said, My master, you can fully trust Ertag. That waste, Zayumir, actually died at the hands of a mortal. After speaking, Ertag left the sight of the hunter god and fell straight towards the world of cultivation. In the late night, Chen Chen looked at Wubu, who was meditating and resting. Wubu, should we set off? Wubu opened her eyes, glanced at the cave outside, and said, Let's go. There are not many people from the seven star sect outside at night. Chen Chen took a deep breath and walked towards the mouth of the cave, while Wubu also lifted the enchantment at the cave entrance. The two looked at each other and immediately flew out of the cave. The Tian Shan Holy Land Station in Konglin Mountain soon sensed Qian Chen's message, and his eyes suddenly opened wide, Kid, you really can't sit still. All disciples of the Seven Star Sect, follow my orders and capture the wanted criminal Qian Chen together with me. In an instant, dozens of red celestial shadows appeared in the night sky, appearing extremely eerie under the moonlight. The people from the Seven Star Sect have arrived. Hurry up, they still don't know about my existence. The Seven Star Emperor won't directly intervene, Wu Wu said to Qian Chen. Qian Chen nodded. They had already discussed this beforehand. He only needed to rush to the extremely cold place, while Wu Wu would cover his retreat. However, in order to avoid alerting the Seven Star Emperor, Wu Wu had to conceal her true strength. If she were to reveal her celestial shadow of the Emperor realm, the Seven Star Emperor would not hesitate to take action, making it difficult for Qian Chen to escape. Qian Chen no longer hesitated and decided to directly use Voidwalking since they had already been discovered. 
the heavenly mountain holy and others soon encountered Wu Wu. At this point, Wu Wu had already used the art of disguise to greatly change her appearance, and the heavenly mountain holy did not recognize her. Who are you? Don't you know that Qian Chen is a wanted criminal of our seven star sect? The heavenly mountain holy frowned as he looked at the disguised Wu Wu. Wu Wu snorted disdainfully and said, So what if he's a wanted criminal of your seven star sect? With me here, you won't be able to take him away today. Such arrogance. I want to see if you can stop us. The heavenly mountain holy now only wanted to kill Chen Chen. Chen Chen had killed so many practitioners of the seven star sect in front of him, and although the seven star emperor had not punished him, the heavenly mountain holy had long been dissatisfied. If Qian Chen were to escape from under his nose again, the position of the heavenly mountain holy would definitely be in jeopardy. This time, the heavenly mountain holy did not intend to hold back and directly aim to kill anyone who stood in his way. In fact, the heavenly mountain holy was very puzzled. When Chen Chen had escaped into the Konlin mountain, there was clearly only one person, so why was there now a woman appearing to cover for him? Having learned from past experiences, the heavenly mountain holy became extremely cautious. He felt that the woman in front of him was definitely not to be underestimated. The seven star sect was a formidable force, yet this woman dared to confront so many practitioners of the holy realm and quasi-emperors alone. How confident must she be? Scorn of death. Wu Wu used her celestial art, but her celestial shadow did not appear. The heavenly mountain holy's face showed surprise. She used celestial art and yet her celestial shadow didn't appear? Without much thought, the heavenly mountain holy also used celestial art to clash with Wu Wu's. In one move, both Wu Wu and the heavenly mountain holy were pushed back. The heavenly mountain holy's hand was numb, while Wu Wu's expression remained calm, as if she felt nothing. Such formidable strength. Split into two teams. One team stays to confront this woman, while the rest immediately go after Chen Chen. We must not let him escape to the extremely cold place. Yes. Dozens of seven star sect practitioners split into two teams, with over ten people heading in Chen Chen's direction. The heavenly mountain holy knew that the woman in front of him was very strong, possibly even stronger than him. It was clear that she was using these celestial arts, which were inconsequential to her, to buy time. Once Qian Chen entered the extremely cold place, she would immediately escape. Wu Wu glanced at the practitioners heading towards Qian Chen and snorted. I won't play with you anymore. He's almost here. After Wu Wu finished speaking, she flashed and immediately headed towards Qian Chen. The heavenly mountain holy's expression turned cold. Although he was extremely unwilling, he immediately used a secret technique to inform the seven star emperor. The next moment, the seven star emperor appeared. He did not ask any questions and immediately chased after Wu Wu in the direction she was heading. The seven star emperor revealed his celestial shadow, and his massive black celestial shadow extended a giant hand to try to grab Wu Wu. However, Wu Wu dodged the attack with a sidestep, surprising the seven star emperor. At this moment, Chen Chen had already reached the edge of the extreme cold region, his face filled with joy as he realized that the people from the seven star sect could no longer catch him. Chen Chen turned back with some concern in the direction of Wu Bu, and was surprised to find that the seven star emperor had already caught up, with a dozen or so strong experts from the seven star sect close behind. Wu Bu, I've made it, hurry and go. Chen Chen shouted, immediately crossing the border and entering the extreme cold region. Upon hearing Chen Chen's voice, Wu Bu no longer concealed her strength, dispelling her disguise and using spatial jumps that only Emperor Realm cultivators could perform. In an instant, she disappeared in front of everyone, reappearing next to Chen Chen the next second, tearing open a wormhole. The Seven Star Emperor widened his eyes and said, She's the Dance Emperor? How could this woman be in this place, and why would she help that kid? The Seven Star Emperor saw that Chen Chen and Wu Bu had already entered the extreme cold region, his face filled with shock, his expression becoming complicated. Previously, the Seven Star Emperor had learned from the Tian Shan Sky Saint that Chen Chen had escaped the last time because the great Emperor Chi Yu had helped him, but this time, the Seven Star Emperor had personally taken action and encountered the Dance Emperor. Chen Chen was just an ordinary cultivator, albeit with stronger talent, reaching the realm of the saint at a young age. But it was not enough to warrant the protection of two emperors. What was Chen Chen's true identity? The Seven Star Emperor looked at the two gradually moving away with a dark expression, his eyes filled with anger. He knew that the longevity clock could not be obtained. The Tian Shan Sky Saint arrived with a group of seven star sect cultivators and said, Master, where are Qian Chen and that woman? I can lead people to pursue them immediately. No need to pursue, that kid's identity is not simple. The woman just now is the Dance Emperor. She spared your life, which is already showing mercy, said the seven star emperor. The Tian Shan Sky Saint's eyes twitched, Dance, Dance Emperor? You mean that woman is the Dance Emperor? 
What kind of ability does that kid Chen Chen have to make both the great emperor Qiyu and the dance emperor help him? The seven star emperor sighed and said, it's not surprising. That woman, Wu Bu, is the disciple of the great emperor Qiyu. Since the great emperor Qiyu can stand by Chen Chen's side, it's only natural for Wu Bu to help him. Forget it, since he has escaped to the extreme cold region, let's give up on the longevity clock and look for other ancient artifacts to replace it. The temperature in the extreme cold region was extremely low, with ice stretching for miles, making it difficult to walk. Xian Chen and Wu Bu struggled to walk in the snowy terrain. Xian Chen said, Wu Bu, there are no people from the Seven Star Sect here. We can just use spatial jumps to travel directly. Wu Bu shook her head gently and said, No, the extreme cold region is different from the Eternal Continent. The entire extreme cold region is under the control of the Ice Queen, who is the queen of the entire country. In the extreme cold region, practitioners are prohibited from using fast travel techniques. Once forbidden techniques are used, it is considered a violation of the law. We've just arrived in the extreme cold region, so let's abide by the laws here. Xian Chen didn't understand why there were such strange rules in the extreme cold region. As they entered the extreme cold region, it was a desolate place, with nothing but snow, and many frozen snow rivers with thick snow on both sides. The mountains on the other side of the river were bare. In the extreme cold region, there were hardly any plants, as they would wither due to the inability to grow, all life would be frozen to death. Yet in such a place, there was a city ruled by one person. As they walked, Wu Bu told Qian Chen about the extreme cold region. It was a vast place, and under the leadership of the Ice Queen, the entire extreme cold region was very peaceful. Moreover, there were countless strong individuals here, and even those with higher cultivation realms generally dared not enter the extreme cold region. Different from the ancient continent, where people pursue cultivation realms, so in the ancient continent, you will see many practitioners with high cultivation realms. Among every sect, there are countless holy realm experts, but it is rare to see practitioners at the end of the fierce soul and the leader of the soul. To reach the leader of the soul, at least it is also at the quasi-emperor level, and most of them are emperors of the emperor realm. But in the extreme cold land, the practitioners here pursue soul power levels and do not pay much attention to cultivation realms. So in the extreme cold land, most practitioners have low cultivation realms, but astonishingly high soul power levels. So, doesn't my strength become the top existence here? Xian Chen said. Wu Wu smiled lightly and replied, if you think so, there is no problem. Here, it is rare to see practitioners of the holy realm. After that, Chen Chen and Wu Wu walked in the snow for a long time in the midst of a blizzard. Although neither of them could use the magical technique to accelerate their journey, in the face of such an environment, both Chen Chen and Wu Wu used magical techniques to protect themselves. In the evening, the two finally saw a wooden house. Wu Wu said, go and see that house. This is the border of the extreme cold land. Many soul beasts will appear here at night, so it's best not to travel at night. Wu Wu, I am a holy realm expert, and you are a true emperor realm expert. Even if we encounter soul beasts, what's the big deal? Can't we defeat them? Chen Chen always felt that after coming to the extreme cold land, Wu Wu became very cautious. Wu Wu looked at Chen Chen without speaking, and continued to walk forward. The two soon arrived in front of the wooden house. The house was covered with snow. Wu Wu tried to knock on the door, but there was no response inside. Then, Wu Wu tried to push the door, and it opened easily. Inside, there was only a bed board and a very simple table. It seems that this wooden house has been abandoned and no one lives here. Xian Chen looked at the arrangement and said. Wu Wu nodded lightly, entered the house, and after a few moments, asked Xian Chen to close the door of the wooden house. Then she used magic to light the oil lamp on the table, and the whole house lit up instantly. We will spend the night here tonight, and continue our journey tomorrow morning. Wu Wu said in a calm tone. Xian Chen was about to ask why they couldn't travel at night, but Wu Wu spoke first, I told you just now why we don't travel at night. Soul beasts will appear at night. Among the four major alien realms, only the Void Star Realm requires specific divine spells to open the passage. The passages of the other three star realms are always open, and the starry night is in the extreme cold land. The soul beasts inside often come out to forage outside. In the extreme cold land, practitioners and soul beasts coexist. Without the royal token, it is not allowed to hunt any soul beasts. We sneaked into the extreme cold land from the border. Once we hunt a soul beast, our traces will be quickly discovered. For you, who do not know the laws here, you may get away with it. But my identity, the Ice Queen, is known. I did not tell her before coming to the extreme cold land. The Ice Queen will definitely think that I have other purposes, which is a political issue between the ancient continent and the extreme cold land. After listening to Wu Wu's explanation, Xian Chen suddenly realized. 
At the same time, he also judged that in the extreme cold land, the law is a very strict existence, and the politics are very sensitive. This is a place dominated by the Ice Queen. The Queen's power is above all else. Except for a bedboard, there was nothing on it. Xian Chen recited the divine spell, bedding, blanket. In an instant, the words followed the law, and the bedding and blanket appeared on the bed. Wu Wu looked at Qian Chen in amazement, and after a while, she slowly spoke, Did you just say a divine spell? Yes, don't you know it? Qian Chen felt a little confused. If it were an ordinary cultivator, not understanding these basic English would be understandable, but Wu Bu had already reached the pinnacle of cultivation. In Qian Chen's understanding, their comprehension of divine language was almost equivalent to his understanding of English. However, Wu Bu frowned and said, Can you summon a bed in bedding just by speaking that divine language you just used? Seeing Wu Bu's expression, Xian Chen was startled, realizing a serious problem. Even in the cultivation world, when cultivators reach the realm of emperor, they only have a profound understanding of divine language and comprehend most of it, understanding how to pronounce these English words. But that's all they can do, they still cannot understand the true meaning of divine language, which is English. Cultivators in the cultivation world cannot connect divine language with their language and written meaning. Xian Chen furrowed his brows slightly, recalling his previous communication with the nether god, who used divine language throughout, indicating that the nether god could fully understand divine language. Does that mean that only by becoming a deity can one truly understand the meaning of divine language? Seeing Xian Chen lost in thought, Wu Bu also quickly pondered. She always felt that Xian Chen had a unique understanding of divine language. At this moment, she suddenly understood why Emperor Qiyu was willing to risk everything on Xian Chen. At night, Shen Chen and Wu Bu spent the night in the wooden house. Wu Bu's unique flame rose in the room, making it very warm. Not only did Xian Chen conjure up bedding and a bed using divine language, but he also conjured up another bed, with one for each of them. This was Qian Chen's first time sharing a roof with someone of the opposite sex, and he had an indescribable feeling. Although Wu Bu's real age was over 300 years old, during this time together, Xian Chen found that Wu Bu not only looked like a woman in her 20s but also spoke and acted like one. Chen Chen often forgot that Wu Bu was really over 300 years old. Wu Bu, where is the entrance to Xingye, and when do we leave? Chen Chen asked as he looked at Wu Bu, who was meditating with her eyes closed on the bed. Without opening her eyes, Wu Bu said in a flat tone, You don't even know where the entrance to Xingye is, and you dare to come to the extreme cold alone. I can hardly imagine how long you would survive in the extreme cold without me. I didn't expect the rules in the extreme cold to be so strange, and there are so many regulations. Qian Chen looked embarrassed. Before coming to the extreme cold, he really hadn't thought that there would be such strange rules and regulations here. If it weren't for Wu Bu accompanying him this time, there would have been quite a bit of trouble. They had just escaped from the pursuit of the Seven Star Sect, and if they were targeted by certain forces in the extreme cold, it would be really unlucky. After that, Qian Chen and Wu Bu remained silent in the room until night fell completely, and Qian Chen finally heard those strange sounds outside the wooden house. Looking out the window, he found that the blizzard had intensified, and there were many large figures in the storm. Chen Chen knew that these should all be soul beasts that roamed this area. Sending out his divine sense, he sensed that the cultivation realms of these soul beasts were generally at the saint level, and their species were ones he had never seen before. I didn't expect that the soul beasts that come out at night are all so powerful. It's just that in the border area, saint level soul beasts are everywhere. If we enter Xingye, how powerful will the soul beasts inside be? Xian Chen thought to himself, feeling fortunate that he had listened to Wu Bu and spent the night in this wooden house. If they had traveled at night, they might have encountered many powerful soul beasts. According to Wu Bu's introduction, the entrance to Xingye was in the central area of the extreme cold, surrounded by a city. To enter Xingye, one must have a permit to enter the city where the entrance to Xingye is located. Wu Wu's sister, we don't have a permit, how do we get in? Rest early, we'll leave early tomorrow and try to reach the central area of the extreme cold land in the afternoon. As for the permit, you can buy it in the underground black market. Xian Chen looked at Wu Wu, then relaxed. Wu Wu was the emperor of the emperor's realm, and he shouldn't have to worry about these things. After nightfall, Xian Chen fell into a deep sleep on the bed. This time, Xian Chen dreamed of his original world, his parents, and his biological sister. Halfway through the dream, the scene suddenly changed, and Shen Shen saw the face of Night God Shen Sun. Night God Shen Sun looked up and asked Shen Shen, Shen Shen, where are you? Didn't we agree that you would come find me as soon as you came out of the Void Star Realm? I'm still waiting for you. I, Shen Sun, I'm in the extreme cold land now. I will come find you after I finish practicing the Nether Nine Transformation Technique. Liar. Looking at the resentful eyes of Night God Shen Sun, 
Shen Shen felt very uncomfortable, but he couldn't hold on to her no matter what. When Shen Shen woke up, he found that Wu Wu had already woken up and was sitting on the bed thinking about something. Shen Shen quickly sat up from the bed. Wu Wu glanced at him and said, You were talking in your sleep. Ha! Huh? Shen Shen was a little confused. He believed that Wu Wu was not joking. He remembered that on the night he first joined the Eternal Sect, he was talking in his sleep in the main hall and almost destroyed the entire Eternal Sect. Fortunately, the three ancestors and Shi Ruyan arrived in time and prevented the disaster. So, it was not surprising that he was talking in his sleep now, but it seemed like nothing had happened. Could it be that the sleep talking this time was not divine language? Hearing Qian Sun's name from Wu Wu, Chen Chen's face turned red, and he awkwardly scratched his head. Is this girl your sister? Your names are very similar. Wu Wu looked at Chen Chen and casually asked. Chen Chen shook his head and replied, She's not my sister, she's a friend of mine. It's a coincidence that our names differ by only one character, but our surnames are the same. Wu Wu didn't say anything more and then got up from the bed and extinguished the light in the wooden house. Let's go, those soul beasts have already left, and we should also be on our way. After coming out of the wooden house, they saw a vast expanse of white. The blizzard had also stopped at this time. Shen Shen followed Wu Wu in a certain direction. After two hours, a huge building came into Qian Shen's view. It looked like a palace built of ice, crystal clear and translucent. There were other small buildings around, but because of the distance, Shen Shen couldn't see them clearly. That should be the kingdom ruled by the Ice Queen. In the afternoon, Shen Shen and Wu Wu finally arrived at the gate of the city standing in the extreme cold land. The three characters' ice sealed country were written on it. There were many guards in front of the gate, and occasionally a few people came out from inside, but very few went in. Xian Chen followed Wu Wu and was stopped by a guard. You too, show your identity cards. Xian Chen was stunned. They actually needed identity cards to enter the ice sealed country. What was that? We don't have any, Wu Wu said flatly. Shen Shen subconsciously looked at Wu Wu, who gave him a look that said, you figure it out, and then stood silently in place. No identity cards? Are you not from the ice sealed country? The guard frowned. Seeing that Wu Wu had no intention of speaking again, Shen Shen quickly said, guard, we are indeed not from the ice sealed country. My sister and I came from the ancient continent and want to learn the cultivation techniques here in the extreme cold land. So, we really don't have the identity cards you mentioned. Shen Shen deliberately kept a low profile. The gatekeeper saw Chen Chen's attitude as very pleasing and had a hint of pride on his face, but he still solemnly said, The Icebound Kingdom does not prohibit people from the mainland from coming here, but if you want to enter, you need to sign an agreement. Our Icebound Kingdom's laws are very strict. Even if you are not from the frigid regions, if you violate the law, you will still be punished. Chen Chen nodded repeatedly, and then the guard took out two agreements and handed them to Chen Chen and Wubu. After signing the agreements, the guard stepped aside, allowing Chen Chen and Wu Bu to enter the icebound kingdom smoothly. Just as they passed by, the guard suddenly spoke, Traitors, kill. Users of forbidden techniques, kill. Those who disrupt the country's order, kill. Those who offend the queen, kill. Many guards and the head guard shouted in unison, their voices resounding, sending shivers down Chen Chen's spine. It was then that he truly felt that in the frigid regions, the ice queen was the ruler. The strict laws were not just empty words. Once you violated the law here, it wasn't like being wanted by a sect in the ancient continent. Here, violating the law meant being targeted by the entire country. Shen Chen looked at Wu Bu and complained. Wu Bu, why didn't you say anything just now? Do I need to speak for such matters? Are you just going to follow behind me? Wu Bu glanced at Shen Chen. Shen Chen scratched his head, feeling embarrassed and speechless. He cleared his throat and began to observe the icebound kingdom. There was plenty of snow on the streets, and many buildings were constructed with ice blocks. The atmosphere here was much better than in the ancient continent. Shen Shen knew that this was all thanks to the Ice Queen's adherence to the law, which had brought about an era of peace and prosperity. In the ancient continent, it was common to see practitioners fighting on the streets, and Shen Shen had often gotten into fights in public, but there were no law enforcement teams to discipline them. In the frigid regions, if a fight broke out in public, the law enforcement teams would appear before the fight was even over. Wu Bu looked around and walked towards a street, with Qian Chen following behind her like a younger brother. The city of Xingye is still a distance away from here. As far as I know, this place is divided into the inner and outer cities. We are currently in the outer city, and Xingye is located in the inner city. Before going there, we must obtain a permit, Wu Bu said calmly, then looked at Qian Chen. Go and find out where the underground black market in the frigid regions is. Shen Shen nodded and then blended into the crowd. He approached a friendly-looking middle-aged man and asked, Sir, do you know where the black market is? 
The man gave Chen Chen a strange look and said, Young man, are you asking about the auction? There is no black market in the icebound kingdom. Judging by your appearance, you are probably not from the frigid regions, right? Chen Chen was taken aback, never expecting to be recognized at first glance. He had no choice but to admit his identity and tell the man that he came from the ancient continent. Upon learning that Chen Chen was from the ancient continent, the man's initially friendly expression turned disdainful, and he sneered, So you are a practitioner from the mainland? Well, I can't tell you where the auction is. You can find it yourself. Chen Chen asked several more people, but each time, upon learning that he was from the ancient continent, the passersby showed disdain. It was then that Chen Chen realized that the people in the frigid regions seemed to look down on practitioners from the ancient continent. It was no wonder that Wu Bu had sent him to do this task instead of doing it herself. Sighing, Chen Chen continued to ask around in the crowd, but even after asking more than a dozen people, he still couldn't get an answer. Unfortunately, Chen Chen could only use the transformative fairy technique to change his appearance, and then pretended to be a local in the extremely cold area. With determination, he finally obtained the specific location of the auction from a seemingly young girl. After expressing his gratitude, Chen Chen immediately found Wu Wu and the two headed towards the auction. The auction venue here was grand and unlike the Eternal Continent, there was no need to conceal one's identity during the auction as it was all done under real names. Due to the strict laws in the extremely cold area, there were rarely any criminals, so no one needed to worry about their identity being exposed at the auction. How much money do you have on you? Wu Wu suddenly asked Chen Chen. Chen Chen opened his spatial ring, counted, and replied, I still have over a hundred thousand eternal coins left, which should be enough for us to buy two permits. I just inquired and found out that a permit to enter the inner city is worthless. Wu Wu chuckled and said, You should have already known when you asked for directions that people from the extremely cold area are actually practitioners from the eternal continent, so eternal coins are worthless here. Over a hundred thousand eternal coins may be a huge sum in the eternal continent, but here, you probably can't even buy a bag of rice. Xian Shen was stunned, not expecting the discrimination against the eternal continent to be so severe here. I'll write a fairy technique manual using my soul power, you can auction it off and use the money to buy two permits, Wu Wu said, and quickly wrote a fairy technique manual using her soul power. Xian Shen casually opened it and found that the technique was quite advanced, comparable to the third transformation of the Netherworld 9 transformation technique. However, when Wu Wu wrote the manual, she remained calm, showing no emotional fluctuations. Obviously, such a technique was as ordinary to her as scratching an itch. Xian Shen couldn't help but be amazed, is this the true strength of an emperor realm powerhouse? He took the manual to the auction and sold it to the staff, then used the money from the icebound kingdom to buy two permits to enter the inner city. By this time, it was already evening, and Xian Shen and Wu Wu came out of the auction venue and found that the gates to the inner city were already closed. There was a large wooden board on the gate with the rules for the opening of the inner city written on it. Ah, the inner city is only open during the day, and no one is allowed in or out at night. There are too many rules here, it's really troublesome. Shen Shen was quite annoyed, not expecting that after traveling all day, they would encounter opening hours here. Wu Wu, on the other hand, showed no emotion and simply said, let's find a place to stay for the night and come back in the morning. The inner city is also where the Ice Queen's palace is located, and it's heavily guarded with strict control over the entry and exit of practitioners, which is to be expected. In the end, Chen Chen and Wu Wu found an inn to stay in and planned to enter the inner city the next morning. After checking into the inn, Chen Chen and Wu Wu went to their respective rooms. Chen Chen lay on his arm, looking at the gradually darkening sky, feeling a sense of melancholy. Every time he stayed in an inn before, Emperor Qi Yu would appear in his room and talk to him about recent events. Now, everything had changed, and Shen Shen no longer had Emperor Qi Yu secretly observing and gathering intelligence for him, and Night God Qian Xuan was nowhere to be found. Now, Shen Shen was all alone. With a thought, he poured all his thoughts into the spatial ring, and in the dark environment, he saw the transparent body of Emperor Qi Yu standing there, lifeless. Old man Qi Yu, I will definitely revive you, just wait for me. Shen Shen looked at Emperor Qi Yu's body with an unwavering determination. He was most afraid of owing something to others and would never let Emperor Qi Yu's sacrifices be in vain. Afterwards, Xian Shen withdrew his divine sense from the Qin Kuan bag and began to cultivate in the room. Time quickly passed, and the sky outside the window turned completely dark, and the previously noisy street suddenly became quiet. In the midst of cultivation, Xian Shen's face showed a hint of confusion. Why did it suddenly become so quiet outside? The silence even made people feel a little scared. Xian Shen released his cultivation state and walked to the window, opening it to look outside. He found that the street was completely different from the bustling daytime scene. 
At this moment, there was not a single person on the street, and every shop's door was tightly closed, not a single light was on. Strange, why is there no one on the street? Qian Chen frowned, feeling puzzled by this unusual sight. He was about to go knock on the neighboring Wubu's door, fearing that something unusual might happen. Just then, a uniform and rhythmic sound of footsteps suddenly came from the street, and Qian Chen saw a small team of more than 10 people appearing on the street. Curfew time has arrived. No one is allowed to enter or leave the house. Violators will bear all consequences. The leader of the group shouted loudly at intervals, seemingly using a technique to amplify his voice, which could be heard throughout the entire street. Curfew? Shen Chen suddenly understood why there was no one on the street. It turned out that there was a curfew system in the Icebound Kingdom, and at a certain time, a curfew would be enforced. Judging from the appearance of these people outside, they were probably the patrol team of this country. Although he couldn't understand why there was a curfew system, Shen Chen felt relieved. This should be a normal curfew, and nothing unusual would happen. After that, Shen Chen closed the window and lay down on the bed to rest. Shen Chen had always found the system of the Icebound Kingdom strange. Everything was so free in the Eternal Continent. After coming to the frigid land, especially entering the Icebound Kingdom, various strange laws and regulations emerged. Under the rule of the Ice Queen, there was not a single voice of opposition. Could it be that all the powerful figures of this country had been brought under her command? Otherwise, with the various restrictions on the freedom of cultivators by the Ice Queen, wouldn't there be any strong opposition? The next day, in the early morning, Xian Chen woke up from his sleep and as soon as he opened the door, he found Wu Bu standing outside, looking at him with a calm expression. Wu Bu had a tall figure, and Xian Chen, who was nearly one, nine meters tall, was not much taller than her, which was the change brought about by her reaching the Emperor Realm. In the world of cultivation, as the cultivation realm became stronger, the cultivator's physique would also undergo changes. Cultivators who reached the Holy Realm generally reached a height of around 1. 9 meters, and if they reached the Emperor Realm, their height would directly exceed 2 meters. Good morning, Sister Wubu. Wubu glanced at Chen Chen and nodded slightly, good morning. The two of them left the inn, and at this time, the street had returned to normal. Chen Chen couldn't help but smile. The scene last night during the curfew was completely different from now. Sister Wubu, did you see the curfew on the street last night? I saw it. Chen Chen asked, how did the Ice Queen manage to make everyone in the country obey the curfew system? What would happen if someone went out during the curfew? I don't know, but I haven't heard of this curfew system before. Perhaps this system has only recently appeared. Hee <laughs> hee, it seems that the Icebound Kingdom is not as peaceful as it seems on the surface. Wu Bu's words were meaningful, and Shen Chen looked at her in surprise, but he didn't ask further. The two of them walked in silence to the gate of the inner city. The gate was already open, and there were two tall guards standing at the entrance. Many people were coming and going, but everyone had to have a permit to enter or leave. Xian Chen and Wu Bu showed their permits and entered. After the two guards glanced at them, they let them in. As soon as they stepped through the gate into the inner city, Chen Chen suddenly heard the two guards talking. Hey, have you heard? Last night during the curfew, there was an incident in the inner city. An incident? I spent the night at the Fengqing Tower yesterday and didn't pay much attention to the outside commotion. What happened? There shouldn't be anything major happening in the inner city, right? The guard deliberately lowered his voice and said, it said that an assassin entered the palace, but was discovered by the elder of the council as soon as he entered. It said that the infiltrator is a powerful practitioner and injured several council elders. Shen Shen didn't hear the rest of the conversation clearly, and to avoid drawing attention, he didn't stay to eavesdrop. Thinking back to the meaningful words of Wu Bu just now, Shen Shen was sure that the Icebound Kingdom might really be unsettled recently. Looking at Wu Bu, he found that Wu Bu also frowned, apparently having heard the words of the two guards just now. Shen Shen wanted to ask, but soon saw the soul beasts everywhere, showing a shocked expression on his face, damn, these soul beasts are roaming the streets of the inner city without restraint. Could there be a conflict between practitioners and soul beasts? No, the soul beasts at night are very gentle, and the Icebound Kingdom has a strict system. There's basically no scene of practitioners and soul beasts fighting. Wu Bu replied and continued walking forward. Soon, Shen Shen saw a huge mirror that was hundreds of meters high, with its color constantly changing on the front, and soul beasts occasionally coming out from inside. Is this the entrance to the Night Star? Compared to the entrance to the Void Star Realm, the Void Gate, the entrance to the Night Star was much more spectacular, like a beautiful dream gate. Let's go quickly, Wu Bu, after we go in, we can start practicing the Nether 9 transformation technique. I still have three transformations left. Without a practitioner's body, only herbs, it might take a year. Xian Shen calculated based on his own cultivation speed. Bang! 
Before Wu Bu could speak, a loud explosion sounded nearby. Shen Chen turned to see that a building not far away was already engulfed in flames, and there was a masked person running towards them quickly, followed by many practitioners with shallow red auras of the Void Realm. Stop! The practitioners behind the masked person were wearing the same clothes as the patrol team Shen Chen had seen during the curfew. Obviously, they were official people, and the masked person should be a fugitive being pursued. The escape route of the masked person happened to be where Chen Chen was. Chen Chen slightly turned to the side. He didn't want to get involved in these matters, it was the Icebound Kingdom's own criminal behavior and had nothing to do with him. Moreover, Chen Chen had already arrived at the entrance to the Night Star, and he didn't want any mishaps to occur. Help those people, catch the one wearing the mask, Wu Bu said in a low voice next to Chen Chen. Chen Chen raised an eyebrow and looked at Wu Bu. She had no other expression on her face, but Chen Chen was sure that it was Wu Bu who had just spoken. Although he didn't know why Wu Bu wanted him to do this, Chen Chen trusted Wu Bu from the bottom of his heart. He didn't hesitate and immediately revealed his aura to use his techniques to block the masked person's path. Kid, who are you? If you don't want to die, get out of the way. The masked person was stunned and angrily said. Chen Chen smiled and said, Are you blind? Can't you see that I'm a Saint Realm expert? and you're just a practitioner of the Void Realm, who really wants to die. Chen Chen had never seen someone so arrogant. The masked person snorted and asked, A mainland person? No wonder. After saying this, the masked person didn't say anything more and immediately leaped up, a huge ball of light appearing in his hand. Chen Chen smiled lightly, not taking the masked person's techniques seriously at all. In his view, the immortal techniques displayed by the practitioners of the Void Realm were no different from scratching an itch for him, a strong man in the holy realm. However, as Chen Chen caught this immortal technique, he immediately felt that something was wrong. He quickly used the immortal technique to protect his own body, and then the power of this light ball suddenly increased. Chen Chen was pushed back 10 meters in a row, and then the light ball exploded instantly, astonishing Chen Chen with its immense energy. If it weren't for the special constitution of the netherworld overlord, although this immortal technique would not kill him, it would be enough to seriously injure him. How is this possible? Shen Chen looked at the masked man in front of him in disbelief. A practitioner of the Void Realm like him should not be able to display such a powerful immortal technique. At least, it should only be possible after reaching the Holy Realm. However, the masked man in front of him had indeed displayed it. Don't underestimate him. He is a practitioner from the land of extreme cold, not someone from the ancient continent. Wu Wu reminded from the side. Shen Chen nodded, and his expression gradually became serious. This was his first encounter with a practitioner from the land of extreme cold. It seems that the practitioners from the land of extreme cold do not have a high realm of cultivation, but they should have reached the extreme and other aspects of cultivation, making up for the shortcomings of their low cultivation realm. Shen Shen muttered to himself, recalling what Wu Wu had said to him when he first entered the land of extreme cold. Practitioners from the land of extreme cold generally do not pursue the realm of cultivation, but instead focus more on the level of soul power cultivation. The reason why this masked man was able to display an immortal technique that surpassed his own realm of cultivation was probably because his level of soul power had reached a terrifying level. However, Chen Chen was not too worried. Not only had his realm of cultivation reached the holy realm, but his level of soul power was also not low. This time, fearing that the masked man would escape, Chen Chen directly displayed a powerful immortal technique without any hesitation. Netherworld 9 Forms, Netherworld Brahma Fire Technique a huge fire snake spewed out from Chen Chen's immortal shadow, catching the masked man off guard and covering him in flames. However, the masked man quickly extinguished the flames on his body. Chen Chen was very shocked. Even when facing an existence like Nalan Sanghai, who was almost an emperor, he could not extinguish the Brahma fire. Yet this masked man did it again. You mainlanders probably don't know that practitioners from the land of extreme cold are born with an extreme cold constitution. Although the flames you used are not ordinary, they are not enough to harm me. The masked man sneered, and the officials behind him were about to catch up. The masked man no longer engaged with Qian Shen, deeply looked at Qian Shen, and said, I will remember you, and I will come back to find you. You want to leave? No way. Qian Shen was already angry. He snorted, instantly took out the netherworld hammer, and swiftly swung it to strike the masked man. The masked man had no idea that Qian Shen possessed an ancient artifact, so he had no reaction and was hit head on. He was sent flying and spat out a mouthful of blood. At this moment, the official's practitioners also arrived and combined to cast a barrier immortal technique, trapping the masked man inside. Kid, is that the netherworld hammer you're holding? Who are you? After being caught, the masked man did not feel very angry. 
Instead, he was particularly shocked by the netherworld hammering Qian Chen's immortal shadow's hand, as if he had seen something incredible. Qian Chen put away the immortal shadow and looked at the masked man, very curious. Since he obtained the netherworld hammer from the netherworld god, he had used it many times. Although others recognized it as an ancient artifact, no one knew what the netherworld hammer was called. However, it was now recognized by a practitioner of the Void Realm. His performance just now had already surprised Qian Chen, and now he accurately called out the name of the netherworld hammer, which greatly shocked Qian Chen. Qian Chen did not answer the masked man's words, but returned to Wu Bu's side. At this point, the masked man had been completely trapped by the barrier and could not move. Thank you, young man. The official practitioner walked up to Qian Chen and thanked him with a bow. Qian Chen smiled and did not reply. He knew that Wu Bu had asked him to do this, perhaps to give these people some face. Sure enough, Wu Bu spoke up, Are you the guards of the Ice Palace? Yes. The one wearing the mask is a fugitive. He killed a guard and escaped from the ice prison. If he escapes the inner city, many more people will surely die. May I ask, are you and this young lady from the mainland? The captain of the guard looked at Chen Chen and Wu Bu, with a hint of wariness in his eyes. 